Splatoon 3 might just have the best story mode out of the entire series so far. And today, we're experiencing every single moment of that story mode in one super long video. Let's get started. Whoa. Where are we? Some kind of huge desert, yeah. This is a different sight. Definitely not the lively city of Inkopolis, but here we get to choose our style. And as you can see, there are four to start from, two Inklings and two Octolings. So Octolings right off the bat, but I think we'll stick with the good old Inkling. And when it comes to style, I always choose this one I have for the last two games, so I might as well with this one. Um, and then we get like skin tone and stuff, which I'm not gonna go too crazy with, but of course, we gotta do the Zebratastic eyes, right? So we'll do the black and white just like that. And for the hair, there's always a lot of cool hair options in Splatoon. And it feels like this game has more than ever. We got the classic hairs, some of the Splatoon 2 ones, and some other options on top of that. With so many to choose from, it's really hard to decide. I do like this new one with the braid, but we could try something like this too, the shorter hairstyle. There's so many options, but I don't want to take too long. So I think what we'll do is we'll go with this tied up one. I think that looks pretty cool. And eyebrows as well. Well, you get the little slit in the middle. Um, but I think I like this one. There we go. Lasting legwear. And in the uh, Splatfest, I chose, I think these ones looked really cool to me. But um, I think there's a way to change some of them somehow. I'm not really sure. Uh, but yeah, I, I like these ones. They're a little bit baggy, but they're also not entirely. Uh, yeah, I'm happy with this. Let's go for it. Oh, we got our little buddy. What's little buddy? It's a little buddy's turn. He's our new companion in this game and I love him. So we have like a mohawk, lots of crazy hairstyles. We can't really turn the characters too much to see them, but with so many options, I think I'm just gonna go with this little mohawk, the second one. All good? All good. All right, little buddy, let's go play Splatoon 3. Wow. And this place is destroyed. Think you're fresh? Start splatting and we'll see. Before you hit the crater, we'll hit you with the basics. Aim your little small fry buddy, or aim for your little small fry buddy. Tilt the controller to move your reticle. Face forward for the clearest view. Press Y to turn this view anytime. Follow that small fry. Move with the left analog stick. So of course, I'm gonna go through the tutorial even though we've played it um, in the Splatfest. We can enter ZL or use ZL to enter swim form. That's how you swim through ink. Just in case anybody might be watching who's new to Splatoon, now you guys can figure it out with me. Looks like your little buddy found something. Jump down and check it out. Ooh. Look at this be. Ooh, it's the Splatter Shot Jr. So this will be very, very useful to play the game. What do you know? Press the R to blast those balloons with ink. Tilt the controller to aim your reticle. Got it. Right over here. Uh, pop the balloons as you go. You can move around with L. So there we go. Now we can use everything we just learned. You can even swim up walls. Use your ink refills while you swim to move, shoot, and blast our way through these stages. You can look left and right and go in between. It's pretty cool. There we go, you can reset the camera with Y, hold the control to, to in a comfy position and press Y. We're good for now. Press B to jump even in swim form. And we can go through these little grates, just like that. Especially when we're in swim form. Or actually, only when we're in swim form. Use the R to spray your ink color over that enemy ink. Moving through enemy ink slows you down. Yep, so we definitely want to make it our turf, because that's what this game's all about, is making our turf all over the floor. Uh, and then we just got to bust through these boxes by throwing a bomb, which we'll need a lot of things to do, but we made it work. Get up there. Um, and then we, this is a new move. We can hold B and release for a squid surge, which is pretty cool. All right, that's enough warming up. Onward to Splatsville, city of chaos. Whoa. So we're taking the train out of here. Which is a little bit interesting. I thought that more of the game would take place in this desert area, but it seems like this was only for the opening tutorial, which, I don't know, I was not expecting that. Yeah, we're taking the train back now. Lots of people on here. We're taking the train a lot, of course, in Octo Expansion, but <laughs> this is so cute. I can't believe we're playing Splatoon 3. I've been waiting seriously all year for this. It's been one of my most anticipated games and we're, we're just finally here enjoying it. I think we made it. We've embarked at Splatsville. 
look at this. The buildings stretch up as high as the eye can see. Every building bustling with life. We're finally here. We're in Splatsville Plates, Splatoon 3. All right, here we go. So look at our group that we have here. We got Shiver. Listen up, it's going down. Repping the Splatlands, we're Deep Cut. Anarchy Splatcast. Hey, here we go. So we have uh, Shiver, Big Man, and I didn't see their name. Yep, Lip Sync, we Drip Think. Hey, hey, hey. Shiver Fry and Big Man. Fry was the second one. Let's see the current battle stages. Drum roll, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba bam. So our current stage is Undertow Spillway. Couple more, Inkbot Art Academy. Always keep your cool in battle. When the enemy goes floomp, you gotta go kaklump. Hey, what she said. I love Big Man. Oh, and we also, of course, have Salmon Run returning. Teamwork is harder than it looks, especially if your teammate is prone to dancing spells. Hey, hey, who could you be talking about? And why was not I invited? Uh, breaking news, hot off the press. Oh, you got something, big man? Let's hear it. Oh, no. Uh, this was my story to break. The great sapfish is gone. It basically powers the whole city. We need the back soon, or it slides out. Well, that's not good. Time to conserve, turn off lights, and set the temp to a cool 90 degrees Fahrenheit. That is really hot. That's 32 degrees Celsius, and it is not cool. Cause if you find the zapfish. So we'll need to do that for the third time, <laughs> save the zapfish. And that's it for now. Ooh, spicy. We're in Spotsville, that's a wrap. Catch you later. All right, so I love our new crew. Welcome to Splatsville. This is the place to see and be seen. The hottest spot on the map. If you wanna make it in this town, you gotta be your freshest. And how do you show off your extremely fresh self? Online battles, just hit up the lobby. Seriously, if you start making waves in battles, everyone around here will know your name. Wait, what? Oh hey, it's Captain Cuttlefish. You're new here, I don't mean to alarm you, but that dude is seriously scoping you from the sewer. Whatever, it's fishy, but we'll get to that later. So where were we? Oh right, battles. Time to sink into the ink. If you wanna get right into it, check out the lobby or follow that weirdo down the sewer. Up to you. Go get him, full splat ahead. Well, for right now, we're to be focused fully on the story mode and check out what's going on with uh, Captain Cuttlefish down here. So let's enter. Ready? Oh, we're going. <laughs> I can't wait, oh man, I've been so excited to see more of the Splatoon story and the lore and the background to everything and just what the characters have been up to since the Octo expansion. So we're back out here again, interesting. Hi. Uh, this is awkward. The, the, the uh, Octarians are coming! Again! Oh, uh, hi. Did we do this once before? The old noggin ain't what it used to be. Anyhow, the name's Cuttlefish, senior advisor to the new Squid Peak Splatoon. At your service. That look in your eye. It's the look I've been looking for. The great sapfish that powers Splatsville has been squidnapped. And I guess he assumes it's going to be the Octarians? It's the Octarians again. You can bet your bottom sand dollar on it. Why would they after the results of like the Octo expansion? I feel like they were more on our side. We could even play as Noctarian. Or an Octoling at least, I guess not Noctarian. Uh, see the great Zapfish has gone missing before, twice in fact. And those Octo Jerks were behind it both times. I've been keeping an eye on them, even if I'm technically retired. And with eyes like these, there ain't much that escapes me. But they still made off with the great Zapfish. Now we've got to get it back, right? So, uh, uh, that was a job offer, kid. The pay is zero, but you might just save the world. You're in, right? Right? Well, I gotta save the world. I'm in the world. Of course you are. Starting today, you are Agent 3, the new Squid Beak Splatoon. There was, wasn't there already an Agent 3? Whoa, look at us, we already got the gear on. That was quick. This is your brand new hero suit. It'll help you fight the Octarians. Huh, is there such a thing as something growing in the wash? It's a little baggy on ya. Funny, I don't remember ever washing it. Bah, last Agent 3 was clean as a catfish. 
So maybe they were a bit bigger. Now let's go get those Octo Clowns. <laughs> I'm counting on you, but uh, you've already got another agent there with you, huh? Well, I'm fresh out of hero suits, unfortunately. <laughs> He's so cute. Uh, but it's a salty little scab, in it? It'll do fine. All right then, so we got our little buddy. Now where was I? All right, let's get those Octo Jerks. I'm counting on you, bucko. All right, so here we are at the crater. Our outfit's looking super clean, and we're good to start our adventure. I can't believe it. All right, let's look for a way into the Octarian base, and keep your eyes open, or ears open, for my nuggets of wisdom. All right, well, let's take a look around. Whoa, take a gander at that. It's a portrait of the new Squidwick Splatoon's captain. Not a bad likeness, huh? So that's the old Agent 3, I think. The captain was Agent 3 before you were Agent 3, Agent 3. Nothing complicated about it. You. You want to know about the captain, right? All right, no, yeah, 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 sort of, maybe, um, what? <laughs> well, I suppose we were a secret squad doing our heroing outside the public eye. How could you know? Very cool, so but that's Agent 3 who we played as in Splatoon 1. Ah, whoa, whoa, what happened? I'm, I'm furry. I, I don't know. Agent 3, you still with me? You gotta be more careful than that. You mean well these days? Don't go into battle hungry, you hear? So don't touch the fuzzy stuff. Or I'll become fuzzy. I'm the fuzzy ooze that's all over the place. Touch that stuff and who knows what'll happen. Well, now I do. All right, now that'll happen. Floof, instant full body beard, whether you want it or not. Oh man, that's not good. Okay, now that is one big pile of fuzzy ooze. That big old bubble on top is probably the fuzz ball. I bet if you could pop that, the whole thing would poof. Disappear, but I doubt your ink will do the trick. Yeah, let's worry about that later. For now, uh, keep looking for a way into the Octarian base. Maybe here? Whoa. Okay, well this is gonna be a better look. Oof, this whole place could use a shave or a shower. Whatever cleans up the fuzzy ooze. So it's like I need to go in there. That is definitely our first level. Uh, we'll break up some stuff like that. A little buddy is just swimming around too. Whoa, here we go. There, that kettle ought to take us to him. Shoot the lid with ZR and blow it open. Number one, Octarians in the crater? Yikes, let's go. So it really is Octarians. Can't believe they're doing it for a third time. Figured they you know, mix up their strategy or something. Okay, here we are. What is that, it's Octarians in the crater, yikes. Okay, here we go, it's a real deal, Agent 3. Okay, so let's get to it. Our first level in the Splatoon 3 story mode, and currently I just guess my goal is just to break everything. Take a good look around. If you see something you want to ink, press the R and fire away. So it looks like we already have our special move if we wanted to. Um, remember, you can use R to look around. So let's go ahead and do our super slam. There we go, that was cool. A lot of these boxes don't have much except for the orange ones. Um, if you get discombobulated, you can reset the camera. Oh yeah, let me try. How did I do that again? Wasn't there a, huh. Oh, like this. There we go, that's so cool. That's a new move, I'm pretty sure. People tell me I forgot to use it in the splat fest, I'm sorry. Uh, there we go. We're getting some more of those little orange dots, which I think are a currency. I can't remember too much, but I'm pretty sure you can spend them in the story mode. Uh, hey, that's a launch pad. Hop on and buckle up. Ooh, look at this one. So I can pop that. Blammo, that was something, wasn't it? Those are called balloon fish, and they go completely when you pop them. So let's get up this way if I can. Ooh, I think that's enough. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I pressed the wrong button. Gotta let go of B. Boom, got it. Very cool, so we'll be running around just trying to break whatever we can and find whatever along the way. Because if it's anything like the previous Splatoon games, there's going to be uh, secrets all over the place to find. So trying to figure out which way is the best way to go is gonna be pretty complicated, but it looks like over there, there was, ooh, there we go, um, one piece of the zap fish or whatever. So we'll go over there last. Ah, uh, looks like you found a splash switch. Go ahead and splat it and see what happens. I will in just a moment. Trying to explore whatever I can, but there we go. We hit that spot switch, and it lowers the drawbridge. Got it, got it, got it. Looking at a faraway crate and dreaming. Maybe your small fry buddy can help. Try pressing R. Oh, really? Uh, there we go. You got it, buddy. That's awesome. So our little buddy can really help. Wow, that crate never stood a chance. That was very cool. Um, so heading back over this way, there's a couple of crates to break, but. Once again, they don't really do that much, I don't think. But we can lower this switch. Trying to splat just so, aim carefully with the reticle in the middle of your screen. I am, don't worry. Okay, so there we go. And what is that gonna be? 
Uh, I found some armor. Slap that on and it'll give you, probably yeah, no, the ability to take extra hits. Um, another job for a small fry buddy. So I don't even have a splat bomb right now. It is just my buddy. Hey, look at you go. Is there anything up there? It doesn't look like it. So I think we're good to head forward. And the music is so familiar, I love it. So yeah, what's going on over here? Is there anything down this way? I really don't think there's gonna be any kind of secrets in this first level, but you never know and I don't wanna miss out on much. Here comes another bridge. Uh-oh, and our first enemy. Gah, ah, it's a trooper ahead. It's a real live enemy. Get ready to spot it with the orange in three. Okay, real quick before you engage. When the tough, when the going gets tough, the tough get behind walls. There we go, we got you. I was reading the text and I still was able to spot them. All right. Yeah, that was very splatastic. And I think we are good to move over this way. I think we did everything, yeah. Okay, so look at that, we completed our first level. That's a zapfish. Ink that up that force field until it bursts and then bring it on home. So there we go, our first zapfish. Very cool, hooray! <laughs> Little buddy looks like he wants to eat him. See, our first mission has been super successful. We got everything along the way. Well done, Agent 3. You remind me of a young cuttlefish, heroically saving the day. Anyway, the good news is you get a zapfish. They're a source of energy on their, their own. But the better news is that the great zapfish may be up ahead. All right then, so I guess we gotta keep moving. But as you currently can see, we got 500 from completing that level. That's super nice, but it doesn't look like there was any extra collectibles to find. But there's still several levels to find here in, um, I guess, what was this, the crater, I think? What do you like to eat these days, kiddo? Food? Are kids still eating food? I sure hope so. All right, I probably forgot about this old fuzzy ooze. And that blasted fuzzball is just wobbling back and forth, taunting us. Is that your small fry buddy chirping about something? You know, that species is rumored to have a big reaction to power X. Yeah, I mean, he is like a little salmoned guy. Anything worth a shot, right? Try pressing R to power up your little buddy with some power eggs. Whoa, look at you! Uh, whoa, that did something. Try throwing it at that fuzzball for 300. Pretty expensive, but we can afford it. Ha ha ha, great work. Look at that, it gobbled up that ooze like it was nothing. That little monster has quite an appetite. Anyway, it cleared the path for you, go on. All right, so we're gonna go this way then. And uh, see, I can't break these on my own, but our buddy can sort of can power up our small fry and do this one for 100. Very cool. Bunch of blast, little buddy. I agree, I agree. And here's another 100. This is the last one I can afford for right now, though. But that will open up another level for us, so either way, we're good to go. So let's try out number two. Sink into the ink and swim. Let's go for it. Level two. Oh, this is so exciting. I'm already having a ton of fun. I hope you guys are too. Definitely let me know if you've gotten Splatoon 3, if you plan on getting it, all that kind of stuff. Or maybe you're just, you know, chilling back, enjoying this series with me. Uh, sink into the ink and swim. So, yeah, I don't need to cover all the turf. It's not, it's not turf war just yet. Uh, wow, this one already has like a pre-inked path. Now, now the time to squid after it. Uh, press seal to boop into the ink and start swimming. So yeah, let's just go with that. Um, remember, you can jump with B. I got it, don't worry. So I can send my little buddy out to, oh no, I'm sorry buddy, I didn't mean to throw you off, come back. Come back, no. Wait, do I have you? Oh no, you're back, you're back. No, I did it again. I'm so sorry, I'm awful. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, um, those are dash tracks up ahead. Dive into one and you go flying. Well, I probably don't wanna do this one, right? No, 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 okay, I thought it was gonna send me off the ad edge. Oh, I wanna go that way though, because there's some extra orbs to get. So getting these little orange orbs, whatever they're called, I always forget, um, is going to be really, really important. So snagging up as few or as many of those as I can possibly muster. I will look around, make sure if there's you know anything off the sides. But so far it looks like I just need to go this main path. Ready? Wee! Is there anything down there? Oh, there was an Octarian, so I can splat them for one more orb. Very cool. And I'll get that. That's a checkpoint. I see you down there. Can't hide from me. Grab some of that, and we're good to go. Whoa, so there was maybe stuff over there? Okay, well first off, yeah, I don't know if, will you help? At the least you'll distract them, so that's cool. And then we'll jump over. Got it? Oh, I wonder what's up there. It looks like there is some extra stuff, so first, no, wait, ah, I didn't mean to fall. <laughs> that's okay. We can get back up, no problem. 
Maybe it's not worth stressing too much about getting every single orb. Not really sure if it's designed that way, but I just wanted to be able to grab this stuff real quick. Ooh, okay, now we're back down this way. So I think the game does want me to jump over and go up there. The game's really pointing at it. Like, hey, go up here. There we go. Whoa. Uh, boy, yeah, now just grab that zapfish and skedaddle. Don't mind if I do. So what's cool about the story mode is it's always fun to explore and defeat all the Octarians and enjoy the story, but it also teaches us deeper lessons about the mechanics of the game. So completing the story mode can really give you an edge when it comes to playing online. So if you are a new player, I do suggest trying it out. Nicely done, Agent 3. But did those Octarians look different? They used to be a little more smooth if enemy sir or if memory surfs. Hey, I am one the judge a deadly tentacle creature by its cover. More power to him. Uh but not really. Anyhow, as long as you're sporting that hero suit, you can stand up to any Octarian, bearded or not. Did you ever, did you even read the label? Here, I'll do it for you. You're wearing the latest in the apocalyptic survival fashion. Avoid enemies to navigate the spotlands in style with your own high-end sensor, directly and only. You gotta learn everything about your gear. That's another battle-tested rule of the battlefield. All right then, so very cool we get our second level done and a bunch more points for it. So, let's talk to you again. You really know what you're doing out there, don't you? Make me look like a genius for recruiting you. I guess so. So, let's head out this way. Um, And I need to get my buddy. First off, yeah, charge you up for 300 points. We can toss you over and unlock an X area. So we're getting somewhere. It looks like there's still a lot more to go, though. Uh, Carefully, or it's a long way down. One false step could send you over the edge. Okay, you wanna jump down there? Make sure you got a safe place to land. I didn't, but I got quite lucky. Uh, let's try this one. All right. And, ooh, we got our next level waiting for us. This is gonna be number three. Box is locked, keys please. So what does that mean? Oh man. Guess we'll find out as we hop in. Whoa. Oh, I like the TVs everywhere. So let's just get the splat in right away. I'm gonna, going to, uh, Oh, you want to get into that that vault? You got to find a key. Okay, so where's the key at probably in this one? There you go. There it is. Grab that key and unlock the vault. So this is a mechanic from the previous story modes. He's going to unlock things. Now we have an ink rail. Very cool. Hop on it and ride it. Uh, now don't panic, but if you let go CL, you'll fall to your doom. So hold on tight. There we go. So let's look around this side a little bit before we move forward because it looks like there's a couple of things to grab. There she glows. I can see the zap fish from here. I think we need to head up this way by hitting the switch. Ooh, whoa, this is a big one. Whoa, 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 another vault, find a key. So maybe we gotta go over this way? Octocopter spotted, and get up, gotcha. No problem. Oh, there's another one, got him too. And there's our key, at least for one of them. Remember, you can slip under and through the grace by pressing ZL. Yep, don't worry, I'm on it. So, oh, that opens this one up. So, not quite the key we need, I think it's a zap fish, but it's something. It'll help us move through the level. So let's try this one out. The music's been so good so far, which is always a highlight to Splatoon games, in my opinion, is the good music. See, what did I miss there? I feel like I was maybe supposed to do something. Huh. Okay, well, I don't have a key anymore, so there's gotta be something I can do, right? Oh, maybe I gotta... I'm not quite sure. Huh. Because this leads back this way. Where do I go from here? Still can't open that up. So there's gotta be something. And I can't, yeah, I can't spray that. Okay, now I'm a little confused. Oh, I can maybe just drink won't reach. It's small fry's time to shine. Okay, here we go. You can do it, small fry. There we go. That's the answer I was looking for. And we can spray that one, so. We were still working on that thing. Does it stop when he's done? I'm not really sure. There we go. Got my small fry back. And another key. Can activate that one. Grab this key and hopefully reach. Oh no, um, I couldn't, but maybe I can hop back up there. That one's a bit weird because what if I, um, guys, I don't think you're gonna be able to hop onto that ink rail from here. Yeah, I thought so. so. Let's get back over and maybe what I could do, yeah, 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 is, Hop up from here, there we go. Jump from one ink rail to another, there we go. And that'll be the key we're looking for, what do you know? I think, it'll open up one, and then the other. 
Excellent. And with that, we can go straight to the end. So we did pretty good with this one. Getting some of those points back so that we can spend them. Continuing through the crater. There's our third Zapfish. Yeah. Oh, we got an okay clear time, I think. Of course, I'm not going for any kind of speed run record or anything. Okay, we're back. Keep it up, Agent 3. You're making me proud. I don't want to ruffle your tentacles any further than they've already been ruffled, but those fuzzy Octarians are freaking me out. I think we ought to consider calling some backup. Let me just fire up the old communicator. Check, check. This is Cuttlefish over. Do you copy? Agent 2 here, over. Ooh, so is Agent 1 and 2 still Callie and Marie? Wait, Gramps, is that you? Where are you? It looks like it is, though. Agent 1, this is Agent 2. Gramps has wandered off again, over. Well, what are we waiting for, Agent 2? Let's go collect him. Roger that, stay fresh. Did they just hang up on me? Agents these days, am I right? So impatient. <laughs> About you. What was that? Dag nabbit, this old thing busted. Oh well. Come on, let's go. What was that? That wasn't just some glitchy transmission. Somebody's looking for you, Captain Cuttlefish. Uh, well, I'll have to be careful of that, but right now, we'll keep moving through all this. What is that thing? Whoa, whoa. You got a pack of cards. You can pick up your cards at the lobby terminal and use them to play table turf battle. Whoa, loot anchor, there, you got a good eye. Those things could be hidden anywhere. That was cool. So yeah, that's a new thing, it's like this little card game in Splatoon. I haven't really seen too much about it, but it seems super duper interesting. We're gonna throw our small fry right over there. And I'll have to look all over the place for more of that stuff then. Uh, ooh, I was getting a little nervous there. Okay, so we have another level uh, waiting for us. What are they, can we stop them? We're gonna find out, number four. So this has been a blast so far, but already pretty mysterious with some things. Uh, ooh, this place is packed with Arcarians. Take aim and take them out. So what did we just get? I'm not sure. Uh, some kind of suitcase. Did that give me anything different? Oh no, it gave me armor, that's right, that's right. Okay, so, anything on the sides real quick. Always gotta check, doesn't look like it, but we're charged up. Heads of Agent 3, your special gauge is full. Might wanna use it on, um, Make good use of this wall, let's see if we can get any closer. I am, don't worry. So I might ignore Cuddlefish a little bit so we can focus on playing the game, because he does give a lot of information, but some of it is just stuff we already know, or we can figure out on our own. I'm not one to avoid the story. They really are fuzzy. I can see that for sure, so that's definitely different. They're not normally fuzzy like that. But look at this over here. Thinking of just jumping in there, be careful. Oh, I'm thinking of jumping, all right. Boom, there we go. Nice inking, looks like you activated some kind of pillar. Indeed we did. All right then, so it looks like we're gonna reach a checkpoint for all of that. And what's going on around here? Maybe I could toss Small Fry over to deal with some stuff. Look free and clear ahead. So it looks like they're sneaking up on us, that was the idea. But there is some more armor over that way I gotta be careful of. Or careful if I need to, you know, need it, use it. Oh gosh, they are waiting all over the place. Getting a bit inked at the moment, so maybe I should try to get to that armor. Okay, whoa, 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 let's grab that, and then they don't know I'm here, so that's good, I guess we got them all, because the pillars are starting to raise. All right, uh, I need to get on top of that, there we go, there we go. And then I'm just gonna try to, whoop, there we go, that was cool. So what happens if I toss my small fry over? It looks like they will actually damage them a little bit, and that's cool, good job, small fry. And is there anything else to do around here, anything extra to grab, because now if we have packs of cards to look for, I don't know if there'll be any other collectibles within the level, but it doesn't look like it. So, yeah, let's go and grab our Zapfish, number four. There we go. So we were pretty speedy with that one. And we had extra armor, so we get bonus 10 of the orbs. That's nice. So we're doing really good at this point. We're sort of picking up our productivity. You're on a roll. Nicely done, Agent 3. That's ought to be the last kettle, but you see anything else that looks fishy around here? Uh, just about everything, but uh, we get a 600 more, and I'm going to toss Fuzzball, or toss Small Fry to Fuzzball. That didn't reach. Um, oh yeah, I need to go down a little bit. Uh, okay. 
right over there. Did that reach? No, it didn't. I'm sorry. Fuzzball Holy confirmed with my own bulging eyes. Dead center of the crater. I'm trying to reach it. There we go. It costs a thousand this time, but it clears out so much of it. Wow. That was definitely good. Incoming, something's heading this way fast. What is that? No way. No way. There's no way he's here already. Aren't you normally the final boss? <laughs> I finally found you, cuttlefish. My Octarian troops have gone missing. And I know you're behind it. It's DJ Octavio. There she blows, it's a DJ Octavio. Up to your old tricks, eh? Give the great Zapfish back. Agent three, this dirty DJ is the headliner of an entire Octarian army. Take him out. Quit spewing nonsense and listen up. I'm about to drop my latest hit. Right on your smug little face. Octo King L3Gs. Oh my gosh. Doc, DJ Octavio is typically our final boss, but here he is being the first boss of Splatoon 3. The stakes really have risen. Incoming punch, shoot it back towards him. Okay, come on, come on. Got it. I'm trying to sort of spray around a little bit so I got some coverage and can move around a little bit more, but. Oh no. We're in the middle of a sandstorm or something here. This is wild. Okay, we got it, we got it. I really don't know what to make of this. It's so cool and exciting though. He's flying over, so I wanna move. Oh, I can't move out of this little uh, platform area. The wind is too strong. He's using a drill punch. Quick dodge! I did it, and now I can edit. It's stuck, now it's hunting fast. I got it. Okay, what else you got, DJ? Ooh, I can handle that one. If it's not the drill punch, we can just spray it back, back at him. Octavio fell out of his turntable. Quick, turn the tables on him, I got it! That was pretty good. Maybe next time I'll slam on him for some extra damage or something. Think my beats stink, huh? Then you'll love this! Is that a vacuum? All right then, checkpoint coming in. Oh, the drill punch, I gotta dodge. Oh, I just barely dodged that. I think I did take some damage. Um, oh, it's trying to suck up my ink, okay. So, whoa, can't do that. So am I just supposed to hang back? The ink back is a real pain in the poor pal. <laughs> okay, um, I don't know what to do about all that. I guess I just gotta avoid everything. It doesn't look like it can hit any of it back. Here we go, here we go. Come on, come on. That doesn't seem to be enough. Oh, maybe I gotta toss small fry at it or something? I don't know if I missed something that Captain Cuttlefish said is the thing. Cause I, I haven't been able to do any damage to him since. Oh no, that's such a household object would be so dangerous. Think, think, is there some way? Uh, yeah, the small fry, there we go. You got it, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> He's jamming it up. God, can't back you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Here we go, here we go. Boom, send it right back at him. That was much better. We need to do that one more time though. He's still getting jammed up in there. I hope he's doing okay. All right, I'm ready for it, ready for it. Much better. Small frog got launched back. Yes, he's probably gonna start the vacuum again. Keep your fishy junk out of my mech. Oh no, back on this side. Whoa, what is that? Okay, he's trying to get me. Wait, wait, wait. Gotcha, that was good. But I might wanna try throwing the small fry out again. Oh, here comes that drill. Got it, got it, got it. Here, toss it over. That's good, that's good. But I can't do anything about that one just yet. Cause he's sucking up the ink that I'm trying to spray onto the drill. That was good. Oh, here he goes, ready? Slam! Oh, that was hurt. That was great. Now what? Grr, now you've made me mad. Uh oh, he's really mad. He's slapping around. Oh, he's really seen now. Keep your guard up. So I still can't make it out into the sands. Oh, that's not good. Jump over that thing, whatever that was. And I send it back flying. It slapped the heck. We'll send out shockwaves. Try to hop over those. Luckily, I did pretty well that time. Oh, small fry, send that over. Ow, I was, I'm out of ink, I'm out of ink. Oh gosh, gotta manage that, that's not a good idea. 
because throwing out the small fry uses that thing. I was not, was not expecting that, to be honest with you. There we go. We're gonna launch, launch a small fry soon enough, but it looks like you're moving over to this side. Trying to cover everything up as much as I can while we're waiting. So here comes this again. So we need to jump over the shockwave and start spraying you as much as I can. We got it. Oh no. So what's that happening next? Okay, small fry, go, go, go. Whoa, ah, I wasn't fast enough, but this might still work. Now, nah, once the fingers get up, doesn't quite work out. Okay, what if I slam that? Oh, that works out really well. Oh, there he is, come on, go, 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 go. Finish him off. I think we did it. Oh, he's busted every time. So sad. Ah, oh, poor DJ. Oh, he's getting sent flying, goodbye! No, no! Oh, that's gotta hurt. You all right? We promise we haven't been doing anything with the Octarians. Ugh, no fair. Your gear is way too strong. You put on a weak show, Octavio. Your set list is getting old. Or maybe it's just you. Seriously, that was too easy. It's like you weren't even using the great Zapfish's power. Mute it, fool. I don't steal the Zapfish. I didn't steal the Zapfish this time. What? You didn't? But if it wasn't you, then who was it? Uh, uh what? What the what? Gah, fuzzy ooze. Oh no, DJ. Agent three, help me. No. What was that? So whatever this oozes has a mind of its own. Hello, uh, I guess they're here too. That was sort of out of nowhere. I'm so confused. Where are we going? Where are we gonna land? Nintendo presents. Whoa. Splatoon 3. Quite the change in atmosphere. It's all snowy around here. This is crazy. And it looks like we're not alone. Is that Agent 1 and 2 I see in the distance? I'm not really quite sure where we are, but there are some people over there. Hello? Hello? Hey! Hey, look who it is! Agent 3, over here! It's Callie Marie and someone else. Woo, I'm so glad you're all right. You are Agent 3, right? Cramps fully enlisted you in your small fry? Yeah, I knew it. I see the look in your eyes that he's always looking for. Well, it's nice to meet you. I guess we should introduce ourselves. I'm Agent 1 of the new Squidbeak Splatoon. Hey, I'm Agent 2. Come on, Agent 2, get pumped! Anyway, our one last crew member to introduce, this is our captain. Hi, Captain. So this is not Captain Cuttlefish. We're the new new Squid Beak Splatoon. Poor Captain Cuttlef Cuttlefish, he got bumped down. <clears throat> anyway, it looks like you and Gramps got separated in that fall. This place is huge, and it's filled with that horrible fuzzy ooze stuff. And now we have to find Gramps before he, like, tastes it or something. Aw, oh, you make it sound like it's not gonna be fun. But seriously, please help us look for Gramps. So, uh... Oh, they're in. Probably just too excited looking for someone else's grandpa to speak. So, Gramps reeled, reeled in a new Agent 3. Glad to have you. <laughs> I love how chill the captain is. We've never been here before, but there's the tour anyway. We think this place is called Alterna. Who knew it was beneath the crater this whole time? Whoa, look at this place. We count six different islands so far. What would we call them? Sites or something? Uh, are you even gonna mention the humongous rocket over there? Look at that. Way to steal my thunder. Anyway, we put a tracking device on Gramps, as one does, but now we're getting a strong signal from three different areas. Agent 3, your mission is to check all three of those places out. 
We upgraded your map a little bit. Tell us how much you love it. Whoa. Now it tracks the places you've already visited and lights up when you're near anything interesting. Like when I'm nearby or buried treasure, I guess. I'm sure both. We're here to look for Gramps, not treasure. And I hardly think Agent 3 needs a Cali tracker. Anyway, wait, Agent 3 is totally out of power eggs. Did you lose them all in the fall? Yikes, your hero suit is all messed up too. Oh wow, a hero gear, in shambles. Oh, don't be dramatic. I mean, sure, Agent 3 will have to collect power eggs and upgrade from scratch. Hmm, I guess an explanation would help. First, they'll need Sardinium to unlock access to different types of upgrades. Interesting. So they're not metal minnows anymore. Uh, then they can spend upgrade points to do the actual upgrading. There's gotta be some Sardinium around down here in Alterna, right? If anyone can find it, it's Agent 3. Wait, did you tell Agent 3 how to actually get upgrade points? No, I'm on it. Agent 3, just ink lots of stuff and find items. I guess it isn't rocket science, which is a shame because it seems like we might need some rocket science. Okay, so never mind that for now. I'm getting a strong Grams-like signal from the site or the next site over. Go check it out. Well, looks like we might have to get through the first one first, but here we are, Future Utopia Island. Whoa, and are these screens? Yeah, there's a screen. So deep underground, they try to make it look like we're not. Squid Sisters Camp, hi guys. I'm not sure what to make of it, but the captain says you're always you, no matter what you look like. Quick update, I just overheard the captain say, wow, there's a lot going on in the new Squid Beaks platoon. Don't be shy with your ink, spot everywhere. Fill up with your gauge and do something. Uh, cool, so I'm here if you wanna talk about anything with someone who's barely paying attention. <laughs> Okay, sounds good. So we'll have to explore this Utopia Island. I can, of course, ink things up and take a look around. I don't know if there's anything to find around here right away, or if we really just should just focus on the main mission. But I think as we're covering things up, we're, yeah, we're earning more on the right there, it seems. So that's pretty cool. Um, Because as you can see, I don't have enough to do anything. I'm too low on eggs. So maybe, uh, I think Small Fry is trying to tell you something. Where's Small Fry? Uh. I don't know. Over here? Oh, I see you up there, but I can't reach you. Uh, Yeah, I, I can't really do much there. But what is this about? Whoa, here we go. There he is, hey buddy. I can't really get to him. Okay, I'm just gonna send him over that way. But you can see all the different levels we need to get to here on the first island. So let's get cracking with it. Uh, what do we got over here? Yes, let's go. This is gonna be the first level. Get to know Alterna, your only choice. Whoa. So this is all of our turn right here, all these different islands we could explore and stuff. This is gonna be a lot of fun. I love the new logo for Splatoon 3 there on the bottom corner too. Do you hear something? Activated. System check, okay. Authentication, all systems nominal. Commencing biometric scan. Who is that? Scan complete, no matches found. Commencing registration sequence. Bzz, bzz, beep, beep. Good day, my name is Orca. I'm what you might call a navigation system for Alterna citizens. Whoa, where's that voice coming from? Welcome to Alterna, citizen. Please enter your identification to proceed. Ugh, it's like setting up a phone for the first time. I guess just follow the instructions, Agent 3. Processing, 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 ding. Your name has been accepted. Thank you for registering, Agent 3. Cool. Looks like it's official, Agent 3. My circuits are designed to measure your intellectual and physical prowess as demonstrated by your ability to complete missions throughout Eterna. In each mission, you must reach a goal mechanism or complete an objective. Extraordinary citizens will complete many missions and receive many power eggs. You can expect a substantial power egg payday in particular for this first mission. May your enthusiasm result in success, citizen. Is all that going to be on the test? Because I, all I heard, really heard was power eggs. That seems like the important part. We'll need plenty of those if we're going to find Gramps. One last thing. As you complete missions and become an ever more exceptional citizen, you will naturally gain access to the Alterna Log. Do not attempt to share the Alterna Log without permission. Please handle the information with care, and please consider this a threat. Have a nice day. That's sort of ominous. Alterna Log, huh? Well, something's been added to your menu. I want to peek. 
Ah, uh, but I won't. I guess all we can do for now is collect power eggs and work on removing that fuzzy ooze. I mean, all you can do, Agent 3. Equipment initializing. Please select a weapon for this mission. Ooh, here we go. So we have two ones, two weapons we can choose from. A loadout selected from your hero gear. Uh, use left and right to check each weapon description. Um, per se to select a weapon. So I have this one, but oh, I guess that's all I have. Okay, I thought I could switch between those two things, but no, that's just the one. Uh, the mission will begin as soon as you pass through the game. If power eggs are required, you'll be given an opportunity to make your payment before entering. Initializ initialization complete. Data harvesting and analysis commencing. Best of luck, Agent 3. So that's it then? Great. Come on, Agent 3. Let's get moving. I have a bad feeling about Orca. The fact that they're watching our every move and that the information we see receive is supposed to be kept. Oh, no, Fee! Whoa, whoa, here we go. Show off your skills and reach the goal. All right, Eterna, press the R to shoot and ride the rail. I'm on it. This is gonna be fun. I can't wait to just get into some Splatoon action here. Press B to jump while you're riding around. Just like that, but I jumped a little too soon. Wait, 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 can I try again? Um, Because I need these. I don't think I can. <laughs> wait, okay, whatever, we'll keep moving. <laughs> I spy three bolts and I guess a key to get somewhere. But as we're covering more things up, we are gaining rank over there to the right. I keep noticing that, so that's good. But well, this place is a lot of stuff going on. I do notice that too. Don't sweat at Agent 3, you got ink and a small fry. So just start inking everything we can. There we go, Wee. <laughs> very cool. See, I'm very focused on just sort of exploring around. Oh, we got these guys again. Um, that busy little puck thing is a squeegee. They wash up ink, any ink they find as you can see. Uh, that's not so good. So we'll just not worry about it for right now. There's lots of other things to mess around with and mechanics to figure out. A lot of these are carryovers from the previous Splatoon games, so hopefully we're not too far out of our league with this. But I do see a crate over here that maybe I can get small for to bust open. Um, Not quite, not quite. Let's try again. Come on. Got it, maybe? There we go, much better, much better. We'll fill up on ink while we're waiting for that. But there we go, we get five more power eggs. I'll try to remember what they're called this time, because oh my gosh, I feel like I forget so often. Um, what's going on up here? We get a checkpoint and the key. Very cool. That's the first key, keep going. All right then, so we're gonna hop back down this way. But this area is so open, it feels like there's a lot to get to. But over here I did miss something. There's one of these little pumps. Break that open and fly up it, whoa! but I can't quite get over here. I'm gonna have to use small fry. It doesn't look like a simple jump will get you there. I agree. So small fry is a good thing to keep in mind for sure. Oh, here's the fan as well. Is there anything down there? Just a balloon with a couple more power eggs. And where does this get me? Right over here. Ah, I love the feeling of the wind in my tentacles. Uh, two down, just one more to go. So back down here for me. And there's a few more things to check out, right? First off, can't access that just yet. That's where I need um, another key. So we're gonna hop up here. Whoa, but nice found a bounce pad. We'll beat a bounce super high for uh, practical purposes, obviously. There we go. We'll get a bunch of power from that one. Oh man. Now what is this thing? Whoa, it like rolls out. Oh, that's so interesting. It's like a sprinkler, but automatic. I don't know. Okay, so let's get these two. Oh, and I think I need to call. I don't know where he went. Uh. By the way, doesn't matter too much. We need to jump through these. I'm jumping through them backwards, but if it works, it works. Oh no, I can see him now. Our, our small fry's on our back. That's so cute. I love our small fry. Okay, and then up here, we have a can. Open it up and unleash what's inside, a trizuka. Press R to get it ready, and then press the R to splat. Whoa, well this might be new. Oh my gosh, there we go, big power. I like it. So let's go ahead and, and splat that one real quick. Way over there. That's it, that was excellent. So that's gonna be our third and final uh, key that we need. So we can cover a lot of that up. Jump through here. And I guess I should be throwing my little buddy around. I guess he doesn't really ink too much though, so maybe not worth worrying about too much. But if that's gonna up our rank, it's worth focusing on occasionally. Um, the first vault is open for business. And the second vault, second vault open. And don't forget the third right here. That, was, that vault was the last one. All that's left is the straight shot along the rail. Okay, there we go, and that'll be our first level done. Great work, Agent 3. If you can keep this up, well, I'll turn it mapped out in no time. So we got our mission complete, and what did we unlock for that? Because it wasn't a zap fish. I'm not sure. But there we go, mission one complete. We get 700 power eggs for that. And there's still plenty more levels to tackle just in this area alone, so I'm sure we'll be keeping busy. Okay, here we are. Get to know Alterna, your only choice completed. 
So here we are back at Future Utopia Island, and we got Kelly over here. Hi, Kelly. Sorry for spraying you. Can I talk to you? Here you go. Solo albums are okay, but don't you think collabs are more fun? I definitely agree. And that makes me think, I wonder if we'll be seeing Pearl and Marina in this game at all. I, I feel like they can't be ditched in this one, right? All right then. So uh, we have something going on in our menu you know, over here in the archive. So if I switch over, we have the sunken scrolls and the alternate logs. So we haven't found any sunken scrolls just yet, but hopefully I haven't missed any. And then in the alternate logs, the fall of humanity is being analyzed at the moment. I can't really read any of that. It's all encrypted or something. So maybe as we keep playing, that'll be deciphered in a way. But for right now, I want to go back to this level or at least see it right here. And I'm just sort of curious. It doesn't say I'm missing any kind of uh, collectible or anything. Let's try this out. I do not have enough eggs for it, so never mind. Um, what about that one over there? That one only requires 600. So target a fuzzball, toss it over, we're good to go. There we go. Oh, and that actually cleared up a lot of our rank. Um, I think Smallfire is trying to tell you something. Yeah, we got something right over here. It's our first sunken sea scroll. Awesome. Visit a sparkling city of chaos, the hottest place in the Splatlands. Anarchy Avenue. Walk it, feel it, live it. Special collection. Walk it, walk the Splatsville walk, page 54. So there we go. That's going to be page three of our sunken sea scrolls. A bunch of advertisements, I think, for Splatoon's, Splatoon 2's Incopolis. Hard to tell, though. One upgrade point as well. Actually, several. We're up to rank three now. I don't know how to use those, but uh, we have a lot of levels waiting around. And I guess I'll just go for this next one right up here. Yes, let's go. This is going to be octopods at rest 10 to flip out. Remain in one piece and reach the goal. So this is where things look similar to the Octo Expansion, where you can complete levels several times with different weapons. I don't know if that's something you guys want to see. Um, in the series, me replaying through the same level. So we'll just do one weapon per run, at least for right now. Maybe we can always go back and recomplete them. Um, but Octopods at rest tend to flip out. We can either do the Hero Gear, gear uh, Splat Brella, Splat Bomb, or Heavy Spotling Burst Bomb. Intro rec recommending the Hero Gear, so I think that's what I'll keep with. And we're good to get started. All right, I'm going in. No fee for this one. So I'm guessing, yeah, there'll be fees later on. And look, there's an Octopod way over there. Uh, careful, don't charge if you get too close. Luckily, we can just launch it over. <laughs> but yeah, I guess later on there might be fees for completing levels, so we'll have to make sure we're doing well so that we can afford it and we actually get some power eggs out of it. Ow, that one hurt. Okay, gotta be careful of that. Uh, but for right now, I do see some more coming up. I'm trying to cover enough ink that if I need to, I can just, you know, do our splat slam or whatever it's called. See, there's a lot going on up here. Let me grab that really quickly. And I think right there, does that work? Small Fry, can you please grab it? Oh, maybe you can't. I don't know if, if Small Fry can actually pick things up or not. So maybe not. If we're out here, I'd tell R to peek around the corner so I don't get ambushed. All right then. Ow, that, yeah, that didn't turn out so well. I gotta be careful that there goes my armor. So I need to be able to be aware of what's waiting around the corner. Um. Because unfortunately, that's sort of the one downside with small fries. It's not really a very offensive weapon. It's just there for collecting things and getting everything done. So maybe not always the best, but oh gosh, we gotta run, gotta run, gotta run. They all exploded each other though. So worked out one way or another. Uh oh. Oh, it's a big one. It's a big one. Come on, come on, get him, get him, get him. Oh gosh. Ah! That wasn't good. Woo! Wasn't expecting that. Me neither. Okay, so we gotta be careful for big ones of those guys, whatever they're called. We're all charged up though, so if we do run into problems again, we should be okay. Um, but for right now, I'm gonna climb up this way and grab our key. So with that, I think yeah, we're gonna go this way. There you go, now it's just a quick hop down and you can go unlock that fog. Exactly what I wanna do. We'll also get a little pod of uh, power eggs. And got a couple of boxes to open up. Final checkpoint, so we're coming up on the end already. I don't think I've missed too much. I don't know if this game is gonna be similar to others where there are gonna be collectibles. Okay, I really chose a bad time with that. Will there be other collectibles to find throughout the levels or if maybe they'll only be found in the overworld? I hope it's the latter because that always makes it less stressful to get through the levels, but we'll have to wait and see. For right now, I wanna hop up here, careful. If I know anything about an agent or about being an agent, it's at an open space that usually means trouble. Oh, and here they come. Here, let's slam on him. Boom. 
It wasn't all of them, but most of them. I can hit the rest of them here. There we go. I've got one last guy. Gotcha. Pretty cool. So that's already got us up to 300 power eggs, and we're not even done the level. So let's hit that. Oh no. Almost there, but what's that lurking in that room? It's another big guy. Come on, come on, come on. The problem is I'm trying to hit him, but I, I don't quite got the range. Oh no. I don't know if it's actually possible to defeat them or will they always self-destruct. Either way, not gonna worry about it too much. We still have tons of this to destroy. And I think that's gonna be about it. No secrets back here. Once again, just trying to make sure I don't miss anything. But there we go. That's gonna be another level done. Boom. So, so far the levels are going by pretty quick at the least. Mission complete. Octopods at rest tend to flip out. So that's 910 of the power eggs. Very cool. Ooh. So that's a lot more orbs. We should be able to go back and figure out some other areas. And if we really needed more power eggs, we could always um, replay through levels. We didn't mean to do that. But if we take a look at the menu now, our archive, right? What else do we have? More alternal logs. But it's still, I don't know why it's saying that there's more stuff here when I still can't read it. But maybe, oh yeah, it is sort of getting deciphered a little. So I think that as we complete this area, maybe we'll just have more context on what's going on. So let's toss this over. 900 power eggs for this one. So hopefully there's a level up here. Um, we get one upgrade point for that. That's good. And what is this? It's some kind of secret. It's gonna be more power eggs. All right, I'll take it. That's a plus 100 right there. So we still have 400 of them. And there is a level up this way. So I think, yeah, we'll break this open for another 100. And what is this thing? Oh, it's like one of those big Easter Island kind of heads. It has a price tag on it. Huh, interesting. Doesn't seem like there's much I can do with it, but just uncovering things does give me a higher rank. I don't know how to spend my rankings. Guess we'll figure it out as we go along. Oh wait, right here, right? Oh no, this, I need the, uh, whatever they're called. Um, but for right now, wait a minute before we do that, let's blast this one open and we'll get something new. You got a decoration. You can pick it up at the lobby terminal and use it to decorate your locker. Oh yeah, there's lockers in this game. I haven't even seen any of that, so I'm so excited. Um, but let's try out our next level over here. Proceed with caution, caution Agent 3. The strings, the thing. Reach the goal using the tri-stringer. Ooh, so this is a brand new weapon in Splatoon 3 that I tried a little bit out on the Splatfest world premiere and I was awful with. So having string my levels can be really useful. It can teach us a little bit. Uh, in this mission, you will master the eccentricities of the tri-stringer to reach the goal. So the tri-stringer curling bomb combo. Let's give it a try. So 20 is the cost here. What if I run out of money? Do I just have to go back and try something else? I guess so. Reach the goal using the tri-stringer. Ooh, a new weapon. Manuel says if you shoot it while jumping, the ink will come out vertically. Worth a shot. Whoa, see, I didn't even know that. So playing the story mode can really help figuring out different kind of weapons and what they do. So, oh, I see. So if I don't hold it down for as long, it has a wider spread. Whoa, 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 watch it. Gotcha, I understand how this works. I didn't know any of that before, so that's really cool. That is super duper interesting. So if I want to, um, I guess I'm supposed to got a little bit. Okay, uh, could have been better, could have been worse. Gotcha. So we're figuring it out as we go along. This is exciting now. Uh, oh yeah, hits the R while jumping to shoot vertically. Oops, sorry, but page behind. <laughs> we got it, we got it. So horizontal or vertical, it's always up to you. Sounds good to me. Um, I do see, oh, these three. The X's aren't really showing up there. That's weird. I think I'm just gonna have to be more specific with this one. Because if we charge it up, it, it makes less of a spread. Got it. Okay. I'm trying to look around to make sure we didn't miss anything. It doesn't look like we have, so I'm good to continue. But there are some people firing at me from over here, it looks like. So, ready and gotcha. And you. And you. Nice. So I feel like I already know a lot more about how this weapon works, which is super exciting. Yeah, I don't think, wait a minute, did we miss stuff? No, those are just boxes, so I don't think they had anything for us. All right, let's jump over. Whoa, what about that? I'm not quite sure, do I just shoot that? Um, you can also charge, this thing holds the other to try it out. Yep, I got it. 
um, charged shots make a big mess. Yeah, if we do a fully charged shot, as you can see, it leaves these things which explode, which is pretty cool. And over here, we got some armor that I'm definitely gonna need, I think, in a moment, because we're going against more right over here. Hold on, once full charge, boom. Got it, that was pretty good, but I need another one. Gotcha, gotcha, and then you over here. Not too bad. All right, we're figuring it out, but there's more of them waiting for us. Gotcha. Okay, one last guy over here. He's looking for me. <laughs> we sort of lost each other for a moment. Is that, yep, that's a launch pad over there. So after I make sure we haven't missed anything, I'm going to go to the launch pad. So yeah, let's go over here just like that. And we're launching. The atmosphere here is so cool. These are some interesting shapes we're just surrounded by. And that is gonna be some more armor that I actually don't need. I still have my old armor, right? Oh, maybe I don't. All right, let's, oh, they're shooting at each other? Why are they doing that? I think that they're confused. Whoa, that guy almost fell off too. There we go, that was a full charge shot. Gotcha. We're doing really good right now. Oh, but here comes another, ready? Oh, oh yeah, that's right, when he shoots, he sort of gets pushed to the side. Ha, take that. So we're doing really good now. I'm gonna hop up this way. Ooh. Oh, I see what I do for these guys. I need to hit that and then have it explode behind them. So when it's on the way down, oh, I didn't charge it up all the way, I guess. Got it. That was so cool. You're rocking. Split, or Agent three. That's pretty cool. Free and clear. Splat that goal. I'm going for it. Oh, is it done? Wait. There we go, much better. Mission complete, that was a super fun one. I love that new weapon now a lot more than I did the first time I tried it. So yeah, once you learn how to use it, it makes it much better, right? See, so yeah, with our game saved here, we can move back to uh, Alterna and try the next level. Okay, so we're back, and ooh, there's a couple things going on around here that I definitely wanna try to figure out. But for right now, that's some more done. What was that thing on the top right? I guess it cost 20 to enter, that's what that little symbol is saying. So it looks like we did a good job clearing everything out on that side. But I am a bit curious, what's going on with this balloon over here? If I splat this, it's just gonna go over here. So this might be something, yeah, that's easier to do once I have everything cleared out. Don't be shy with your ink, splat everywhere. Fill up your gauge and you'll get upgrade points. Oh, hey, what's up, buddy? Um, Does he want me to go up here? Yeah, he does. So he's gonna point out whatever those collectibles, which is great. And what do we get this time? You got a gold record. The tunes around here will sound a little cooler now. Keep an ear out, I would love to. That is awesome. So we have different things like this to clear out too. And even if that doesn't unlock anything for me, it's still good to get. So let's try uh, this one right here. And let's see, is there anything over there? Not at the moment, but we gotta keep inking everything because we get a higher and higher ranking for that, which we can eventually, I think, use for uh, upgrading our stuff, it's, it's sort of, there's another upgrade point. I think Small Fry is trying to tell you something. Oh, right there, I didn't even see that one. Good eye. Okay, and there we go, extra power eggs. Power eggs, nice, you can't have too many. Okay, so I haven't gotten this one. It's pretty affordable compared to what we currently have, so might as well clear it out a little bit. Um, oh, and here we go, this is another thing for our locker, you got a decoration, you can pick up it up at the lobby terminal. Doesn't tell us what it is at the moment, but it looks like some kind of tank or something. Uh, let's open that one up, because it's really cheap. This is so much fun to explore. Uh, hey, your little buddy found something, again? Oh, how am I missing these? You are so good at that. There we go. Maybe they only pop up after you do certain things, though, maybe. I don't know, because I feel like I would have seen that one. But this might be my favorite iteration of the Overworld and Splatoon yet. This is just really cool. So I don't have enough for that one, but that leads us perfectly to our next level right over here. What caused the Big Bang? You, destroy all the targets in one shot. Ooh, this sounds like fun. And this one requires 50 to even try it. So that's where things can get complicated again. But, ooh, in this mission, we will test your optimism during a formidable task. Break every target simultaneously. So we have either the Elite 4K or the Elite 4K scope. I'm gonna try this one for now, uh, because this seems like the easier option of the two, according to the little try this function. Let's give it a try. I like how we get like air conditioned or something. 
Oh, I see, I see. Um, How are you supposed to break all those targets with a single shot? I need to hit, oh, that guy right there. So I need to wait for the X to pop up on it. Ah, oh, it didn't quite work. Mission failed, did not break all the targets. Darn, so do I have to repay? I don't, I don't. That's good. Ah, oh, darn, I just barely missed. I think I need to shoot a little higher. But on the top left, you can see I have a maximum amount of lives. So this is really tricky. I got it, there it is. Mission complete, so some of them are short and sweet like that one, but really tricky to pull off. There we go, so that was our first time bonus. We get a ton of power eggs for that one. Good to know that sometimes they play out that way. It's interesting how this story mode sort of combines the different elements and the structure of all this previous Splatoon games, especially adding some of the stuff that we had from Octo Expansion. So there we go, we get that. 1400 power eggs is quite the reward. I'm gonna small, or throw small fry right over there. That'll be pretty good. I wanna get up this way as much as we can, but if we take a look at our menu, our archive is still making more progress. Not quite done yet. But look at this, we get ourselves another little prize. This is gonna be our first Sardinium. You can use that to upgrade your hero gear. Press X and open the upgrade menu. So this is exactly what I've been looking for, very exciting. Um, so I think we have to start from over here maybe. As you can see, there's different things I can buy. Um, but I have 10 out of 10 for my thing. So uh, small fry HP up increases small fry's overall health. Uh, special charge up increases the rate at which the special gauge fills. And then there's some things over here, like ink tank capacity up, better hero shot, and ink resistance up. Lots of different things to choose from. What if I just chose something simple, though, like a special charge up, we'll unlock this one with our Sardinium. Excellent. Oh, that opens up this whole line. So now that I've gotten the Sardinium upgrade, I can buy both of these. So boom, special charge up. I'm gonna get that one upgraded. And then up here, I wanna do the same thing. Improve small fry's overall health. Very cool. So if we want to improve some more, we'll have to go and get more Sardinium. So I'm looking all over for that. We're gonna be focusing on, of course, cleaning up uh, New Utopia Island or whatever it was called, Future Utopia Island, I think. There we go. Anything cool around here, buddy? Looks like we do have this right here. This is gonna be another golden record. So the tunes around here will sound a little cooler now again. I like how the, the music is gonna come alive as we're exploring everything. Oh, I'm too low on eggs for this one, it needs 900. Is there anything I can afford? Cause there's a couple of spots over here, but there's also a whole level to jump into, so maybe I'll trouble myself with this instead. What do we got? Proceed with caution agent three, we have relic restoration. Cover as much as you can with ink. Let's go for it. So this one seems a bit different. This mission will introduce you to the hobby of extreme face painting. Huh, Explosher Burst Bomb is our only weapon choice for this one. So the Explosher's like a slosher that explodes. Wow. Well then, let's go in here, pay our 30 power eggs, and get started. Cover as much as you can with ink. I would love to. So there's the end of the level, and I thought Callie had a big head. Whoa, <laughs> I didn't even see that. So if we go up this way, I guess you're just supposed to ink it up. Don't ask questions. Oh, okay. I really guess it is face painting, huh? This is so cool. Okay, so I will cover up as much as I can here, but that's where we might want to... Uh, you have inked in excess of 20% of all surface area. Perhaps some platforms will help with the rats. Yep, I'm working on that, don't worry. Whoa, whoa, that's great. So I'll definitely hop on there soon. I feel like an artist at the moment, even if we're just, you know, coloring it. Pretty cool. I think for right now, I don't wanna to go too crazy because there's still, you know, stuff down here I need to cover up. But this is great. We're making some good progress. I need to fill up though, all the way to the top. I'll throw one of those out. Uh, I'd say you're about halfway there, keep it up. And I don't know if there's a timer or anything. This is a very chill mission, I like it. All right, let's not waste too much. Go. I'm gonna make sure every inch of this is covered though. Oh no, ball and ink again. See a little piece right there. Huh. Okay, I don't think I can get that part, but I think we've got the perimeter of the base. So we are good to hop up here. And 
let's see, I, I can see a lot of spots over here that we need to cover up. So, fill up on ink where I can and keep it going. All right, can I make this jump? Yes, I can, that was a close one. It's funny that obviously Small Fry doesn't have much of a use here, but I sort of missed them already. Uh, keep it up, cover as much as you can with ink. Uh, who taught Agent 3 to ink this well? Surely it wasn't Agent 1. Wow, okay, what is that supposed to mean? Yeah, that's what I said, what was that supposed to mean? Okay, so, yeah, let's cover this up. And then I'm going to jump over and see what else we could do. Because there is a lot going on. Jump over one more time. And I think we got this. I think this might be the last little bit of it. Yeah, we did it. Hey, nice work. Really good coverage. And I guess I could have just, you know, climbed up it a little bit, which is pretty cool. Oh no, I can't get up any higher. No, I can, I can, I can. We're fine. Hey, look at this, free stuff. <laughs> you aren't afraid of heights, are you, Agent 3? I guess not. I mean, if we can get some free stuff out of it, definitely not. So let's jump over and complete this level. That was probably the most relaxing one so far. Most of these I wasn't expected to be relaxing at all, but mission complete. Product restoration, cover as much as you can with ink, is totally finished. That was really fun. See, while there's a lot of levels to explore, some of them are really simple, some of them are really intricate, so we'll be exploring each one in each island either way. Relic restoration complete. There we go. 1,200 more now, so you know what to do, little buddy. Oh, hold on, maybe we don't. <laughs> Try that again. I'm not do doing very good with this. Hold on, come back, this way. There we go, so 500 here. And ooh, we get ourselves another locker decoration. Ooh, it's a speaker, I like it. And we get another upgrade point, which I don't have enough sardinium to upgrade the next line, but as soon as I do, we'll get that figured out. Right now though, clearing up this little area is gonna give me not too much, just a little bit of extra space to get around, which as long as I can clear up access to the next level, that's what I really need to focus on, which at the very least, I think there's a level over there I can reach. Doesn't only really tell me, oh actually I've not even done that level yet, so yeah, there's a lot to do here. So maybe I should focus on the golden ones because you can see some of the kettles are just sort of a normal gray metal color, but some of them are golden. So maybe those are the ones we actually need to focus on the complete levels and like move forward with the story. So let's try this one out. Uh, this is gonna be splat you on the flip side, out with the Octarians and reach the goal. Let's give it a try. So yeah, this one, totally new, haven't played it yet. Just like all the other ones, you know? <laughs> so let's try it out. Uh, this mission will test your reaction time with a series of lively, life-threatening surprises. So we'll keep with the whatever's recommended, I think, for now, so Hero Gear, especially since we're sort of still warming up to the game. I haven't played too much Splatoon between, you know, Splatoon 2 and Splatoon 3. I haven't been able to keep up with the games too much, so. We need to out with those Octarians. What if instead of outwitting them, I just outfight them? Oh no, maybe not the best idea. <laughs> so I guess the idea was that, um, gah! They are pretty witty so far. There we go. We've done it before, but we can sort of make them attack each other. But what if I throw Small Fry over, and then I blast you a little bit, but they are really trying to sneak up on me. There we go, there we go. Thank you, Small Fry. That was great, good job, buddy. Um, He's so happy about it. There we go, this way. And, ooh, I hate it when they jump out like that. Keep your eyes peeled more in, for more in the next area. Like this guy, got him. They're gonna have to look out for me too. Gonna have the quick reactions, the sneaky moves. We're gonna be quite the problem. Okay, so that and this. So what do we got with this one? Whoa, ooh, a trizuka. Press R when you're ready to use it, then fire away with CR. Okay, so obviously it's what we got before. Now we got it again. Lots of fun. Oh, that's all I got for that one. That's okay though. I can just sort of finish them off manually, or maybe I can't. Here, let's go back, can I? Oh no, I'm trapped in here. Guess I should have saved it. Uh, gotcha, gotcha, keep it moving, because I'm in trouble if I don't. Oh no, because their shots are pretty accurate. Wow, you cleared that room like a boss, thank you. Okay, that was really, really good. We've made the checkpoint, there's nobody behind me. Now you know it's coming, right? Uh, no, I don't. Okay, gotcha. Toss my little buddy up. That's always such a good move but they still have more shots coming out. I just seem to 
clear it out as much as I can. See the goal, you're almost there, but don't let your guard down just yet. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Yo, let's make you fall down. Toss my small fry, because it does a really good job at distracting them, so incorporating that into our strategy seems to be the best bet. Gotcha. All right, there we go. Oh no, small fry got taken out, I'm sorry. Where'd he go? Okay, he's back, he's back. Uh, so yeah, with that done, we complete another stage. Mission complete, that one was definitely tough. So, I, I love all the cool poses we have when we complete a level. Okay, so we're back out here. We get 900 now added to our total. So I definitely want to put clear out at least enough space so I can do this balloon thing. Hi, Kelly. Let's get this show on the road, shall we? And there is another Sardinian. So I will upgrade in just a moment, but before I do, I wanna head up here again. Yeah, I can, I can splat this thing. And this also gives us a good look at things. You can see there's plenty of levels still to tackle over that way. So we'll do what we can. But in the meantime, there's plenty more of these heads too. Interesting. That's gonna clear out a ton for us. I might wanna check behind it first, because what do you know? There's a little secret to find. And that's gonna give us a bunch more, which is good, because that cost 100. Still can't, oh no, I do, I do. 152 at the moment, so toss that over. Uh, there we go. So I'm out of them at this point. Ooh, what is this? This is a ticket. You got a food ticket. You can pick it up at the lobby terminal and redeem it for something yummy. That sounds like fun. I think that those will give us staff boosts for certain amounts of time while we're playing online. So those are always good to make the most of. But for right now, huh. I think I got enough of this area cleared out that I should be able to backtrack over here and get this. So we'll try this little balloon thing. Usually these unlock something. Um, I gotta get up there fast. Oh boy. Yeah, because I can't reach it from here. So I need to go, go, and then go. Come on, before I run out of time. One more, one more. Got it. Oh, there's more. Uh-oh. Uh, oh, this one's not so bad. It's just two of them. It's a whole course we gotta go through. There we go. Ooh, be sure to pick that up. It is going to be another sunken sea scroll, and this one's actually the first one. Gator and Gompolis and the Splatlands have wildly different methods of serving up clam mochi. Gompolis style means a clam wrapped in mochi, but Splatlanders wrap the mochi with clams. <laughs> okay. They also sprinkle on sesame seeds and top it with hot sauce. Mmm, it's Splatsville's clam to fame. <laughs> Very cool. So we're still looking for the second uh, Octo, not Octo Scroll. Um, why, why, why did I immediately forget their names? Uh, the uh, Sunken Scrolls. But hey, learning more about the game and the lore and everything is always super duper fun. I think we've done a great job of finding everything up until this point, but as you can see, there's still stuff hanging out like way up there. For right now though, haven't hopped into this level. This is going to be uh, doors, 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 and more doors. Find all the keys and reach the goal. Let's get to it. Okay, here we are. In this mission, you will hone your hide and seek skills by hunting for hidden keys. Okay, well, I love looking around for collectibles, so I think we'll have a good time. Okay, find all the keys and reach the goal. So I'm not seeing too much around here, but I do see some Octarians ready and waiting for me. So I gotta be careful of that. You're not alone, keep your eyes open. I definitely am. Ooh, like that, that right up there. Aha, key, but I can't quite get it from here, maybe? Nah, looks like small, I can't get it. So we'll have to find a way over. And maybe I can, yeah, just go up like this. No problem. Um, you wanna come back over to me, buddy? There we go. I can grab that, and we're good to go back. Huh. Whoa, I did not see you. That could've been dangerous. So I need to use that key to open this vault so it can continue forward. How did that one not expect me? I'm not really sure, but we can get a checkpoint. It looks like there's some stuff we can already see ahead of us. There's another one all locked up. Huh. Oh, I see, so I could plop down there. I might do that in a moment, but for right now we get some extra stuff. Oh, now I've got a nice view of the goal, but not a way to get there. So I'm going to go down, break this open and get another key. But how do I get back up from here? Oh, I can just do a bit of that, so. Got it. And I guess I'll open up this one. Gotta be ready for you. Got it. And got it. Very good. Don't have a key for that one just yet. There's not too much more I can do besides with this switch. Trying to be careful with everything, but 
looks like there's no enemies popping out of there. Oh no, this guy. Oh, we got a reef slider. Aim in the direction of your enemies and press R to peel out. This is fun. Whoa! Ah, oh, I did it a little too soon. Oh, sorry, sorry, <laughs> but that's okay. That was really cool. That's a new one for this game, I'm pretty sure. I think we tried it a little bit in the Splatfest um, for the, the world premiere, so very, very cool. I don't think we got anything, but did we get a key? Oh, no, but I can go up here, so we're fine. I'm gonna jump up like that. And then over here, what, what else do we got going on? I could plop down. But maybe first I should get this checkpoint and explore around a little bit more. Not quite sure, because there's obviously, yeah, something over here I can grab. Huge jump over, a little scary, and that's gonna be another key for us. But, is there any need to jump down that way? I don't think so. Keys, keys, and more keys. Yeah, I think we're good just checking things out here. Okay, jumping across again. I wanna check out this little drop down here. Because there's clearly something. Uh-oh, whoa, a secret floor. As inconvenient as it is cool. Is there anything in there? Once again, oh, you can see the gold from here. And my house, just kidding, about the house. Okay, got it. And I guess we'll just hit this thing for now. Yeah, that'll lower that so we can make a huge jump over, whoa! Gotta be careful, there's nothing but water down there. But a switch to hit, oh gosh, this is a little scary. I wanna try to hit those switches. Come on, got it. Because with that, as you can see, you can open this one up. That's cool. That gave me a bunch of extra power eggs and another checkpoint. Oh, I wonder if I could just get to the, the end from here. Not quite all the way, but I don't think, yeah, I never did that. I don't know if I had the opportunity to, to be honest with you. So that might be something we'll have to figure out, but I might need to loop around for the time being. I don't have any more keys to open this one up, do I? No, I don't, but that's how I'm gonna get to the end of the level is uh, getting another key, opening that up, and then going back over. For now though, we're heading back up this way. Can I get there? Nice. And let's try everything out this way then. So there was a guy, oh, I don't know if I can do anything over here. Yeah, so I'll have to go back through that secret floor and just take him on. Got it. So we'll jump down. We know what we're doing from here. Pretty obvious, but dodging this guy might not be the easiest thing. These enemies are typically pretty tough. Whoa. So maybe I should yeah, jump up and over or something crazy. And then I can distract you with small fry. Run over really quickly. Go, 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 go. I'm sorry, small fry, but it'll be worth it. Boom, gotcha. That's gonna be, what, no, another key? I'm shocked. All right, cool, cool, cool. I don't think I missed too much besides this one box. Which is gonna have armor. Didn't even need it. See, so yeah, I think this is gonna be our last key that we need. Doesn't seem like there's anything else to find around here. See, so yeah, we'll hop down to this area. Oh, no, wait. I wasn't supposed to. Yeah, we're, we're fine, we can just go back up. Yeah, let's go over here. Open that one up. Get a couple more power eggs, and we are good to go. Hit this switch, and that'll open our way to the end. So yeah, a little bit of a puzzle. But we figured it out, no problem. Yes, that's the key to the re to reaching the goal. Sorry, I'm just a little keyed up. All right, well there we go. Another level finish. And with flying colors, mission complete. I'm definitely getting the hang of using small fry to help us sort of problem solve throughout the levels. It's really fun. Okay, we're back. Doors, doors, doors completed. And let's talk to uh, Callie hanging out back over this way. I haven't seen Marie too much. Agent two says she can look at spreadsheets all day and not get a headache. It's like a superpower. Wow, whoever made these statues must have been huge. Or maybe it was just a lot of people working hard together. So I do not have enough eggs to break this open, but that looks like it leads to the next island. So not really what I'm focused on at the moment then, because we got plenty to focus on here. So if we take a look at our, our, at our archives, we do have more alternate logs unlocked, but more than that, our hero gear, we can open up another slot. And then there's also stuff to the side that doesn't need unlocking that we have enough points for. Things like small fry quick respawn, reduces small fry's respawn time. I mean, I might as well, if I can. Can I not? Oh, wait, I guess not. Maybe I have to unlock this stuff first. So I have a, um, I always forget what they're called for some reason. <laughs> Uh, but we we had one, we unlocked it. We can do ink resistance up, which improves mobility when walking through enemy ink. Give me that. Very cool. Down this way, we have 
better hero shot, increases the hero shot's rate of fire, which we're using this weapon a lot, so definitely worth investing in. And then lastly, right down, uh, this way we have ink tank capacity up, increase your ink tanks, tank, ink tanks capacity. Let's get that upgrade, thank you very much. Okay, so I don't have any more of these, so <laughs> I will have to come back once we do. In the meantime, what can I uncover around here? So I'm having a lot of fun just exploring around here a lot of the time. Because like these levels, you can see I've already completed, but there's some stuff over here I just didn't clear out. So let's try that for 900, that's actually really expensive. Uh, come back, I missed. Got it. What will this be? Oh, and there's a balloon overhead? I got an upgrade point, but is it anything more than that? I guess not. It will be good just to run around and clear things out because that does give us more upgrade point points. So yeah, run around. And maybe I missed any some kind of secret somewhere around too, so let's look around for that really quickly. Maybe I could catch up with you guys. How are you doing? Quick update, I just overheard the captain say, wow, there's a lot going on in the new Squid Peak Splatoon. I feel like we've heard that one, so maybe they don't have too much new to say. Oh, can I get onto this? Nah, I can't. That would've been cool. Okay, so maybe not worth exploring every inch of this just in case there's not actually any collectibles, but I was just making sure because it would stink to move on from this and realize, oh gosh, I missed a bunch of stuff, you know? Oh wait, you look like you're about to find something. I don't know. Usually they they swim around when they when they found something, but I guess not this time. Can we go up the staircase? We can't. Ah, uh, very cool area either way, and we are getting more points for this. So, oh, it's way over there. Okay, gotcha. So I will get back up there just like this, and we'll check that one out. Cause this is where we found one of the records just a moment ago. Where does it go? It goes all the way over here. 900, I can't afford that one. <laughs> okay, we need to just go do a level then. Which one have we not completed yet? I think that there's one yeah, right down this way that we can finish up, and that should give us enough points to continue exploring. So let's give it a try. Uh, zip, splat, and jump. Zip cast your way to the goal. Let's try it out. It does cost 30 to get started, but we have that. And I don't think we're at like a level of difficulty in the game where it's gonna stop us from you know, really proceeding just yet. Stretch grab and cling your way to the goal by mastering the use of the zip caster. Whoa, this is new, the zip caster splatter shot. We get 1,200 for winning this one. Okay, let's give it a try. Whoa. So, zip cast your way to the goal. Uh, superhero time, aim and stretch. Then that'll sling you off. Whoa, this is so cool. Oh my gosh, I love it. So this is sort of like a new ability. Uh-oh. Um, press B for a heroic leap. So even if we, whoa, that's awesome. Even if we try to go to places that aren't typically splattable, the amazing Agent 3. This is so much fun. So boom, gotcha, splatacular. I'll get up this way, break that stuff open. This is so cool, what an addition. So let's get across like that. Whoa, oh man. So maybe I could do that and then Wait, okay, I guess I was supposed to. Oh no, oh no, try that again. Gotcha. And then if I could, how does that work? Why is that, okay, I'm a little confused about what I'm supposed to do there exactly. <laughs> Let me try that again. Gotcha, I was just supposed to jump on them and shoot them that way. I thought it wanted me to do this to them, but I guess not. Uh, so it looks like we probably wanna run up here a little bit farther, come on, come on. Got it, whoa, boom, that was huge. Incredible, I could do these all day. All right, so, got it, sort of. That time it didn't really explode, but we made it through. Uh, oh, this is where things get crazy. Looks like you can use those pillars to work your way up super style. So we'll jump off that. Oh man. Uh, I don't know if I need to charge it. It's almost like a Spider-Man kind of thing. It's so cool. So I sort of messed it up though. We're gonna jump back over here. So I thought I had to charge it a little. It doesn't actually look like I do. Yeah, there we go. Oh no, I missed. Ah, oh, darn. That one's tough. Try it again, try it again. This time we got it. Ready? Boom. And we can hold on to this. Oh, I didn't realize. Oh my gosh. So if we can hold on to it, Okay, I see, I thought we would jump off right away. I'm running all sorts about how to work this, which is what the story mode levels are for. Uh, 
Wow, are you an actual superhero? It sure feels like it. These pillars go up and up and up. So where exactly are we trying to get to with these? It looks like right now, I can go over here, up that way, and then jump on top of it. Same thing over this way. Don't be afraid to hang out. Okay, so yeah, I probably wanna hop here, jump off, and grab some extra free points, because that's always good to have. I did see a couple more we can get over there, too. For right now, I'm just gonna hop up here, just get a better view on everything. It doesn't look like I'm missing much. Can't quite get over there, though. Uh, what if I jump for it? Oh, wait, oh, it could've worked, it could've worked. Okay, go up here like this, and then boom, get it like that, very cool. Um, you're pretty high up, aren't you afraid of heights? Didn't we already cover that? I don't think I am. Every superhero needs a relatable weakness, ain't you want? <laughs> okay, so, what's going on up this way? I mean, there's a way to get over here, but as you can see, there actually isn't much waiting for me. So, I think what would be cool is if I get over here, and then grab all these points. There we go, easy points. So I think that's everything around this way. So if I want to, I can just climb up. And then maybe over to that one. Yep, oh no, we, I can't grab onto a surface like that, whoops! <laughs> uh oh. Okay, I got all that. Now I can go through this way. Much better, much better. So I got everything I needed there. We can just move forward like this, hop through all that. And now we're really moving. Is there anything from the side? Or anything like that I need to worry about? I don't think so. Uh, that's the goal, yep, right up ahead. Uh, but wait, our hero's pack is blocked by Vilna's Octo Sniper. I think I can get them. Ready, just like, oh, I can't slam directly into them. Gotcha. So I probably wanna jump over like this, and then jump over like that. Boom, wait, gotcha. It looks like you're directing, directly bumping into them doesn't do too much. Uh, now for the big fish. I guess just gotta get up there. Uh, or the big finish, that's it, not the big fish. Uh, so we can grab onto it, just like that. Whoa! <laughs> that was so cool. Mission complete, very fun little power up there. I hope that we can try that out a bit more later in the game. Okay, we're back. We got a bunch of points for that one. Okay, so with that done, what else do we gotta do around here? It looks like there's a little path to the side I might be able to clear out if I use this 600 for this one. And if we if you look up here, look what we got, a little collectible. This one is gonna be um, another sunken sea scroll. Long ago, our splatted lands were almost washed away by a great flood. All was presumed loss until three lights appeared and united to consume the disaster. Thankful for their salvation, the townsfolk threw a festival with three portable shrines as a tribute. Whoa. That's some interesting lore for sure. I do see another one right down there. We got another upgrade point for all of that. And this one only costs 100, quite affordable, if I can actually hit it. There we go. I think that's actually just to get back up, but let's see what this is. Oh, it's just gonna be more points. All right, cool. So I gained what I lost there. <laughs> um, was there something down here? Oh, there was. How'd I miss this? There we go. We got a decoration. This one's gonna just be a barrel. Nothing too exciting, but Hey, more upgrade points for us too, so we're doing a great job with everything. And I think there's gotta be a couple more levels to complete around here. Did I miss? Yeah, there's that one up there. But can I do this? Can I afford this yet? I don't think so. Uh, 1500 is really pricey, so yeah, not quite. I'm gonna go over to that next level though, which might be the last one I need to do. I think that might be the last level. I don't see any others. So yeah, that one. Oh, and then there's that one. So there's a few more to get through. I will get up this way, and that should be my way to that level now. So I'll get this. I haven't done this one now. Ooh. And that's gonna clear out that huge chunk. Is there anything down here to grab though? Because now I'm done at 25 points, it isn't much. But there's no collectible, no secret for that. Wow, okay, a little bit of a letdown. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. Do you see anything, little buddy? Okay, so let's hope, oh, there's a secret that I missed. Right next to the level itself, this is gonna be, ooh, just some extra points, which is good, I might need them for this. Let's try it. Deadly Dance Hall Jump Jump. Survive for one minute. Let's go. Okay, we're here. Uh, this mission will test your stress management skills. Please try to survive for 60 seconds. No weapons at all. Uh-oh. This might be tough. Luckily, we'll have quite a few tries, because it's only 10. 
So survive for one minute. I'll do what I can, but with no ink spreading whatsoever. Uh-oh. Gotta jump over these to dodge. Oh, that's so cool. So they just sort of set up these little sound waves. Oh, this is gonna be fun, actually. Might be difficult, sure, but why can't it be both you know, difficult and fun? There we go. So we're already 43 seconds remaining and ticking. Come on, we can do it, we can do it. Don't think there'll be any kind of a power eggs. Ooh, the fine, that hurt a little bit. Gotta be careful of that. I don't think I have any armor on at the moment either, so just try to be careful. Ooh, here we go. Ah! Come on, come on. I'm getting greedy with it. So I just gotta be careful. Oh man. Come on, come on, we can do it, we can do it. Yeah, staying back here is safer because we can see more of it. Oh man, whoa, this is where my platforming skills, all the Mario games I've played comes to the test. Can I do it? So far, not too bad. I only got hit that one time. Got it, got it, got it. Right there. That was good. One second remaining. They're going crazy on me. We did it. That was fun. I like it. So once again, another mission that was super short, but super fun. Um, I like it. You got 2,000 points for that one too. And we're back. So with all these extra points, I gotta be able to do a couple of things with them, right? Uh, first thing I wanna try is breaking this open. I missed it. I don't know why I, I keep missing that. There we go. So what will this do for me? For right now, gives me an upgrade point, which I have so, so many of. Oh, I do see this balloon still hanging out. Yeah, there's still a lot to clear out around here, isn't there? Um, for right now though, I'll grab this. That'll be some more points for me. I see this one, that one's only 300, so pretty affordable. Oh, can we get up these? Not that one. Huh. You got a decoration. It's gonna be one of the big heads. Let's try for that. Oh, I can't quite reach it. So I'll have to wait around for that to sort of swing by. Well, let's see what this is gonna say. As you can see, there's still quite a lot to clear. There's this one, and then there's that one way out that way. But then we've got it. We've gotten all the fuzzy spots out of the way. So 1,400, I almost have enough. But it looks like I will be a little bit short if I wanna clear out every single thing. Um, so I can't imagine the next one's gonna give me a huge ton of points, but we'll see. That's the last level as far as I can tell. But I don't actually see a way to get over there. Huh. I don't know if I can. Ooh, this one is sort of destroyed, isn't it? Yeah, oh, okay, this is sort of a separate part. Gotcha. Never mind. We should be good. And there's another collectible. What's it gonna be? Boom. It is gonna be another gold record. Everything is gonna sound even cooler. Which hardly feels possible. How cool everything feels already, but what do we got here? This is gonna be just some extra points in case we need it. But I think we are good to hop into what might be our fast last level on this island. Um, this is going to be become one with your small fry. Work with small fry to reach the goal. Don't mind if I do, I love working with our little buddy. Okay, here we are with the next mission. In this mission, you and your small fry companion will learn the importance of teamwork. Okay, so I guess I just have small fry to team up with me. No weapon or anything. Let's get to it. Work with Small Fry to reach the gold. Uh-oh, you don't have a weapon, do you, Agent 3? Yes, it's Small Fry's time to shine. Press R to send your little Small Fry buddy fry frying, uh, flying. I meant flying. Well, there we go. Boom, that was a huge explosion. Thank you, you're so adorable. I just love how happy they get. Um, over this way, we do this one and ink switch. Hmm. Oh, no problem. Wait, 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 ah! <laughs> okay, that was my fault. Let's try that again. Yep, time this just right. Little buddy's doing everything perfect. And then as soon as we're done with you there, we can call you back. After you toss your small fire, you can call it back. Yep, I'm on it already. So I wanna get to that one now. I think I just wanna jump up. Oh no, whoa! I always got pushed off. Whoa, whoa, look out! Okay, so actually no, you can keep going. Yeah, we're good, we're good. So now I can sit on this one like a ticking clock and then call you back. Sweet, you made it across. Right, with flying colors. Let's do that. Hmm, I see a key, but how do we get to it? A little Ferris wheel. I don't know if there's any prizes down there. I don't think so. And I will jump across, grab it, then land back onto this one. Key status nab. Let's take it to the Vaughn, which I think is gonna be at the top, right? Maybe? No, it's right over there. So is there anything fun up this way? 
There is! Don't mind if I do. That's gonna be an extra 25 points for us, which doesn't seem like a lot, but every little bit counts. Okay, open for business, and now we have a launch pad. So now we can go this way. Uh, So many balloon fish and ink switches. See, let's get a better look at this one. Some kind of crazy chain reaction. Oh, it's sort of like a puzzle to solve. So what I can do, toss this over, call you back, toss it over here and do the same deal. Almost, got it. I think that'll do it. This is so neat. So these will all explode, making a huge chain reaction. That'll end with it over there. Whoa, so how do I get up that way? Um, it's the key and power egg party. And we're invited. There we go, so it just falls down. That was really cool. So, all right, on to the next one. Oh, we got more of it, huh? This contraption is pretty big too, huh? Let's take a better look. Uh, looks like you're supposed to climb the wall. Hey, I can see the goal. Huh, how do we do this one then? Because like for right now, I can toss you up here. And I guess we can just climb. Yeah, while I'm on this thing, maybe I could do a crazy jump. Oh, okay, they say where they are. That makes sense. I don't know why I thought they'd maybe fall back to where they were or make me fall back or something, but no, we're good with this. I can just jump up onto this thing, get launched up, go through the ring, but there is one more waiting for me. Oh, I sort of want it, I sort of want it. Can I make this jump though? Ah, not quite, not quite. Huh. Okay, well, you know what? If I were to do that and then, no, wait, what are you doing? Oh, I guess I missed. It's my own fault. Did I miss again? Come on, I'm really not good at this. How is that not working? I'll try one more time. There we go. No, I missed it though, darn. Oh, that's so frustrating. It's okay, it's okay. I wanted to get the extra power eggs. I don't know if it's worth all this effort, but <laughs> I'm trying again. We'll get them over here. See, what was with that? I have it aimed up and it just flies over the other direction. Our character just doesn't really throw it correctly sometimes. Okay, so call him back over, toss it right there, and that's how I get it. Not too bad. Uh, and now I can just jump on, and now I can finish the level, which I guess I'll need his help for this one too. There we go, perfect. So that might be the last mission we have to do. Become one with your small fry. Guess we'll see you in just a moment. So there we go, we're back, and we get a lot of points for that one, 1,200. See, let's take a quick look around. Maybe there is something I missed, or something. If I take a look at the menu, we have our map. You can see all these levels we have completed, but I don't know, that doesn't feel right. I don't know what's with the areas that are sort of grayed out, or those things I can still clear out with the salmon stuff, I think so. Uh, if we go to our archive, our eternal logs are really clearing out now. So I think I'll, I'll read this when we're definitely done the area, but it looks like it's all decrypted. So that's awesome. Oh, that balloon, it's coming up. I wanna get the balloon. Ready? Oh, I still can't reach it. It's gotta go over here, right? Ah, big jump. Come on, come on, I'm ready for it. Right now, got it. And that was 100 points. Really cool little reward. So I wanna go for this one, 1400. And that'll clear everything else here, sort of, I think. There's another good chunk of points. Power egg's nice, can't have too many, definitely. So is there anything neat around here? Yep, there's one secret waiting for me right on this side, and that is going to be, of course, another Sardinium that I really needed to upgrade stuff, so let's go back over to our hero gear. And which one do I wanna go for now? I think we'll just make our way down, right? I feel like that makes the most sense, so. Oh, I need three now, uh-oh, they're getting expensive. I could do this one, but I can't because it's not connected to what we got right now, I don't think. Yeah, so I have to save up two more. So, it's good that we're finding them, but not so good I can't do anything with them yet. And that is really fuzzy out there. But, I do see this one, just chilling out. And this will be another Sunken Sea Scroll. This is number four. Live wild, live free. We do whatever we want. This town is a melting pot, so let's stir things up. I'm tired of folks pretending to be cool. I wanna get so fired up that I boil over. That's pretty cool, I love these different outfits and different sayings and stuff, pretty cool. Uh, I've already been down there, so it doesn't look like there's anything extra to find. But still, finding a sunken sea scroll and a sardinium, definitely worth 
the uh, power eggs we had to put into it. But at this point, if I've gotten everything I can and I still can't get to the next thing, I'm guessing that means I need to replay through levels with other weapons so that we can actually get enough. So I think I was supposed to do this one sooner because I need 1,500. That's actually no big deal. We could definitely go back to some of the older levels and complete them with different weapon variants to get other things done. So here's the first level, which already has just one weapon variant. It doesn't have more than that. So we'll just look around to see what our other options are. What about this one? See, this one has some different ones. So we'll try this out and see if I get some extra points out of it. I don't think I'll be doing all the weapon variants in today's episode. We're just trying to focus on properly completing the areas. We can always go back in later episodes if we wanted to do the other weapons. But you can see we get a clear reward of 400, which won't quite be enough, but maybe we can find some extras along the way. So let's try the Splat Barrel and Splat Bomb, which I haven't done in a while. But hopefully these will be pretty easy levels to do since I've already technically done them. Um, we just need to re remain in one piece and reach the goal. Oh yeah, because of this stuff. So you'll be earning extra points just by participating in the level. So hopefully enough for 100. And of course, it's a splat umbrella, so I can hold this and then let it rip. But so far, so good. We're handling it quite well. Grab that. Then I need the key from up there, so I need to go around this way. I remember this level pretty well, right? Gotcha. And get rid of these two and then these guys, which luckily with this splat umbrella, we knocked them back really, really easy. Oh, no, okay, maybe I spoke too soon. There we go. It's not too bad when I'm not silly about it. Yeah, okay. Oh, whoa, 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 hold on, hold on. Oh my gosh, that was a little crazy. I wasn't expecting that either. Okay, got it, got it, got it. But ink gets used up pretty quickly with this flap I need to make the most of all my shots. There we go. So we can open up this vault, no problem. Grab a couple more, and we're already at nearly 1100. That's what I need, plus the 400 we'll get for completing the level. Should be enough to move over to the next area. So we're doing a great job putting out this level in record time. Oh, that sent them all flying. That was cool. I'm sure if you wanted to do this really fast, you probably don't even need to defeat most of the enemies. You can just move past them. Oh no, you know what? Let's do that. Oh no, wait. There we go. It didn't work. Huh. How was it working before? It's not working now? Oh, there it goes. I guess I just didn't wait long enough. Okay, so I'm gonna break that open. Hit that switch. Oh no. Here we go. Oh, toss, toss the splat bomb. I haven't done that yet. Can I get you though? Almost. Oh, that was our first time actually defeating them. That was cool. All right, got all those. And I really wanna get all this as much as I can. There we go. So we did it all in one life. Very, very good work. Let's complete that level. So yeah, some bonus power eggs for that one. New record and everything. So now we should definitely be able to move over to the next area. Oh, look at all these points. So we are at 1582, that is enough to just stroll right down this way and open this up. So, toss it over, and this one is definitely a big one. Whoa. Yeah, so what is the deal with this? Hold it right there! What is this? Who are you supposed to be? Oh, wait a minute, it's the new crew! Hey, guys! We're not supposed to be anything. But I'll tell you who we are. Say it was Sizzle, I'm Fry. You think you're cool? Sharks call me cold-blooded. You can call me Shiver. Hey, make money, get fish quick. Hey, big man in the house. The Splatlands are our turf. Only we may live here. Hey, yeah, we are deep cut. Huh, I, I love them. Whatever, what do you want anyway? Wait. Did you say deep cut? The deep cut from the Anarchy Splatcast thing? Yeah, it's called a day job. You should look into it. Banditing is our real passion. Nothing can stop us. Wait, are they supposed to be our enemies? Hey, to interrupt, Fry, but have you looked around? We've hit the jackpot. Who knew this was here? 
All this time, treasure was just sitting here under the crater. Now it's ours for the taking. Hey, good eye, Shiver. So are you going to try and stop us or what? Because you totally can't. We're taking all of it ourselves. <laughs> wow, it's like they rehearsed this whole thing. You're total pros. No, they don't seem scared. What do you have to do to scare someone these days? Hey, I got a little bit scared. <laughs> I love big man. Not that anyone asked, but I'm over this conversation. But the treasure is ours. I'd wish you luck, but I don't want to. Catch you later. Whoa, and they're gone. We'll see ya. That was a great in in introduction to Deep Cut. So what's going on in this next area over here? We're not gonna be going into it for right now, but I figured there'd be a boss fight or something. Usually most areas end with one, but I guess not this one. We did a great job though exploring everything as far as I can tell. Um, and as you can see, parts unknown, areas of interest. So maybe we'll poke around a little bit more just to make extra sure we found everything because it doesn't look like there's a uh, kettle display on and off. Huh, yeah, it's sort of pointing these out as if there's something to do with them. So I'll poke around a little bit more to make sure extra sure we haven't missed anything. Oh, it looks like he found something. What'd you find, buddy? Uh, I don't know, it's saying, oh, I can throw him under. I didn't realize it works that way. Whoa, okay, so here we go. We get ourselves some extra pack of cards. So we'll definitely have to try table turf battle at some point. That might be its own episode. I'm not sure how involved that is. Okay, so that's good to know that you can find little things under the ground like that. I, did, I didn't realize that that's what he was trying to say. Um, that does make me a little curious. What if we toss him into something like this? Anything in there? Not really looking like it. Okay, well I definitely still have to look around then and see what else we can find with our little buddy. Okay, so it seems like, I think I know how this works. On the map, you can see these little green spots. Those are areas of interest, as it says here. Those are areas where our little small fry can find little extra things. Let's see if that's actually the case. He's gonna yeah, dig under here, and he finds something. Uh, took him a moment. Let's see what he gets. It's gonna be even more power eggs. And if we take a look, the green spot is gone. So as long as we do clear out all those green spots, that means we know we have found everything. So there was another one over this way. I believe, yeah, right on this side. So we'll look around here a little bit and see if we can't find another one. Because whenever we're close to it, you should pop off our backs and go over for us. Uh, there's a lot of spots around here it can be. So really gotta look around for a moment. Not gonna be up there. Huh. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I think Small Fry is trying to tell you something. You're right over here. Where was it? I'm not sure. He went off for a moment and then he was done with it. This is not so good. Okay, he finally found it again. Where was it? I don't know why I ran past this area a dozen times and he just would not pop out. But now he's finally doing it. Right here? Oh, maybe right up here. There we go, and this should be the last thing in this area as far as I can tell. Come on, come on, what's it gonna be? Am I supposed to help? I guess I am. I don't know, but there we go. It's gonna be more power eggs, which we always need more of. So there we go, the first area of Splatoon 3 properly completed, the future Utopia Island. Next episode, we'll be heading to the second sector, which I don't even know yeah, if we have a name for it just yet. So that's gonna be interesting, but as you can see, not really much more we could do here. We got levels one through 10 fully completed. We could always do them with extra weapons. If you guys ever wanna see that, let me know. But for right now, let's take a look at our final eternal log. Log 001, the fall of humanity. As technology advanced at an exponential pace, so too did prosperity and ultimately conflict. Before long, the entire world was embroiled. In the end, nearly all life on Earth was wiped out. As humans squabbled, natural disasters intensified. Volcanic eruptions leveled cities. The sea rose and began to consume the planet. Humanity experienced a mass extinction event. Soon, the surface of the earth became a barren wasteland, completely inhospitable to life. Error against the odds computed to be 42,791 to one, some humans survived. Therefore, the planet was only nearly completely inhospitable to life. These survivors found shelter in a vast cavern created by a cataclysmic volcanic eruption. The cavern provided shelter, and a massive pool of accumulated seawater provided life. For while humanity was being decimated, marine life flourished. All manner of squid, octopuses, and jellyfish had propagated in the deep. Surviving humans had found a source of sustenance. Whoa, so they were eating off all the sea wildlife. 
that is so neat. So we're finding deeper knowledge about the background lore to Splatoon. How cool is that? Now we're heading to site two. Let's go for it. Whoa. Wee, it's like I'm right there with you, Agent 3. Yeah, it's pretty cool, just going through the tube. To your right, you can see the mysterious fuzzy rocket in the distance. Huh, that's a new sentence. We're almost there, get ready. Cozy and safe factory. I have a feeling that might not be true. Hmm, this second site has a lot going on, doesn't it? Whoa, Agent 3. I'm getting a strong reading from way up there. Could it be Gramps? Let's go check it out. Okay, well, let's definitely go and take a look at that. But we have a whole island to explore here, cozy and safe factory. And it looks like there is this stuff all over we'll need to take a look at and investigate. So we don't have a ton of orbs at the moment, but we can hop in here and sort of take a look at what we can reach. Oh no, wasn't done. And it looks like you're down this way, there's a couple of levels. There's, there's a bunch to do. So let's get to it. We don't wanna waste too much time, right? And check out our first level right over here. This is going to be, yes, let's go. Twirling, swirling, and whirling. Navigate rotating platforms uh, to reach each goal. Hey, a little buddy found something. It'll have to wait, because we gotta hop into our first level right over here. Okay, so here we are. In this mission, you will navigate your way through a gauntlet of spinning objects to reach the goal. So we have our hero gear to start things off. Get 1100 for surviving this one, so definitely worth doing. And let's go. So navigate rotating platforms to reach the goal. Uh, heads up, Agent 3, we've got a spinning Octarian. Can I get onto the back of that? I'm not sure, it doesn't look like it, okay. So, we're moving forward, nothing really I can climb or do anything there, so. So far, it seems pretty simple. We're just moving forward, getting done what we can. I'll toss you over there. There we go, well, that one's got a shield. Is there anyone to sneak behind it? I don't even need to, because I got the power of distraction on my side, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, I was trying to look over the side of the platform to see if there was anything. Whoops. Yeah, that is not what I had intended to do. Um, it's okay though. Now I know. I, I will not make that mistake again. Gotcha. But we do know that we can just uh, hide behind this thing, toss our buddy over there, and get him splatted. And we have our thing charged up, so should be good to go. He's so happy. All right, let's go this way. Huh. Oh, I heard one, and I saw the shadow of another, so. There's definitely some Octarians coming up. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Don't wanna mess with that just yet. I do need that armor though. So while you're all used up, I'll hide out for a moment. And I might toss you. No, little buddy. Hold on, try that again. Gotcha. Come on. And there we go. Much better. So I had one little mistake, but now we're picking up the pace. Those Octo Snipers are a problem, but we got the Trizuka, uh, which I was going to try to you know, maybe I can cancel it, I don't know. Uh, ah, darn. Yeah, I don't know if I get another one or not. <laughs> that was not a good spot to use it. I was just getting fired at and I sort of panicked, but that's okay, we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out later. For right now, I don't need the Trizuka. I can find my way through on my own. Uh, oh, that whole thing is spinning. Yeah, looks like it. I'll get up here though, and was there enemy, any enemies on this one? There's not, but there is some stuff to grab up here, just some extra armor for now. I wanna toss you over there. I missed, which is not good. Those Octo Snipers are gonna be a big problem now. Get them quick. Ooh. And then there was a few more guys. Another Octo Sniper and you. All right, that was a little crazy, but I think we're at the end. Once I grab this, yeah, we can get over to the end bank. Ready and jump. There we go. See, I made a couple mistakes, but we ended up losing one life, which isn't too bad. Mission complete. So that's gonna be 1,100 orbs for us, actually 1,110. And we're back. So, twirling, swirling, whirling, completed. Hey, a little buddy found something. Okay, now I can help you out with this. So, yeah, what's the deal with this one? I think I need to throw you into it. And we got it, it's just gonna be some extra points, but I'm glad to get them. So yeah, like I said before, let's take a look around. We got uh, Callie to talk to over here. Hi, Callie. Who's got pointy ears and some extra power eggs for you? This girl. All right, cool, thank you. I, I think. Did you give them to me already? Agent 2 says she can look at spreadsheets all day and not get a headache. It's like a superpower. We've read that one before. So I'll start tossing our little buddy around and see what we can find around here. Sometimes it's just gonna be extra levels or ranks or whatever. And sometimes it'll be rewards, so. 
Both are good. And spend 400 right there. Ooh, okay. That cleared out a good chunk. And here's another level waiting for us right up this way, which I'll focus on in just a second. But while we're running around, it's a good idea, I think, to sort of like check some things out. How about this one? Another 400 for us. We can afford that. There's more on this side, but I don't think I'll have enough. Oh no, I might. All right, did you find something? Oh, somewhere. Where? Uh, right here, right? No? I'm not really sure. He was making noise like there was something, but we can always find it later for right now. Yeah, let's grab this. This is going to be another decoration for our uh, locker. I don't know what that is supposed to be, to be honest with you. But this one's gonna need 400 and I can afford it. Very cool. We get another upgrade point. Oh, here we go, here we go. Yeah, I see it too. Nice, some more power eggs. That's another 100 for us. Is that enough? You gotta get rid of this one. If I would, It would have been if I didn't miss. There we go. So you had lots of areas just cleared out like that. Is there anything going on on top of this one? There has to be, right? Oh, definitely. Oh, we got a level up here. Didn't even realize. So what level is this? This is Tread Heavily. Reach the goal using the crab tank. I would love to. Now we gotta go back and try some of those other levels. Okay, tread heavily, reach the goal using the crab tank. In this mission, you will master the use of the crab tank to reach the goal. You get 1,200 as a reward, which is good because I'm using up the last of my power eggs to even get into this level. Let's go. So, here we are with the crab tank. This thing is so cool. Use ZL to cur curl up into a cute crabby ball and then you can roll around and climb up the wall. Okay, so I'll try to get rid of some of these guys. Hold ZR to do rapid fire shots. Fire a little crabby cannon. That was good. Now I gotta clean these ones up. It'll hold up against attacks from the front, but it's not invincible. All right then, so I have to be careful over behind then. Did I not hit them all? Oh, I didn't get that one. Or that one, or that one, or that one. <laughs> okay, nice, you spotted all the spot switches. We're so proud of you, Crab Tank. Uh, I bet there's some cool bad guys behind this wall. Crab tank's about to, uh, wait, what? All right, what do we do here? Whoa, this thing's huge. Can I just destroy it? It's walking. Whoa, watch your step, pal. We're, we're crab walking here. All right then, so try to break more of these targets. The range is pretty big. Okay, not big enough for that. So let's get a little bit closer. There we go. And as we fire more, the farther they head out. Uh-oh, he's firing missiles at me. But those are definitely not gonna reach me. I don't know if I'm supposed to be able to reach all that all the way up there. Doesn't look like it, right? Wanna get a little bit more? Huh. But you know what I can do, maybe, is get up there somehow? I'm a little confused on what we're supposed to do at the moment. Let me go this way. And we'll roll around real quick. It's it's a little slow going. Uh, while you're rolled up in a bowl of CL, press B to do a short crab hop. Ooh, there we go. Oh, so I'll have to be really careful going across these as it does its little steps. There we go. Not bad, not bad. <laughs> this is so silly though, I love it. Uh, and there's quite a few more I can hit from over here, but you are my next goal. Come on, who's gonna win this one? I will. I can't hit those from here though. Huh. How am I supposed to get past all that then? I guess, wait for it to punch out again and then we need to move, move, move. Here we go, whoa, that was close. But then, and get rid of all those, and all these. There we go, that's gonna clear it out a whole lot. And I think that was actually all of it. Whoa, is that supposed to be its face? Oh, I didn't see those, weird. It takes a lot of hits, I gotta be really careful, but it will get me some extra power eggs. Don't mind if I do. Okay, so with that done, that'd be the last of the targets, right? I sure hope so. Ooh, look, the giant fears the mighty crab tank. He's putting his arms up. Way to go, CT. Now, onward and upward. Okay, so yeah, I guess that's it. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, gotta make the crazy jump. Is there anything over there, though? Why would I wanna go up that way? Oh, there's gotta be something, right? I gotta go over and find out. Ah, oh, wait, wait, no, I can't make that jump. Ah, oh, come on. That was not fair. That's okay, I can make my way back like this. It had me so curious. I mean, maybe I could jump out of the crab tank and get over there, but it doesn't look like there's anything on that side. 
but maybe something will pop up when I reach it, you know? I don't know, but I just don't think I can make that jump. And it's probably not worth the extra effort. Let's just go ahead and finish it off just like that. Mission complete. Okay, Tread Heavily is done. We get 1,200 more power eggs for that one. And we're back. So Tread Heavily is completed. I wanna get the balloon before it goes. Ready? Got it, <laughs> nice. That's gonna be another 100 for us. So with that done, we're gonna hop right back down because there's a couple more things to focus on around here. It looks like Kelly moved up a little bit. Hey, Kelly. Uh, your hero gear is looking good, but I bet you can power it up even more. If we could find a few more of the Sardinium, that is. We have one right now, we need three to bust these open. So, can't quite do anything yet, but there is another level waiting for us where? Because we got this one done already. Right up here, of course. So, gonna run up to this one, break it open, and hop inside. Absorbency and you reach the goal using sponges. Let's go. So this is another one that has three weapons, but we're just gonna be using the one. Okay, here we are. In this mission, you will soak up knowledge and expand your skills by using sponges to reach the goal. Cool, I'll give it a try. Okay, so we haven't seen too much sponges in this game, but we've seen them quite a lot in the other Splatoon titles, so I'm sure we'll be able to figure something out with these. Basically, you just splat them, they get all absorbed. Okay, you can work with these sponges, fill them up with ink, and use them to your advantage. Got it? Oh, I love this song. It's such a good song to splat people to, you know? Oh, and while they're shooting it, that's sort of the thing. Enemy ink is gonna make it shrink. Okay, really gotta move here. There's a lot of enemies sort of focusing on us, but I did want to go back a little bit. Yeah, because I missed something right over there, but I think that's all I missed on this side. But I could go back over, fill the sponge up, and take these guys on. No problem, I see you up there. I can't quite reach you. Oh, hey, I thought I got you. Ooh, look at this, we got the Tenta Missiles. That's a classic. So we'll use that one. Maybe we can see more of the opponents. Come on, there we go. Because what I can do here, as you can see, aim at a bunch of them, and those missiles will go straight for them. So they're in huge trouble now. That was really good. And it looks like I need to sneak around back here. Because I was able to focus on some enemies with the Tenta missiles that I couldn't even see. And that's always a big perk to that weapon, or that special. Got it, and oh wait, hold on. Gotta grab those. That's another 35 of them. Really good. And I think that's gonna be everything for this area. We can hop up this way and move to the next section. Yeah. All right, here we go. Gonna fill up this sponge and I gotta fill up that one to make them sort of connect. Very cool. And maybe I can even use them as little shields. Toss it over there. You get our little buddy to help us out. And that's helping out a ton. So now I can finish them off really fast before they turn back onto me. Grab that armor for sure. And if we get a little too surrounded, we still have our slam. I don't want to use it until I really need it, but maybe I could have used it there because I, I lost my, my gear. Come on, gotcha. So we're doing really well here, just keeping up with everything. It's only gonna get better as we climb up this sponge. Gotta make a bit of a crazy jump, but, whoa, oh no, that still hurt me. I gotta be careful of those shots. They sort of sneak up on you. They don't look like they're gonna hit you, and then they do. Final checkpoint, here we go. So this is where things can get interesting. I'm going to toss that over there. Yep, we're good, buddy. It didn't work. Um, that's okay, because I can just slam, and boom, got him. Fill up the sponge a little bit. All right, there are a lot of Octarians in the way, but it's basically a straight to the, shot to the goal, I hope. Ooh, the Trizuka again, gotcha. I see you over there. That one didn't quite hit, though, unfortunately. Um, oh, and that was the last shot I had with it, I guess. Okay, so. Haven't been the best with the Trizuka just yet, but everything else worked out quite well. Boom, that's another level completed. I love these ones that are high action, but pretty fast paced as well. All right, so Absorbency in you is completed. And with it, we get another 1,110 orbs. We're doing really great. I think good enough that I can backtrack a little. Toss this over here. And see where things are at. So, plus one upgrade point for all of that. The thing is, is that we're getting so many upgrade points, but not enough Sardinium that actually get anything. It's sort of weird like that. But I'll throw our small fry over here. And there's gotta be something. Yep, here we go. Got it. 
and that is going to be another locker piece. I guess it's just some guy. Oh, I think it's a 3D printer. Oh, that's so neat. And then the, there's yet another upgrade point. So we're getting more and more of those. I don't want to go super deep into you know trying to find every single little thing just yet. Of course, anything where um, small fry might be able to search it out. If we see it pop up, we'll go for it. But I'm mostly looking for the bigger things like these. If we can find the sardinium and the sunken sea scrolls along the way, that's always good. But it looks like it has a couple of crates to break over here just for a couple more orbs or eggs. But I think I'm getting a little too sidetracked. There is a level just clearly waiting for us right here. Let's try this one out. Proceed with caution. Splitting crosshairs. Break the targets to reach the goal. In this mission, you will destroy targets as you progress towards the goal. So it looks like they want us to try the slasher burst bomb. So I guess we'll get started with that one. Yeah, at this. Is this the one we tried before? No, it's not. That was like the. It was a different one. That one like, sort of explodes. But either way, we'll just focus on this and see how it goes. I need to break the targets to reach the goal. Not too bad. Uh, ah, that unlocked the, the ride rail, or whatever it was called. Uh, and we can, of course, ride this stuff while we're splatting, which is pretty cool. I actually forgot we could do that. There we go. Awesome. And now we're riding this one. Oh, I gotta jump for these little hoops. Jump through this one, maybe? Just barely got that. I think I wanna just try to reach these from here. Okay, these are the bigger ones, so it takes a little bit more effort to break, but we got all six of them. And keep moving. And that's gonna be a checkpoint for us. Final checkpoint already? Really, that was fast. I mean, maybe there's a lot to this one. It seems like that's gonna be the case. Gotcha. Come on. Got it. All right, we're good. Ah, no. Oh, I was a little too focused. I guess I don't need to touch the analog stick, but I was naturally just sort of pressing it towards where I needed to go. Can I get on, please? There you go. So let's try not to make that mistake this time, right? I mean, I lost one life, not the end of the world. We'll be fine. Got it. And then, ah, oh, wait, no. I ran out of ink. This is not going very well for me. It's a little deceiving. They are not as close as they appear. Okay, that's how I actually got it, and because of that, I got myself the uh, little ring at the end, too. You need to be able to get them all, though, or it won't open up the rail for the next thing. So that's what I missed before. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Gotta be fast. Come on. I need to hit that orange one. If I do that one, it'll explode the rest of them. It's just hard to reach it. Okay, if that works, it works. Not gonna complain. All right, that's the end. You did it. I did have to retry at the checkpoint, though, unfortunately. But that's okay. We made our way through and the mission is complete. That was a tricky one, at least with the tri slasher or whatever it was, the slasher something. There's so many slashers. We get 1,600 for it though, so we definitely made our power eggs back and then some, because I only spent like 20, 30 or something. Uh, there we go. So I definitely need to spend some of these power eggs to get around here a little bit more, uh, because there's a lot of areas waiting for us. So I think that there was one right over here, but I don't know how to get to that. It might be easier if I just, yeah, go over here, toss that over, and miss entirely. There we go. Why don't you wanna do that? Is that not the angle we're supposed to do this one? No, I got it this time. And it looks like, ooh, you're finding something? Where is it, where is it? Oh, right here. Yep, that's super obvious. We got it now, and that's gonna be our first golden record. So that'll, of course, make the tunes around here sound a little bit cooler. Always worth it to get all those. I wanna turn that thing on, but I do see this right here. This needs 300. We have plenty at the moment, so that's no problem. And while it's doing that, I just wanna fill up what we can. And then we're small fry at. Hey, buddy. And then there's another. So these will help us get around a lot easier. Okay, let's try this one. Ooh, okay, more power eggs. So that's 100 more of them. But we're not finding too many of the actual collectibles yet. None of the sardinium, none of the sunken sea scrolls, but we are getting at least some locker stuff. We got a little thinking man uh, decoration. And I can get up here. Ooh, maybe there's something fun up here. There's at the least a little spot I can spy in on some things, but first off, wanted to upgrade that. Yeah, there's still a lot to go around here before we can get to that third area over there. Uh, but what you find? Gotta be something cool, right? It is another food ticket. We got one of these last episode, and now we got another one. So I'm guessing there's one of those per area. 
first sight. Can I spray that? I cannot. So there's still gotta be a lot to do around here, right? I'd hope so. Hmm. So let's go back over. I'm gonna backtrack all the way to this side because there were still some more things over there I think I can get. Yeah, I think right up here. There's first off, this one's super obvious. I can splat this one and we get just extra power eggs. Nothing too crazy with that. But with all of these little spots, there's gotta be something I can get, right? There's another level unlocked, so definitely worth it. We got this one here. This is nothing yet. Takes a lot of work to get over here. There's another 800. That's probably the last one I can do for this little section. But, ooh, it'll help me go up later. Oh, did he find something? Yes, you did. It is just more power eggs. Yeah, really not that much for collectibles so far. I mean, it looks like he's off to find something else. Hey, little buddy. Oh, here we go, what is this? That is gonna be another food ticket. So we can find more than one in one area. What about down here? We once again have a little spot where I can go up and take a look around. Obviously a lot to find as we head upwards, but on the ground, I think we still have a lot cut out for us here. So that's when I'm a little bit more focused on. Can I get anything here? It'll be 500 and I can't reach it from here. So what about this one? That one's only 100. So definitely gonna clear that out. And what about down this way? Aha! I got it. That is gonna be more power eggs. <laughs> Okay, power eggs are exciting, but when I have so many collectibles to find, it's just not what's gonna keep me excited, you know? Um, so he's excited because he found something up there. I can hear him. How am I getting up? Uh, I guess, oh, I can't do that there. You can see the little yellow part. That means I can't climb up that way. I don't really see a way to get over there. At least not right now. I might just have to, yeah, do some other stuff first. So with that being said, I don't know how much I can do over here. There is a level waiting for us, but down this way, I neglected this one. I wanna do this one for now. This is going to be the Ink Conservation Project. Reach the goal without running out of ink. I'm really bad at that, so we'll see how this one works out. All right, here we go. Ooh, we have the Range Blaster. This mission will test your resourcefulness. You must use a limited amount of ink to reach the goal. Okay, so. Let's try it out. Oh no, I'm a little worried. But we can just put in 30 so that we can enter this level and get started. Let's go. Huh, guess you can't refill your ink here. So this one is definitely a puzzle of being sort of frugal or efficient. Hear that? Uh, so what do you think will happen if it, if you shoot the middle ink wheel? Whoa, gusher ahoy, sighted just ahead. So I'll do that. Oh, and that just sort of covers them for me. Very nice. So I've already, oh no, used up a good chunk of my ink and I can't get it back. Oh no. Now that's a lot of splat switches. Oh, I see. Gotta be tough to ink them all. All right, so what I think I wanna do here instead of inking them all is just ink some of them by doing this. That's gonna roll over, hit another one. Oh, and that's gonna be a whole chain of events. So it's probably a way to do this and all, like make it all happen in one go. But if this works, I, I don't mind if it's not perfect, you know? That should be every switch, and it is! But there's still more waiting for us down this way. So what can we do with this thing? Clearly, I need to hit that. So this is just a test of aim and a test of timing, which we did pretty well. Uh, they never stood a chance. Whoa, whoa, okay, I thought it was gonna explode again. We're good, we're fine. Um, I'm gonna hop onto this. Grab some extra power eggs as we're heading over. Hopefully we're coming up on the end because I'm running out of ink. Okay, we once again have a test of timing. There we go. Oh, that was good. Nice. And that got us a bunch of stuff. After that ink wheel. And there we go, there's the end. So I just gotta run over really quickly. Come on, go, 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 go. That's gonna undo itself in a moment. No! Ah, it's okay, it's okay. Because there we go, we're almost dry. So next time I need to be a lot faster with it, but that was still perfect. Uh, we got 1,400 power eggs for it, and it's a level well completed. Okay, so here we are back at the overworld. And hopefully 
but we can sort of find some more ways around. We do have another level waiting for us actually right here. I might not waste too much time. Let's hop into this one, switching things up, hit the spot switches to reach the goal. Oh, and this one's also another one with just one weapon to use. All right, so in this mission, you'll be playing hide and switch to create a path that reaches the goal. Okay, so we get 1,200 for this one. Hopefully we can make it work. So hit the spot switches to reach the goal, and now I have as much ink as I need, which is nice. So here's one of the switches. Uh, hey, come back, Power Egg Pack. Yeah, I can't reach it. What am I supposed to do about this? Wow, the entire block just took off, huh? Yeah, oh no, okay, I can go, I can go. But that means I can hop down here, whoa. Yeah, this thing has a little bit better range than what we're used to. Whoa, whoa, okay. Aha, inking those spot switches will send a block off to join its friends. So I will definitely need to do all of that. So we'll have to look around for any switches that might be available. Like, does this block have a switch? So far it doesn't seem like it. Yeah, I guess not. But there might be more around. We'll have to look for them. Like this one. So what happens if I, can I join it? No, I, okay. Uh, hold on, let me go back up. <laughs> I thought I was gonna fall to my doom there. Luckily that wasn't the case, but could have been close. For right now though, we just wanna climb up here. No problem. Get all those and there goes another one. See, I can't go with those. That's not really the point. Oh no, they're on the ceiling. We got them. Oh, we got you. You're one of the ones that take a little bit more hits. I don't think we've missed anything just yet. I was trying to keep it that way. Hmm, oh no. So we don't have small fry this time, but we do have that, and that didn't do much. Okay, uh, okay, you're out of out of stuff. Go for you. That was good. Did we miss any? Because that's gonna go off, and then, well, there's stuff over there, but what's up here? Oh. Okay, it's looping around just in case I missed one, I guess. Good to know. Well, for right now, I'm just going to hit that. What did that do? Um. Okay, well then I surely missed something then, right? I guess so, maybe I should backtrack. I'm a little confused by that, but that's okay. We'll figure something out. There must be just like a, a couple of hidden blocks or something. What is that noise? Is oh? I don't know what that noise means. Huh. I'm not seeing anything else, but there's gotta be something somewhere. Like maybe under this? I'm not seeing a way to get under. At least, oh! Here we go! There's one I missed! Oh nice, hiding spot, tricky switches. So I really gotta be looking out for that little purple mark. That's heading back over there now. And then there was one. So I really did not do as much as I thought I did. How did I miss this one? Oh, I think I hit the one under it and just sort of assumed. There, that's all of them, right? I think so. So now we have to head back over this way. Aha. I'm so silly. Oh, I did so much more than I ended up doing. But before we go up there, don't forget, hold B while swimming. We do a squid surge. Uh, you heard her. Surge on up there. I will in just a moment. I just wanted to check to see if there's anything extra around here, which it doesn't seem like there is. So you can do squid surge just to go up really quick. That's awesome. And with it, we get a bunch of bonus points. Yes, we got the power eggs, and now we can complete the level. All right then, that's really good. So there is another level done pretty quickly, and a bunch of points for us. So now might be a good time to look around a little bit, because we've gotten that one done, and this one. I definitely want to try to get as many of the ones on the ground finished before I move on to climbing up and getting the levels done up there. That was a mess, that's okay. So I'll get it right here, there it is. That'll clear out all this goop and I can just climb up this way no problem. Is there anything to get though? Looks like small fries looking around, but not finding too much yet. It does make me a bit curious, because yeah, this is one of the things I was struggling to get up before, but now I can make the jump no problem. And is this gonna be another? Uh, no, it's a sunken sea scroll. Got it. So this is sunken sea scroll number five. 
For the Inklings and Octolings at the Splatlands, aggressive action is the best way to make a splash in the local scene. Youths will often dress themselves in the style of a delinquent or hooligan to intimidate peers during combative courtship rituals known as rumbles. Whoa, so we got some documentation, of course, on the Octolings and Inklings. Pretty cool. So glad that we finally got one of those, but it looks like our buddy has something for us to find. Is it gonna be another um, golden record? I think it will be. Yes, it is. So, our second golden record is unlocked. I don't think I can get up there, so that's that area cleared out pretty well. So let's check out this other side, right? Is there anything more on the floor I have not completed? Oh, Callie's moved up a little bit. Hi, Callie. I was so impressed with Deep Cut's choreography. We've gotta step up our game. I'm glad they like Deep Cut, because I also like Deep Cut. And, oh, here we go, finally, another Sardinium. But with this one, I can't really use it very much uh, because we need three of them to get to the next part or the next upgrade, I guess. But still, really good to get that. And what else do we have around here? Because I was already over there. Up here, though, there is a little secret to get. Is this gonna be another golden record? You bet it is. So our third one, which I think is all we need for the music to really start popping off. Yeah, seems like it. We got a couple more we can clear up. That's 200. And we've already been down there, so I don't need to mess with that too much. I didn't see this somehow. That is gonna be just a couple more power eggs, but 100 of them makes a huge difference when it only costs 300 to clear out little spots like this. Oh, nice. Another upgrade point and another way to get up a little higher. And I think, oh, here we go. Good job, buddy. Spawn out this one. Yeah, I guess we're good to sort of head up here if we wanted to. So I don't see too much else we can do. Oh, here we go. That might get us another sunken sea scroll. Let's try it. Gotta go down this way. It's always good to clear out the area a little bit before we start doing the balloon stuff. Got it. Way over there. And then three more. Got him, got him, got him. Ooh, where now? How am I getting up there? Just like that. And then three more waiting for us on this side. Oh geez, it keeps going and going. I like it when it stops right where it started. There we go, so there is our second sunken sea scroll of the day. This is number seven, so we skipped six somewhere. Uh, Grisco Industries Occupational Safety Guidelines. One, keep your eggs in the game. Two, I'll try to grab one more. Could end up with one less of you. Three, sea goes dark, tide goes up. And four, ACB, always check the basket. Five, throw eggs, don't yoke around. All right, so some very helpful Salmon Run tips, which I'll be using for sure when we eventually play Salmon Run a little bit more. Um, can I do that one? No, that's a lot of uh, cost there. But there's some other ones I can take a look at. Like there's this tiny one right here for only 200. And what does that do for me? At the least, it sort of clears up a shortcut, which is nice. I'm trying to clear up as much as this as I can too. What will this be? It is another locker piece. This time, another speaker. And what about over here? This one is 200. It's very rainbow though, very colorful. And I wonder if I can reach that one up there. I don't think I can from here, but maybe around the other side? Oh, this goes all the way around. But having all these shortcuts is super important. I'm glad to have them. And there wasn't any kind of level up there. So I think we really are good to hop into this and start looking around up here. Because I do have stuff up that way that I might be able to reach. Almost, I'll hop down from some other spot, I'm sure. But what about that one? That one's 400, so I can still afford it. Things are getting pricey, but we've been keeping a good hold on our uh, power eggs. Oh, did you find something? You did, but not where I was expecting you to. Here? I don't know. I don't know what they're trying to do. Maybe, ah, over here. Very neat, that is going to be another locker piece. You got a decoration, is that an organ? I think that's an organ. I'm a little concerned now. Uh, there wasn't really too much on this side, but I think it was to jump over there. So we should be good. Hop back onto this thing, hop up, go over, and check this out. What will this one be? That is another Sardinium. And with that, we could now, very excitingly, get a new piece of hero gear. So we have a couple of lines to choose from, but 
Which one do I want to keep with? I think we'll try this one in the center. So, unlock access to this with three Sardinium, and that will have Get Splat Bombs. Gain access to bombs that explode a short time after they land. I'll gladly take it. So I'll have access to this and to uh, our little buddy, I guess. Get Sensor automatically marks nearby items and enemies while you're submerged in ink. Cool. So we'll definitely have to get the rest of these too, but we are unlocking different pathways for whenever I get more Sardinium. What I'm curious about is, oh, there is a level down there I missed. So that's what I've been looking for. What levels have I missed? I don't wanna go do this last one or whatever before figuring that out. So let's see if I can't just make this crazy jump. Oh, almost. So how do I get up there? There's gotta be a way around here, right? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, from here. Okay, well, definitely overcomplicated this one a little bit, but that's okay, because we got a lot of exploring done. This has uh, getting lost in three easy steps. I don't know if I've ever did that one back there. Either way, uh, navigate the maze to reach the goal. Let's go for it. Okay, the mission will test your, whoa, 96 gallon. Uh, offers a high attack power with long range. This mission will test your innate sense of direction. Navigate the maze to reach the goal. All right. Ooh, yeah, I remember the 96 gallon. I would use this occasionally. So we gotta pay 20 to get into this one. That's fine with me. So to get through this maze, I need to be careful, because first off, there'll be guys like you chasing me. But it looks like I can sort of cheat at this maze, right? I can just stay on top of the walls, and then I don't have to worry about it as much. Let's get you. I did see this guy over here, I'm gonna get rid of him. If I shoot this, it won't collect it for me, so there's gotta be a way to get that at some point. Maybe if there's a switch or something I can hit. Right now I'm not seeing anything, so I'm not gonna worry about it too much. Uh, but I can stand on this, pretty fancy. I don't know if I need to exactly, because I could just, once again, hop on these walls. I like the music, it's very silly. Cool, I'll grab some of that, and then go for you. Luckily, they're the easiest enemies, so. Pretty used to just sort of showing up and beating them up. Got it. Still can't get that. Huh. Oh, and I do also have an ability here we haven't used too much, or I don't think at all so far in Splatoon 3, and that is this little curler. So while you're following that, maybe I could, oh no, oh no, that might not work. If I could just, there we go, distract you a little bit. That does all the work for me. I feel like maybe this is the end of the maze? What's with the computer error screens? That's interesting. There's at least a way up here, but I'm definitely not done. Is that a checkpoint? Whoa! What? The whole maze is going vertical. I was not ready for all that. Um, okay. Uh, so you have to climb back up by swimming? You have to swim all the way back? Okay, well, we'll try to do that then. Going to first off start here, because there's still lots to find and collect, really. And that's sort of what I've been more focused on, but that'll probably allow us to get whatever of those power eggs I couldn't get before. Should be able to stag those a lot easier. Okay, gotcha. I don't think there's too many more over there. Come on, ooh, I made it. Aha, so I was right. We can grab these super easy. And there's another on that side, but I might be better off, yeah, climbing up here. And this is where this becomes a lot more important. So I might wanna, yeah, do a little jump like that. We're figuring it out pretty well. Excellent. There's still more to get up to. Come on, come on. And then from here. So it's really good that I've been splatting the, the ground as I've gone along. I might want to yep, jump up like that. Oh no, I still didn't make it. <laughs> Whoops. I think I'm fine with just doing a normal jump, yeah. Where do I go from here is the question. I guess up this way? So I don't know if I'm just trying to go through the entrance or what. I think so, yeah. So we'll go up here. Oh no, wait, wait, wait. And we got it. That was great. I don't think I missed anything. I'm looking around now, I don't really see very much. But if so, it's just a couple of power eggs. You did it, great swim, I mean climb, I mean swim. Very cool. So getting lost in three easy steps. 
wasn't too bad. I never really felt all that lost. Okay, so there we go. We get 1,200 power eggs for that one. Really good stuff. So yeah, I need to take a quick look at the map and it looks like actually we've done pretty well with clearing up most things. There's still obviously other things waiting for us, but I, I have gotten that one. I think just when, when you get too far, it doesn't really show it to you. Yeah, until you get closer. So I want to get back onto this one so that we can get up and get over. There's still more down that way I haven't quite reached, but I can break this down. And I guess we'll just try this next level out, which is just chilling out here. Uh, unless I've done it. Soak it to me. No, we haven't. Okay. Uh, reach the goal using these soaker blocks. Okay, in this mission, you must reach the goal while making skillful use of soaker blocks. Guess I'll go for this, the normal one for now. And soaker blocks are different than sponges. So let's see what we can figure out about these. These might be a new thing. Oh, a soaker block. Shoot the block and watch it. Watch more blocks pop out. Whoa. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's new. I don't remember that at all. So, uh, hey, careful. They shrink back down after a few seconds. Well, that's good to know, but I wanted to hop down anyway so I can grab that extra reward. Oh no, come on. <laughs> See, after a little bit, they'll probably just return them back to where they were. Try some of that. I think we might have reached our max rank there of 40. Either that, we're really close to getting rank 41. Okay, what's going on over here? Give me that. And then I can jump up this maybe? Oh no, I had to spray it some more. Whoops. Come on, come on. Oh, I got it. All right, we're fine, we're fine. I don't see anything else over there. Okay, there it is, plus one upgrade. Uh, if a soaker block is filled with someone else's ink, shoot the base block to shrink him back down. So get rid of that, return it back to normal, and then extend it out like this. Working pretty well. What is that? Oh, it's like grass and then a bunch of like internet cables under it or just power cables or something. Interesting. They always make the weirdest little references with the, the background stuff. Uh, the road to victory is paved in super soaker, or in soaker blocks. Uh, haha, I made it up myself. Okay, so, go, uh-oh, I already see something. I'll have to get me behind. Can I, oh, you know what I could do? Toss him out. That's gonna be a good distraction. Gotta go close, get him taken down. That was great. Back over here, yeah, I need to reach that. That might be where I need small fry. Come on, buddy, you got it. Is that enough, though? It's not. Um, I don't know if little buddy can do this. Oh, there we go. Maybe I just didn't do a good throw. And then I gotta break this one. That'll give me another, uh, whoa, 25 of them. Pretty cool. All right, you can come back now. There we go. So filling that one all the way up. We're back in it. So these circuit blocks are really cool. Fun addition to the game. End of the road. Oh, I want to say that so soon. I can fill that one up. And this one. Whoa. Let me get over to this first. There we go. That's gonna be a key, so we, we definitely needed to do that. And then I don't know where the source block for this one is. It's right here. So I can do that, no problem, but where am I going from there? It looks like right up here. So let me break this one really quickly. It's gonna just be some power eggs. Whoa. Whoa, 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 hold on. Get up here. Luckily, it does give you a good amount of time with each block. Ah, we made it, we made it. So with the key, you can open that up, and we're good to go. Uh, the way those soaker blocks pop is so satisfying. Yeah, it's almost worth letting them unpop just to pop them again. I agree. Very cool. So we're doing really good now. I gotta be careful of all this, but, whoa, can make this whole path that I can safely cross. You gotta back off, don't forget about your soaker block here. And then ready, boom, that was great, that was great. Fair occasion three, thank you very much. So we'll shrink that back. And I don't know if there's really too much of a purpose to filling it up like this, but we'll try it. Ooh, ooh, there is. Wait, 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 I gotta go on this side. There we go, goal time, let's get out of here. Just a moment, I just wanted to grab that stuff. Okay, we're doing so good. Go, 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 I'm trying. There we go. We did it, we nailed it. Awesome, another mission complete. Okay, so Soka Tumi is completed, and we get a whole 
bunch of power eggs for it. So what else do we have going on around here is the big question. Um, I think that, yeah, down that way, we need to plop down and boom. And that is going to be, ooh, looks like we got some more of the uh, table turf battle cards, they're called. Glad to have them. I did not, no, I did see that, but I, I didn't have a way to get to it before. Now I do, so we'll get that in just a moment. But first off, we have another Sardinium, which is great to have, but unfortunately, I can't quite use it right now. So you know what, I think I'm gonna have to hop down anyways. Might as well go check this out. That is just some more of the uh, Power Eggs. 400 for this one, though, isn't too bad. Ooh, and there's gonna be another thing. What will this one be? It is another Sunken Sea Scroll. This is number six. The lobby I've built doesn't have a single standout feature because everything in there is feature worthy. If you don't have the greatest turf war experience ever, I'll eat the smaller of my two claws. Glenn Fiddler, president and CEO. Whoa. I love this little, whoa, whoa. <laughs> so that's an interesting new character. I don't see anything else more we can do up here, so I think we're gonna get back over there and try out the next level, because I still can't quite afford this. We need 2,000 for that one, but I think we've cleared out all the other areas. Maybe there's like one or two more up there, but beyond that, we've been doing great through this section. I feel like it took us a lot longer to get through the first site. Obviously, we were still trying to figure out how everything works, but now that we know, we're zooming through. Okay, we're up here. I need to hop onto this one. Up this way, I got that level done. Yeah, it's just this thing, which it does require a thousand, so it's pretty pricey. But with that done, fill that out. I don't see anything down there that we would need. If only we could climb ladders, that'd make this all so much easier, right? But this might be, whoa, wait a minute. Is this a boss fight? It might just be the future stares back. Fight your way to the exit. Let's give it a go. Oh man, this is definitely the big one. Okay, the future stares back. Unauthorized personnel prohibited beyond this point. Uh-oh. I hope we're authorized because I'm going through. I'm getting a strong reading up ahead. It might be Gramps. Fight your way to the exit. Oh no. Go check it out, Agent 3. Not so fast. Oh, is it deep cut again? It is. You're pretty tough, I can tell. How about this? You call it quits, join my crew, and we split the treasure. We're not after treasure, we're after Gramps. Ugh, you wanna resolve this Splatland style, huh? Fine by me. Dance battle to the death. Eels, get your wiggly butts out here. Uh-oh. Oh no, it's this guy, the Eel Deal Fry. Whoa. Up, up, up. Let's dance. Oh my gosh. So we're actually facing off with the idols in this game, which is pretty crazy. Ready or not, here we come. Because Pearl, Marina, Kelly, Miru, they were sort of always our friends, but here, these guys are our enemies. First dance, Eel Downpour. Oh no. So I'll try my best to stay back for now, but I guess we gotta splat away these eels. Oh, some of them are getting launched. Come on, I got most of them. Hey, take your hits like an eel. Don't fly them, don't fly back at me. Uh, so what do we do with this? Maybe I can rev up the fan? Uh, oh, hey, if you beat up the masked eel, something happens, yeah. Uh, oh, I gotta climb up. Oh, I'm so silly. I forgot how this works. Uh, third dance, 100 eel vision. Don't worry though, we sort of figured it out. Now I can just try to take on these eels wherever they are. Uh, oh, don't hit me. Okay, here's our chance again. So yeah, do that and then climb up. Oh, here we go. Make those eels squeal. Wow, the captain is fired up. Okay, so that worked out pretty well, but we're not quite done. All right, all right, not bad. You ready to feel the pain? Oh, I get it. Now watch this. Okay, so we can have to spot around a little bit. Second dance, more a whirlpool. Whoa. Whoa, 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 they're coming out a little bit farther now. Jeez. One more, one more. There it is. <laughs> no, no, there actually is one more. Gotcha. Got to refill an ink real quick, but then, God, you threw my whole balance off. I can get it this way, no problem. That's it. Oh, you're in trouble. That's your chance. We did it. Okay, come on, one more phase, right? Hey, you think you can treat my eels like shrimp? Wrong, nah. All you did was wake us up. 
I'm firing it up. Moray power. Okay. Final dance. Great Moray transformation. Oh my gosh. You get the Moray eels. Whoa. Wait a minute. Wait, it didn't work. My slam. What? I feel cheated. My slam didn't work at all. Looks like you'll stay down after you defeat them. Take out as many as you can. I tried to. Oh, and I'm back to the second dance. Oh, that stinks. Oh, did that still count? I guess so, I hit them again. Grr, you're way stronger than you look. But you haven't heard the last of Deep Cut. Bet you'll miss me, ha! So I guess I just had to hit them again no matter what. It didn't have to be that extra phase. That was a little weird for sure, but either way, we defeated Fry. Interesting. So are we just heading over here? What is this thing? Oh, the reading was coming from this thing. Well, we fought for it, snap it anyway. Grab. What is this? The future stairs back completed. And we got whatever it is. It almost looked like the body of like a motorcycle or something. Hard to make out. Woo, that was some great work, Agent 3. And you got this thing, but not cramps. It's treasure, or at least I think that's what it is. We can keep it here for now. I really do think it's a piece of like a bike or something. Copy, do copy, over. It's Gramps. Anyone listening, do you read me? Over. It's Gramps. Gramps, where are you right now? Callie, Marie, my darlings, you're okay. Yep, we're A-OK. -okay. Wait, we should be asking if you're okay. Are you okay, Gramps? Oh, sure, I mean, I'm locked in some kind of dark room, which I guess ain't exactly ideal. I'll see if I can break out, over. Don't do anything too rash, we're tracking your signal right now and an arm and on our way. Call us if anything happens. Oof, I'm so glad he's okay. Come on, let's take a look at the new readings from the, his signal. Agent three, if you want to go back to the previous kettle, just open the menu. It might be useful at some point. So yeah, I don't have to jump around the whole thing. This is definitely the body of a bike of some sort. Maybe we'll get more pieces of it at some point. Interesting. Oh, so we're way back here at the first island. So let's talk to you two. Where'd you meet Small Fry, by the way? I have no clue. He was just there. Just so you know, the captain's kind of shy. Don't take the silence personally. No worries. You'll need plenty of Sardinian to upgrade your gear, so keep an eye out for it. Yep, and that's actually what I want to go back and do is explore more of the second site, and hopefully, if there's anything left to find, we can sort of stumble upon it, because there's at least two more things around here. But then we also need to open up the area, so there's a couple more things we need to do for sure. Let's jump over. So that's pretty cool. And it was pretty simple just to jump over like that. And here we are. Very cool. So, where was it that the game was trying to say, I do have something to find? So small fry should pop out if there is anything, I would hope. Sometimes they take their time. So, we'll look around a little bit and maybe we can find it on our own. Oh, I think I just found it just by throwing it. Okay, there we go. So that's gonna be some power eggs for us, which. No, it isn't too crazy, but it's worth finding all that stuff. So there's one over here as well. I'm just gonna jump over like that. And hopefully, once again, we can find it together. But I had a guess it's probably somewhere like this. But as long as small fry is out, you would think that would make a difference. Oh, here we go, here we go. Did you find it, buddy? Yes, you did. So I'm gonna bust that open and that will be some more power eggs. So at this point, unless there's more to find in this area, which there isn't, I think we've cleared out all the levels and all the collectibles too. So we did a great job in today's episode clearing everything out. I want to run over this way real fast and see if we, yeah, we, we have enough points. Let's break this open. Ready, boom. So there we have it. That is going to be uh, quite a lot covered up or uncovered really. I do wanna make sure we have all these different map pieces sort of figured out just in case, but I think we're really sort of figured out with most of it. Yeah, very interesting that we were able to fight a deep cut member in this game. Like I said, that's a lot different than what we're used to. So before we finish with today's episode, of course, I wanna check out our next alternate log over this way. Log 002, the rise of civilization again. The surviving humans appointed scientists to lead their new society, believing that science would provide a wiser path forward. Fully empowered, these scientists took on the monumental task of establishing a sustainable ecosystem within the cavern. They dubbed this new society Alterna and began the process of recreating the Earth they had once known. So that's what this area under all of the Splatoon stuff is, is 
when the humans tried to rebuild their civilization. Of course, not even scientists are immune to nostalgia. The humans began constructing large-scale 3D printing operations. This allowed them to recreate some of humanity's favorite artifacts within the confines of Alterna. Additionally, they created a robust information management system designed to inevitably record, or indelibly record, all of humanity's precious knowledge. Such a system would naturally require some sort of record keeper, a computer that can aut autonomously observe and record data. The scientists achieved their aim with the development of Orca, also known as the omniscient recording computer of Alterna. So that's what we've been talking to and who's been putting us on all of these missions has been Orca. Interesting how the story is tying together. So that is really, really neat. So now we're doing uh, site number three, right over here, or hopefully. All right, let's see what we can find out at the next site. I see some balloons in the distance already. I just hope Gramps is safe wherever he is. The cryogenic hope town. Whoa, watch out, it's all slippery over there. It's all icy. Between the fake snow and lack of Gramps' signal, it seems like nothing is chilling here. Well, we should investigate just in case. We'll follow your lead, Agent 3. Watch your step. Okay, so a whole new area to explore. Hopefully it all goes well, but we wanna take a quick look right now. As you can see, there's a lot to do around here. I've also noticed if we turn the kettle display on and off, these little things will go away. I don't know if that means anything. As far as I can tell, it doesn't, but I don't know if that's like extra stuff to figure out and find. But as far as I can tell, it's not. Either way, we're gonna clear this out real quick. And that'll just be an easy couple of uh, level ups. Ooh, did you find something already? Yeah, right here. There it is, some easy power eggs. I like it. So let's take a quick look around. Ooh, so this area, definitely not as vertical as the previous site. Ah, there are two more pipes way back there. Oh, gotcha. So we can sort of choose which way we want to go um, in the next episode. But for right now, huh, there's a lot to do. Indeed. So we'll have to look around first up. I do see, whoa, we're slipping, ah, no. Oh, that's my first time getting hit by one of those in a while. We look so silly when we do. Uh, Back on your feet, I'm trying, I'm trying. So let's try that again. I don't have to be really careful, because I can turn around. Gotcha. There we go, that's gonna be some more power eggs, but where is the thing? Oh, I see it right down there. I don't know if I can reach it from here is the thing. I don't think I can. I don't think it's what I'm supposed to do. Sorry there, uh, little guy. So, what can we do around here? I guess we can just tackle on our first level right here. Proceed with caution, Agent 3. We're climbing the corporate splatter. Take down the Octarians and climb to the goal. Don't mind if I do. Okay, here we are. This mission features an invigorating simulation of outdoor activity. Head toward the goal at the summit. We'll do, so we'll use the hero gear to start things off today's video and we should be good to go. Take down the Octarians and climb to the goal. Okay, right off the bat, I'm seeing a lot of Octarians. I do too, so I'll clear that out a little bit. Uh, try picking them off one at a time. That'll give you a little room to move forward. Yeah, there's just so many firing at us, but if we're feeling a little overwhelmed, we can throw our small fry over and that'll distract them at least a little bit so that I can focus on these guys. But I think we're doing pretty well just taking them on. Let's go for you, gotcha. And let's check out what's going on over here. Some armor and uh, power eggs. Great stuff, so exploring, paying off pretty well. If I can go small fry over, that'd be great. I think that's everything for this first section. Let's uh, climb up here. Whoa, oh, there was one last guy. <laughs> okay, now we're all cleared out. And here's our checkpoint too. Ooh, look at this, we got ourselves the, uh, the ink storm. So I think we want to make it rain right about over there. Hopefully that works out. It's gonna fly way up, and then there goes that rain cloud. It's gonna sort of continue forward to splatting a bunch of them. That's awesome. That's definitely cutting out a lot of our work so that we can focus on the rest of them pretty easily. Gotcha and gotcha. Okay, I think that's everyone. I think I heard a, a whistle. I don't know if that was from any of the characters or anything. Huh, okay, doesn't matter too much. I need to get back onto this side so that we can climb up this thing. Come on, come on, got it, whoa! <laughs> and there's one last guy. There we go, let's move to the final section where we also have our final checkpoint. I'll grab that armor real quick and we're moving. 
Oh, I see a couple of them waiting for me. So I might want to go for you first. I think I'll toss, yeah, small fry over that way. I think I might have to backtrack a little bit. But wrapping around doesn't sound like half out of an idea. Cause look at them, they're all after him. Boom, and I clear the rest of them out. That was cool. So small fry is such an important, important little tool to use. Oh, that's what I was, whoops. Yeah, there's none left. Never mind. <laughs> so I did it wrong. Um, can I cancel it? I think it'll run out on its own. I feel so silly. That's not what I was supposed to do. Oh well, my idea worked out then. You know, it's still the same end goal after all. Okay, so we'll launch up this way, no problem, and finish our first level of the day. Pretty cool, mission complete. See, the, the corporate splatter has been climbed, and with it, we get 1,310 power eggs. And we're back. So with our first level done, of course, we could replay that later with some different weapons if we wanted to. But for right now, I'm a little bit more focused on clearing out things like this over here. We can small throw our small fry. And what about on this side? Well, it looks like Callie wants something from us, so I'll run over real quick. Hi, Callie. Guess what? I've got some extra power eggs for you. Courtesy of the captain. They said, you're welcome. See, that was 100 power eggs. I actually saw it this time. So I think we're supposed to backtrack over to that thing. For now, though, I do see an extra little reward to grab right here. That is going to be our first gold record of the area. Okay, so... Quite a few things to do here. I wanna to try to clear out whatever I can, but I'll try to beat this one. Ooh, there's just so much. This place really is a mess. And I do see yet another level to tackle. If it's right here, we might as well proceed with caution. Try curling. Alterna's 11th most popular something. I clicked it too soon. It is 11th most popular athleisure activity. Reach the goal by using curling bombs. In this mission, you must destroy every target as you proceed toward the goal. Cool, so this one, I can just use curling bombs. Might be a little bit more complicated. Oh, this seems fun. Oh, I see, I need to stand back here. Try that again. I'm too low on ink. Ready, and go for it. Wait, why didn't it curl? It's supposed to... Maybe, oh, I think I'm holding it for too long. I think I'm just supposed to let it rip. There we go. That sort of worked, but maybe just a quick tap this time. So I guess the quicker we tap it, the farther out it'll go. I didn't know it worked that way. Hey, that unlocked the launch pad. Very neat. So, same thing here. Uh, I think you're going to want to slide the curling bombs and then swim along them, behind them. Let's see how. Whoa, look at this one. Oh no, that might not work. Oh, it's gonna be close. I got one of them. I'm low on ink now, so let me fill up again. I might wanna, and once again, I held the button for too long. This is tricky. Got it. Aw, oh, that didn't quite get them all at once. I'm sorry, I tried. Hey, got the job done, that's what I'm trying to say. So let's see what's going on with this. Hmm, what are we supposed to do here? Uh, there's gotta be a way. Maybe if you aim for the walls? Yeah, it looks like we can maybe bounce some stuff off. That wasn't half bad, but not all of them. Could have been a one-shot win. Okay, that's not quite what I wanted. Luckily, we can just sort of sink into the little checkpoint. Ooh, that was the rest of them. Next up. So I haven't gotten it successful in the first go, but that's okay. Let's try this one then. Ooh. All right, the next path rotates. Come on. Ah, darn. That's gonna be tricky. Right there. Ooh, almost, come on. That's it, that's it, that's it. And I got them. Uh, you were pretty good with those things. Thank you. It took a couple of tries, but we got there. I'm gonna fill up with these as I'm moving forward and check out this checkpoint. Oh, I see. Remember, you can change how far the curling bo bombs go by holding down R. But you can't like cancel it, so. So I can send them out like that, but I want my timing to be a bit better. Right down the center, I know you can do it. So something like that, I think. That was too far, or not far enough, actually. Okay. And that was good, but the timing wasn't there. So I'll try that one more time. Ah, still not enough. One more time, right there. Just gonna do full send. Oh, and it bounced off of it. Really? This is it, this is it, this is it. 
Oh, how did that not work? Oh, it's very questionable. Dude, that, that's really weird. It might be because it's not on the platform. Got it. Okay, that took quite a few tries. Sorry about that one. Um, but we're just gonna move over to the next thing, right over here, and I should take a better look at it. Uh, whoa. Oh, I think there's a balloon fisher. Is this the last one? Stay focused. Right now. Got it. Ooh, come on. I got it. That was so good on the first try. Very nice. So let's send this down, and we'll be finished up with the curling bomb. Very cool. That was a tough one. See, there we go, we tried curling. So there we go, curling has been tried, and with it, a bunch more points. We gotta make our way through here a little bit, but first off, nice little collectible right here, just some extra power eggs. Power eggs, nice, can't have too many. Say that again. So, let's try, oh no, over there. Uh, hey, your little buddy found something. Over this way, yeah. Not too complicated to see this one, I guess. But that is going to be our, our next uh, Sardinium, our first one in this area, I think. Oh, I have five of them now. When did I get five? Maybe we've been getting multiple at once. I'm not really sure, but we'll try opening up one of these. There we go. That is going to be Small Fry Ink Saver. Decreases the amount of ink consumed when throwing Small Fry. I would love to get an upgrade. And then this one to the side of it is uh, Ink Resistance Up. Further improves mobility when walking through enemy ink. Sounds good to me. We can afford the actual points. It's just really the uh, Sardinium that's expensive. So if I can get one more Sardinium, we can open up that path too. But hey, while we're over here, might as well toss that over and see what we got. Not much. Uh, what about this one? That'll clear up a good chunk for sure, if not anything else. Because we have a lot of points right now, a lot of power eggs. I'm trying to make the most of those. And I do see another one. Yeah, I can't ink any of that stuff. Right there, 500, and that will get us. Another area to clear out. I do see that balloon flying around. At least I see the shadow of it. I don't think I can spray this stuff too much. Ooh, right there, 900, that one's a lot more pricey. But that'll allow us to get up there and check out some stuff. And then 300 right here. There's also another level waiting for us too. So I might wanna try that, but there's another upgrade point. Very good stuff. Oh, and I can just spray up this this uh, little shipping container. Oh, I see you back there. Seems pretty sneaky, right? But I was able to get it right there. So what's gonna be back this way then? It is going to be a food ticket. Getting quite a few of those. So I'll definitely have to use those after our adventure is sort of said and done. We'll be getting back to uh, Splatsville, or whatever it's called. Okay, that's, what did you do that for, Small Fry? I just walked right up the side. Uh. That should be everything there. Oh, and there's another little prize for us. This time it will be a locker accessory decoration. Um, I think it's a generator. And this is 200, so we can't afford this one. But then we're just about all cleared out when it comes to affording things. Oh, what did you find? Where exactly? Right here? I got it, I got it. Wait, wait, wait. That is gonna be just some more power. So actually we can afford a tiny bit more if we do run into something, you never know. But what is this about? This might be another sunken sea scroll, or it is going to be another sardinium. I'll take it. So with this sardinium, if we go to here, yeah, we can afford it now. So I will unlock this, allow unlock access, and that'll be just another path. So we have the suit recovery up, increases the recovery rate of your suit after it is broken by enemy ink. So I'll get that upgrade because it's pretty affordable. And then over to the right, here, we have the Ninja Squid. Become less visible while swimming through ink. Four points, we can get it. There we go. So I'll have to go back and do those little side paths soon enough, but they're not too expensive, they're one each. So we'll get there eventually. Okay, so we're doing a great job of clearing things out. There's a level right there I need to do, and then a couple more back on those sides. So I think that's what we'll focus on for now. Let's go for it. So yeah, this one, come on, gotta clear all this up. Because the more of this we clear up, the more points we'll get so that we can use for those different upgrades. Uh, proceed with caution, I know. They said we'd have flying cars, and we do. Kinda. Keep an eye on the sky and hitch a ride to the goal. Let's try it. Okay, here we are. 
In this mission, you'll navigate a simulated Skyborne commuter scenario. Carefully proceed to the goal. So as per usual, do the hero gear, and let's get started. So I wonder if even covering this stuff up is helping with our level. It looks like it is a little bit, so maybe I should be doing that more diligently. Who knows? Keep an eye on the sky and hit your ride to the goal. So up there, you can see these big blimps. I have to be careful of those, but for right now, before I do, whoa. Whoa, what's with the air show? This guy's looking a bit crowded. Say that again. <laughs> They're coming in overhead. I think for right now, though, oh, we can splat these guys, get some free orbs out of it, or eggs. I wonder how many I can get. Okay, just three of them. That's okay, better than nothing. And we're all charged up for our next super. Uh, the, these Octo Zeppelins must have a weak spot, and I think, yep, it's the tentacle on the top. Once again, I wanna see how many I can splat before it stops giving me eggs. There's another three. What about this one? Ah, that's it, so I got two of those. We'll get up here really quickly. I think we'll do a little bit more of the same thing. Gotcha, whoa! Hey buddy, watch it, there we go. I think we'll get up here. Okay, I might be able to get one more out of it. Let's try. Nope. Okay, but we're good to jump across, no problem. And this should be our first checkpoint, so if we do fall or something bad happens, we'll be able to bounce back pretty quick. Got you. And I guess we're good to try figuring out this um, Octo Zeppelin. Gotta jump across for now, but I think there's gonna be a point in time when we gotta go on top of them. That'll be pretty crazy. Huh. Cause the end of the level's right there. Oh, no fair, the goal is right there, but we can't reach it. Any ideas? I think I have one, and that's gonna be to wait for a lift. We'll have to get farther away before we can get higher up. Time to hitch a ride. So we actually, we, we can destroy these guys for some easy points, but we actually wanna ride them. Oh, you can see my shadow over there too. Sort of odd. Gotta wait for another one. Here it comes. So I probably don't wanna splat this one just because it takes too much time. I don't know if I'm, ah, oh, okay, I can't jump across it. So I gotta stay on this side, get all the way over, and then ride it back over there. Pretty involved. So we can sort of see, all the, ow, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I was just sort of enjoying the view, but I guess I'm not allowed to do that. Okay, let's splat these guys on. I'm almost at the checkpoint, so don't take too much more damage. There we go, much better. What's up there? Uh, maybe I can just get small fry to do it? There. How did you bounce off of that? The game didn't even say that you would. It gets really silly with that sometimes. It is some extra power eggs, but it doesn't look like small fry can actually grab them and bring them to me, so I'll have to find a way over, which might be as simple as making this jump. Yeah, we got it, we got it. So that's still another 25 points, definitely worth grabbing. I'll get rid of all of these Octarians hanging out, waiting for me. Oh, no, 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 we wait. Ah, oh, I went too far. That is not what I wanted to do. <laughs> Luckily, we still have a few more lives, so. The unfortunate thing is, that makes me have to redo everything I just did, which is the more annoying thing. Okay, so first off, I'm gonna spot you and your friend. Then we'll get this again. Don't fall. Okay, we're fine. So just don't do anything silly and we'll be okay. Gotta go up normally so that I can get that stuff. Then we're good to continue forward. And it looks like I could shortcut up this way, right? Yes, I can. Well, even more than that, it looks like I found something good. We've done a bunch of free um, power eggs, right? That's what they're called. Don't tell me I forgot about it again. I think it's power eggs. Uh, so we're hopping down this way. I need to catch a ride, quick. Oh, uh, wait, 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 wait. No, wait. Oh, <laughs> I just barely made it. I don't know if that was worth the risk, but that's okay. We got through now. Pretty cool. And I think we'll just chill up here for now. Wait a minute, whoa, there's more of them coming in. Duck and cover. Jeez. Oh, we're almost there. Whoa, whoa. I gotta jump off. Goal's right below you. I missed all of them. Whoops. Whatever, it's fun, it's just a couple of eggs. And there we go, mission completed. That was a fun one though, for sure. Okay, so they said we'd have flying cars, and we do kinda, sorta kinda. More just, I don't know if Zeppelins are flying cars, but uh, what else do we got? There's a level up there we need to tackle. We should have enough points to find our way up there, even though I think actually we're good to go with it already. We just need to go up like this, clean up all this stuff, Get this shipping shipping container, but wait a minute. 
Good old small fry found something. And it's gonna be a decoration. Okay, it's another speaker. We're, we're finding a lot of speakers for our, our, uh, our locker. And here's another thing. This time, just some power eggs. So we'll go and set that up. We'll actually go over there in a moment. Wanted to clear some of this out in the meantime. But there's the next level. See, it doesn't seem right, but I can make that jump. Clean all this up, and we'll do the balloon in just a moment. We really wanna clear out whatever we can before we do the balloon. How did that, I'm sorry, but how did that not work? There. Got it. Great job. So there might be some extra collectibles over there we'll have to find. For right now, it is gonna send us over this way. Oh no. And then I gotta clear this one out. See, that's what I'm a little concerned about. But I do have enough for it. We just gotta go quick, because the clock is ticking. Whoa! Oh no, I missed it. Oh, it's gonna fly away. See, that's why it's good to maybe clear some other things out first. But I can afford a little bit more. And there's this. Got it. That is going to be another gold record. Great stuff. And another upgrade point too. So we're doing good. The music's starting to pick up a lot more. And there are other levels around here, but I'm not really trying to find those at the moment. What is this? Another locker decoration. The lobby terminal will have it for us. I think it's just like a, a case, a suitcase or something. Whoa, wait a minute. Gotcha. There's another hundred for us. Taking another good look around. It's highlighting something down there, so I guess there's something for us. I definitely have to backtrack because there's some levels we need to get the least, but what I'm wondering is, oh, you found something again? Oh, right over there. Yeah, I got it, I got it, don't worry. 100 power eggs. It's not this one, that one's sort of different. But I guess I could get this. Oh no, I can't, I can't afford it. I'm just gonna find something else though. What did you find now? Oh, right down here? Yes it is, that is more power eggs. Power eggs, nice, can't have too many. It's not exactly what I wanted to do. Like I said, I'm trying to find, it's over there. I can reach it and I can just barely afford it. Excellent, that's gonna help a ton. Oh, there's another little one over here. How much is this one? 200, can't afford that, so I'll have to definitely come back for it. But in the meantime, here's another thing to break open. This is another pack of the Table Turf Battle Cards. I'm really excited to try that. It seems interesting. It's a new thing to Splatoon. So, yeah. But we need to backtrack, because I've been getting super sidetracked with stuff we don't really need to do right now. So let's try out this level right here. This is going to be Conveyor Belt Tightening, destroy all the targets. Let's get to it. Okay, here we are. Ink Brush, advance quickly as you ink. Okay, so that's what it's recommending me, so I'll try that one. In this mission, destroy every target you see while being mindful of the ink stick. Okay, so I might just do a little bit of this so we can get a little bit more of our points. Let's go. See, I'm going to be a bit low on power egg, so hopefully I can find some more. Destroy all the targets. If you'd like to remain alive, please avoid being caught by the ink stick. Oh no. Yeah, I don't like the ink stick very much. Center triggered, and variable activated. Oh no. Whoa, the whole floor is moving. Come on, come on, come on. Got it. Be sure to top up your ink by swimming with CL. Yep, I'm trying to do that wherever I can, but it's easy to sort of forget. Okay, so it doesn't move forward. That's good. I thought it would. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, look out, Agent 3, I'm trying. That was good. Oh, there's a good couple of them right there. Ooh, so if I do that, I can hop up, and then, wait, 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 got it. Break him, break him, watch out! <laughs> oh no, you gotta be faster than that. Okay, I got all those. Oh, I can just run them over. Whoa, that's gonna be better. Three remaining, here they are. Just one left, you can do it. Come on, I'm alone, Ink. No, wait, come on! Ah, I failed, that is so awful, I was so close. Ah, oh, that really, really stinks. That's okay, we'll get it this time. If you'd like to remain alive, yep, we gotta do this just all over again. So what is this? I think that's an ink refill or something? Probably should have saved it, I don't know. But now that I know what I'm doing, hopefully I can stay ahead of the whole thing and do just a little bit better. Okay, I'm trying to fill my ink all the way and then just go crazy on this thing because it takes so many hits to get rid of. Come on, we did it! 
Oh man, that was my last life too. It was getting really challenging. We'll get 1700 for that one. Definitely one of those really fast, but really difficult ones. Ooh, here we go. So we're back out here, another level completed and 1700 as a reward. So did I miss anything too much over this way? There is still a couple of areas over there that I might wanna figure out first before we continue with anything on this side, just to make sure. Hi, Callie. Uh, don't be shy with your ink, splat everywhere. Fill up your cage and you'll get upgrade points. Yep, I'm definitely on top of that. I don't know where uh, Small Fry's going, but how do I get over there? It looks like, oh, there's a launcher up there. See, let's run back. Oh, and there's another balloon to figure out too. So, yeah, lots on our to-do list here. First things first, gotta do this, launch over. Before we go through the next launch pad, I do see this here. That is gonna be just more power eggs. So we're nearly at 2,000 of them again. I wonder how much you could get in total before you'd have to you know, actually spend any of them to progress. Whoa, I was not ready for that. Whoops, okay, uh, maybe I have to throw up before I hit that launch pad? That was sort of weird. So I might just be able to, whoa, make the jump normally. That's what I had to do. Toss that over for 100 points. And that's enough for me to reach it. And it's the sunken sea scroll. I was supposed to jump again. I'm so silly. Okay, I gotta be really careful here. And then try to make this jump. I did it. And there's our sunken sea scroll. Number nine. Splatsville's rowdiest, loudiest trio is hijacking the airwaves. Clean out those ears and open those eyes wide for your hometown hype squad, Deep Cut. Tune in and catch him if you can. All right then. So it's still interesting to me that they are sort of bad guys in this one. Um, but we're gonna toss that over. And look at this, we clear out another area which will hopefully have a couple more things for us. I'm not really sure, but at the least you know we can make it over here. And that's good. So with all that cleared out, what does this launch me to? I guess just, you know, across the ice if I wanted. Uh, I think, yeah, I wanna go to this one so we can finally start doing this balloon step. So I got one balloon there. And you, whoa, there we go. Oh gosh, no, wait, <laughs> that's so difficult. Uh, ah, it's gonna fly away. So I need to be very careful with that or I'm just gonna end up messing it up, but I can do this one. And that has another locker piece for us, a locker decoration. It's a shipping container. And that gets us another upgrade point too. So we're doing really good overall. It's just I keep messing up with the balloon stuff. So try this again. I think I can just make this jump over. Yep. So I have more time than you'd think. I just need to be a little bit more careful with it up here, huh? Um, I could do that, I could do that. There we go, one, two, and three. Where next? Way over here. So the thing is, is while we're launching, we need to fire. Uh-oh, um, gonna launch that. There we go, some teamwork here. Was that the last one? Oh no, there's more over here. Quick, 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 quick. Got it, oh man. I needed to clear out even more than I ended up clearing out. Jeez, it just keeps going. I can't reach that. Come on, come on, come on. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, come on. Why would it go on for so long? I absolutely cannot do the balloon ones without clearing just everything. Okay, I'm catching up to it this time, at least a little bit, but then I got overlaunched. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. That was pretty good. And way over here, there's so much. Uh, I hope I can make it in time. Got it, where's this last one? This has to be the last one, right? There's still more. This is a challenging one. And we finally make it all the way around for another sunken sea scroll. This is number 11. Okay, we're missing a few of them. Morai eel manipulation. Secret dances of the Onaga clan. First, soak the dry ground like a welcome summer rainstorm. Second, stir up a whirlpool to summon winds from the rocky shore. Final, as a hundred eels take flight, follow them to the promised land. And that's the mask that uh, that Fry was wearing. So that's pretty neat. So it looks like we missed a couple. Hopefully we can find those along the way. But for right now, I think we're pretty good to move to our next level. We don't have much points to even clear up most of the other stuff. So unless there's you know some things over here I might wanna grab, which it looks like there is. Let's try this one. That's going to be more power eggs, so that does help. How much is that one? 500, can't quite afford it, unfortunate. But maybe this will be another one? If it is, I can afford it. It is! So let's get over there and clear that out. So launching back over, going up some of this stuff. It was where? 
right over here. Got it. But after this, we have a couple of levels calling our name. Whoa, here we go. What will this one be? It is going to be another Sunken Sea Scroll. This is number eight. Salmonoids or Salmonids mature by returning to the waters where they were they were spawned. Sometimes, in very rare cases, a young Salmonid will stray too far from their original school, school during a run and become lost. Their wandering quest to return home can lead to prolonged starvation and an insatiable appetite. The poor things. Is that what happened to little, our little buddy here? I'm so sorry. Well, we're here for you now. We'll feed you as much as we can. Um, and what else can we do? Because we can't afford too much here. You know, there is one up there that only costs 100, so if we do find some more points, maybe we can do that one. But I think it's time for a level. So let's just take a good look around and see what levels still need to be completed. Because I think there's at least one up there. Nothing over that way. So we'll just launch over. Oh, and there's another level over that way, huh? Maybe we should do that one first. It doesn't matter. We'll try this one. This is Rail Pass. Reach the goal using ink rails. Okay, let's go for it. Okay, so here we are, Rail Pass. In this mission, you'll demonstrate your agility and look extremely cool right on ink rails to reach the goal. So we'll do the splatter shot and spot pop because oddly enough, we haven't really used it too much. We've been using the hero shot so often that haven't even had to really use the splatter shot, which is typically a very common weapon. Yep, that's an ink rail. Go ahead and ink it up. What is with this though? Um, oh, well, I thought that I would just, okay, sorry. That didn't happen. Let's just pretend it did it. Let's just keep going. Uh, I don't need to tell you to avoid the ink sticks, do I? Those things sting. All right then, so it looks like we'll be able to hop down at some point here to get some extras. Oh, I see, I see. Fill those up. Looks like you'll need to do some ink rail hopping here. Press B while you're riding to jump. There we go. Got it, and got it. Oh no, not enough, not enough. There we go, much better. Uh, we got our checkpoint too. So now if I fall embarrassingly, look, you're gonna have to time this just right. Got it. Fill these two up. Uh, I wanna go low here and then I guess I want to do that. Whoa, that's scary. Then hop back up and figure this one out. So what's the deal with this? Ooh, they're doing the wave. It'd be cute if it wasn't so deadly. Watch your timing. I'm trying, ah, uh, wait, wait. Okay, ooh, I stopped at the perfect spot. Ooh, I got goosebumps, me too. Anything else going on back here? I don't think so. I'm just gonna fill all this up so we can get extra of the points. Uh, there's so many little platforms. So if I throw this over, that should be good enough. Boom! Don't sweat an agent through the captain says, let the ink rails lead the way. Well, I think we did a good job. Now I can hop over to this side, get some extra power eggs. Oh, I see this Octarian trying to get me. Ow, that was mean. Maybe I can get some extras out of it. Yes, I can. Another 10. So this is the last spot we haven't gone to. And the only one that actually has an ink rail to a next location. But what do I do here? I think once again, we need one of these uh, splatter bombs. That was pretty good. And let's try for this one. Boom, boom, boom. And I don't know if there's really too much to that one. It doesn't seem like it. I guess it's an alternative path. But the way we took got us some extra power eggs, so. Oh. Do I toss it over? I do. So if not anything else, this was a return visit. There we go. Now we've gone every path. That was pretty cool. Uh, way to ride that rail, Agent 3. Thank you very much. Uh, Octo snipers ahead, be careful. So not only do I need to dodge Octo snipers, but I need to dodge these ink rails. Ah! Okay, I thought I was well enough behind it. Oh, and getting shot like that really slowed me down. Come on. Oh, just barely made it. This part gets pretty scary, right? But we're fine. Splat you, turn around, get this one too. Oh, now how the tables have turned. Ink them up. I did, no worries. So there we go. And get up this way and perfect. That was definitely a tough mission, but was really fun to get through. Okay, so with our next mission completed, I know that there was one behind us that we gotta tackle. Where was that at? That was, ooh, over there. I can't make that jump though, so there must be some other way around. I think there is. Yeah, I can get up this way. There we go, much better. And the level was right over here. So what is this one? 
This is time trial and errors. Break all the targets before time runs out. Seems like fun. So here we are. Uh, in this mission, you must destroy all of the targets within one minute. And it looks like it wants us to try the squeezer with the burst bomb. Don't mind if I do. I will fill up all of this as we probably just need to do more and more often. And we're off, so we have a minute to break all the targets. The countdown will start once you land down there. Keep an eye on the ink levels as you go, okay? I'll be trying. Okay, so this is just about being fast with targets. Maybe trying to stay back a little bit so that we can see exactly where they pop up. Got it. Oh, over there. That's sort of the only problem right now is that they can sort of pop up anywhere. But this might be a fun one to sort of get the best possible time in. I think memorizing exactly where everything pops up would be a huge asset. Uh, hurry, go, go. I'm trying. Okay. Gotcha. You're halfway done. Keep popping. That was good. Whoa, they are all over the place. That was pretty good. Uh, just 10 of them left. That sort of helped. Oh wait, if I had enough ink, that would have been so good. That would have gotten rid of so many of them so quickly. Come on, come on. Got it. A few seconds left, but that was the last one. I can definitely do that way faster now that I know where they're sort of popping up, but you know, we're not here to do everything perfect. We just want to get through. And we're back. That was one of those super fun but super quick levels. And we get 1600 for it. So let's take a quick look around. We definitely have enough points to clear some things out like this one down here for 600. And I think with a tricky jump or two, I could maybe, oh, I can splat that. Okay, I gotcha. Is there anything over here besides just, you know, turf to cover up? It looks like it's just turf. So back over here, you could see that there were some platforms to climb and I wanna climb them. Got it. Oh no. So yeah, I need to jump over onto this thing. Do that. Whenever it's ready. Make it onto that next jump, hopefully. Oh no. Oh, that's a tough one. But does that really do anything? I feel that's just a shortcut. Oh, it is. It is just a shortcut. So obviously, we've already been over there, but I guess if we needed another way over, that's a bit odd, isn't it? I might want to get up there just in case there's some kind of little secret on the top of one of these. But it doesn't seem like there is. Yeah. Huh, okay. Um, let's clear this one out that's just been sitting here. This has gotta be something, right? That'll be 800, we can afford it. And there's a lot more to do here. I haven't touched this area too much. Ooh, it's gonna be the last uh, gold uh, record. There we go. So now this place is gonna really have some crazy music, but what do you got over here? There's something, there it is. It is going to be another Sardinium. Is that enough to get anything? Yeah, we have one extra point. Let me try this one, the ink tank capacity up. Uh, further increases your ink tank's capacity for four points. We can afford it, so might as well. And then over on the side, there's a free one. Well, not technically free. It's free from the Sardinium, but not from the upgrade points. So this is special charge up. Further increases the rate at which the special gauge fills. So there we go. So next time we get a Sardinium, we need to do the same thing on the bottom. Don't know when that'll be though. Okay, I wanna clear all of this out. And then, was there more up here? There's definitely some ground to cover and some extra power eggs. So I don't know how many more levels are left. There's one right there. But then is that everything? I wonder if this area is gonna have a boss fight or not. Maybe only every other area because we didn't have a boss last area. And what level is this, I wonder? This is yeah, that's just a normal level. I don't think that's a boss fight. So I'll clear all that out in just a moment. First off, what do we get? Just some more power eggs. Okay. So that's all nice and clear. And now we're on this side. I don't see anything else. So besides this one balloon that's waiting for us, I think we're good. So this should hopefully be another, oh, did he find something? No, he's just chilling. I think this should be another sunken sea scroll. I really hope it is. Oh, we gotta go across the ice real quick. Whoa, that's cool. So same deal over here. Launch ourselves and then get it, get it. Same thing over here, gotta go, go and go. And then where now, where now? This way. Pretty good, pretty good. 
Same thing on this side, but four of them this time. Ah, wait, I missed one, I missed one. Get it, get it. We got it, we got it. Now where? Uh, this way, again. This one's pretty simple though, you just fire it straight forward. I think this will be the last grouping of them. I sure hope so. Oh my gosh, please don't miss it. Please don't miss it, we did it! Awesome, and then this one to finish it off. There we go, yep, it's another sunken sea scroll. And that is gonna be number 10. A hungry blade, a sharp grin, and a wild warrior's hand. It bites just once, a flash, a slash, a sudden shudder. Shredded remains sink down, down, down like falling snow, a fleeting flurry, brief as life itself, falls around my open parasol. That's an interesting one. So that's really cool, like a little poem. And that's gonna get us to level 60 for our upgrade count. We take a look at the map. Um, We've done pretty well. It doesn't even look like there's any areas to clear out with, uh, what's their name, with uh, Small Fry. So I think we're going to focus on this level Ink Wheels experience tomorrow's technology today. Reach the goal using Ink Wheels. Sounds like a blast. Okay, here we are. In this mission, you'll learn to use Ink Wheels as you head towards the goal. Sure thing, so we'll use the hero gear for right now. I'll cover all of that, and let's head in. No fee. Ooh. So here we go, we get more of this Ink Wheel. It's so much fun, I like it a lot. Yeah, show those, those crates who's boss. And we got the soaker box too. Oh, there's one right here, I didn't even see this one. Let's get rid of you. I think that's it for that. I can use that to get up here, no problem. I'm not seeing any kind of extra collectible around here, so I think we're good. Cool. Get some of those. And I guess I can follow it. Ooh, even better, it'll make a path for me. I'll get that one. I love it when it does the work for me. Got it, and got it. Oh no. Ooh, this gets complicated, doesn't it? I'm gonna throw out my friend. Oh no, I gotta go fast and then slam him. Oh, that was great, what a show. All right then, mine's over, Octo Jerks. Let's say that again. Oh, and there was some extra stuff I could have used to. <laughs> I always do that. Here's the Reef Slider, but I don't need it. And what do we have over here? There's some Power Eggs. Okay, um, yeah, let's just try using this to get up. Cause I do see this, so I just shoot it? I just shoot it, well sort of. Maybe at some point I'll get up higher. I don't see a way for right now though. Um, just keep going this way. Ooh, this is where we could use it, maybe, or not. Okay, I, I think we'll just miss out on the power. It's not the end of the world. Ooh, that broke their shield. So you know what, I could get up this way and then, um, that didn't work. Or, no, it didn't work. Okay, so we took two paths. I mean, we sort of took both of them. Yeah, I don't see a way up there anymore. Maybe I messed it up and there was a way to get over. Not really sure. But it doesn't matter too much. We have our final checkpoint right here. Whoa! Wait, both paths are packed with Octo Snipers. Flip a coin. That's not gonna be easy. I'll fill up some of this area really quickly, but I think we just wanna go. So yeah, I'll try for a little bit of this. Maybe throw out my buddy there. Oh, that did that get rid of them? No, 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 they're, they're still here. They're just obscured. There we go. So I can follow this wheel a little bit too. Oh my. Go, go, go. See, that one took somebody out. That's what we're usually hoping for. I'm just gonna sneak up on you. There we go. <laughs> that was pretty good. It's always fun to be able to sneak up on him. Okay, ready for this one? This one, I can make the use of my slam. And I got one of them. I was a little bit out of range for you. Almost there. Yet again, another. I can toss this over, but hold on. You didn't quite make it. There. Will that just be some? So how do I get that? Can you pick it up? Oh, wait, no. I don't think you can. We'll try one more time. Nah, that's not working. There is another way up, isn't there? Yep, right over here. So I probably missed that on the other side, way down that way. It's not a big deal. It's only, what, 25 of them? Which we get quite a lot at this point. So we miss some, we miss some. But now I can get you to do that, and that'll launch that all the way over here. That was great. And that finishes it off for us. Ready, and boom. Really good stuff, mission complete. 
but there we go, our first time bonus too, so we get 1,300 in total. Okay, Ink Wheels experience tomorrow's technology today. Very cool that we got that done. Um, and I think that's gonna be it for the rest of Cryogenic Hope Town. I don't see anything more to complete here except for some little spots to clear out, but I don't see any of the areas of interest. We have check marks next to all these, which typically means we found everything. As far as I've been able to tell, there isn't anything extra, but let's see what's going on with all of this. That's gonna be 2,000. This will also be 2,000. So now I have to decide which way I wanna go next. And that's sort of the thing. If we take a look at the larger map, is there a way to do that? I mean, I guess one of them site four, one of them site five. I don't know how to figure that out. Okay, so as you can see, this one has to site three to site four. So I'm guessing that means that this is site four. So let's try this one out. Throw a small fry and open that up. There we go. So that's a pretty big opening. I wonder if I should though. Take some time to re-complete some of the levels really fast just to earn up the remainder points. That might take a minute though. This was that, another 2,000, so we would need just almost 800 points. Hmm. Well, seeing how we got the check marks for everything, I'm going to assume that means that we got everything. So I'm not gonna worry about it too much, but hey, we still have our archive over here where I can read the last eternal log of this area, the only eternal log of this area. It is going to be log 003, a new sky. As life in Alterna moved forward, one scientist discovered a new way to make liquid crystals from the bodily fluids of squids. Whoa. These new crystals could change color in response to faint and fleeting electrical signals emitted by living organisms. To put that in more human terms, these crystals could read minds and then output imagery that matched the viewer's innermost thoughts. Humans were enchanted with this new invention and began mass producing the crystals. Eventually, they lined the walls and roof with, uh, of Alterna. As the crystals absorbed the collective desires of those in Alterna, they assumed the appearance of the sky as it was seen on the surface long ago. At last, after 25 years of being confined beneath the earth, humanity could once again look up and see the sky. That is so interesting. So that's what is on the sky above us. This is squid ink? That's a little sad when you think about the fact that we are squids. We're just hopping into here. Let's get going. Ooh. Can we do something to pass the time? Let's play 20 questions. I'll go. Is it blue? Is it huge? Is it a whale? Uh, maybe? I, I, I didn't get the chance to say anything, but we're at the landfill dreamland. Whoa. Ew, this place is kind of a mess. But wait, uh-oh. Something on that high ground over there is blasting out a super strong signal. That must be Gramps. Let's get going, Agent 3. So yeah, we'll have to find our Gramps, hopefully up there, or at the least it might just be another boss fight. Whoa, and there's even a submarine. That's cool. Okay, so before we get going, of course, we wanna fill up as much as we can as we're running around, just so that we don't have to worry about it later. And of course, that will give us more points. We're at 60 already, which is pretty crazy how fast we've jumped up on that. I don't know what the maximum will be, but maybe it'll be 100. Uh, but yeah, we have a whole area to explore and sort of figure out. We already have 1,000 points, so if we see anything like this, we can just toss over small fry, and that'll clear some things up, especially since I'm not seeing any levels immediately. But ooh, look at that. We get ourselves a piece of a locker decoration. Um, looks like it's just a little dumpster. <laughs> okay, very cool. And that'll give us plus one upgrade point already. So back over here, it looks like, you know, a couple more things I can clear up, but not all of it I can afford. I can afford this one though. So maybe we'll worry about that for now. And that is, oh, another collectible. I see another one in the distance over that way, but we get the golden record pretty quickly. So that'll pick up the music. And this will have just some easy points for us, which we're gonna need a good chunk of them. So is there anything over here we wanna explore really quickly? I don't think so. We're gonna head up this way where we have our first level waiting for us, which is, see in a moment. Let's go, splash the blocky party, reach the goal using soaker blocks. All right, awesome. Okay, here we are. Uh, sploosh -o -matic has a shorter range and then also the tri-stringer are our two weapons here. In this mission, you must reach the goal while making skillful use of soaker blocks. So we'll try the sploosh -o -matic, especially since we haven't gotten the try it so far in this game, so that's pretty cool. There we go, let's move forward. Got it. Okay, so reach the goal using soaker blocks and it looks like, here they are. I like these soaker blocks. Oh, hey, soaker blocks. You know what to do, Agent 3. Hey, maybe Agent 3 should use a, uh, could use a refresher. Shoot those blocks. I am, don't worry. Oh, can I reach this one? 
just barely. So we have like these arcade machines, I think. It's sort of, yeah, that one's definitely an arcade machine over there. Interesting. Uh, why does it have to be so far? Uh, let's put small fry on the keys. Yeah, let's let's sell small fry over. And that helps at least a little. Uh, small fry, you wanna keep at it? There we go. And from there, yeah, I can make this jump no problem. We can splat this one. The box shrink back down after a bit. Yep, so let's grab these points and go, go, go. There we go, we made it. I'll call back small fry. There we go. And we get a checkpoint. There's a bunch of Octarians on the other side of the soaker block. Oh, I see him, all right. So there's one. Uh, oh no. Let's push that out a little bit. And almost got gotcha. you. The range on this blue schematic isn't the best. So I do need to be careful. I almost fell. That would have been bad, but it's okay. We made a way across and I forgot the jump. Well, I tried the jump, but just I didn't time it very well. That's okay. We missed what? A couple of points. We'll get plenty more and plenty of other places. So let's try this one. I think we'll need small fry again. They're on the case. And I think I could just make that jump pretty good. And I guess I could, I'm a little confused as to, I don't know if I can make that. All right. Oh, you know what I do? I know what to do. I need to, oh boy, oh boy. This right there. There we go, sweet job. Thank you, thank you. All right then, so we're gonna grab all these points too. And it looks like another job for small fry way over this way. I don't see any others we could reach at the moment. See if that's definitely the goal. I'm going to help them out a little bit and then start splatting this one. We got it, extra points for us. All right, you can come back. Cause I think we could just make our way up here, no problem. Whoa, 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 or not. Whoa, this is tough. Go, go, go. I'm running out of time here. Ah, I <laughs> just barely made it. That was close. Okay, I don't think I've missed anything, so we're good to continue everything. Auto Commander dead ahead, get him. Uh, You've made it this far. Keep using the soaker box to your advantage, Agent 3. I'm trying my best. Okay, there we go. Uh, and I'll help out with this, because as you can see, there's a lot we gotta get through. Oh no! I didn't realize! The blue and purple is a very similar color. Let's try that again. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, well now I know. Yeah, let's get over there. I can splat a bunch of stuff, hopefully before they splat me. Yeah, I gotta be careful with that. I was being really, really silly. Okay, go, go, go. It's gonna go all out in my color. That's good. I need that over there. And we just gotta hope that Octo Commander, oh no, ooh, this is gonna be scary. Come on, gotcha, there we go, awesome. That was a scary ending to it all, but we got through it for our first level of today. The mission is complete. There we go, splash the block party. It went okay, we, we fell off a few times, but we made it work. Okay, so with our first level done, that should give us enough, enough points to adventure around a little bit more. And yeah, we have a lot waiting around for us, so first I'll backtrack over here. I did see Callie next to a new level, but you know, if we can clear things out as we go, that's always good. Like we get our battle card pack here, um, or the table turf battle, yeah, which is always good. And what about over this way? 500 points for this one to make our way onto the submarine a little bit. We can't get it all the way but I can at least get some of it. That only cost 100 too, so that's pretty cheap. I like this little submarine area. Why didn't that work? There we go. What is this gonna be? Whoa, it's gonna be some sardinium. Hey, your little buddy found something. Yes, they did. Is there anything else? Oh, there is. Right here, that is gonna be some extra points that I'll definitely be making the most of. I can't spot the top of this, but there is a level here. I think I'm going to save that because there was one over here next to Kelly that I wanted to check out. Yeah, lots to get to. Oh, I didn't even realize. Yeah, we had the little wheels. Okay, well that's really useful for uh, splatting everything, getting some coverage. And then we get some extra power eggs. Okay, where did Kelly go? They're right over here, and I think they'll have some extra power eggs for us. Hi, Kelly. Uh, oh, let's try that again. Uh, Surprise, I've got some bonus power eggs for you, Agent 3. I hope Small Fry likes them. Well, thank you very much. And speaking of Small Fry, they found something else yet again. This time up here, I think. Yep, right there. Boom, that is gonna be even more power eggs. So we are finding a ton just in the environment itself. Okay, so where's the level? It's right here. Proceed with caution. I'll do my best in propellered to greatness. Reach the goal using propellivators. Oh man. 
So I don't remember if we've seen Propel Evaders too much in this game so far, but we'll stick with uh, the Hero Gear. This mission will test your multitasking capabilities. Use Propel Evaders to reach the goal. All right, I'll do exactly just that after I fill up some of that. Let's go in. No fee for this one, which is always nice. Oh no, whoa, wait, wait a minute, I did too soon. Uh, well, there's the goal, but it looks like we'll have to wait. See, I don't think we have used Propel Evaders in this game just yet, so this is pretty neat. Uh, watch your step, I'm trying my best. So I might throw, ooh, there you go, our little buddy out, and then I'll sneak up, hit them from above. That was pretty cool. That's what I love about Splatoon is that since we can sort of ink our way through, we can make all these different paths on how we can approach something. All right, I'll toss. Oh, small fire didn't quite work. That's okay, I think I can just take them on, yeah, head on like that. All right, come on back, buddy. But it looks like I'll have to hit that propeller in just a moment. I just wanna grab these first. And then we can go up, whoa! I don't see too much going on up here, so yeah, we can just keep moving. Get our first checkpoint. Don't stop, keep moving. So, so far we haven't been doing too much multitasking, but I think this is where, uh, Things will get complicated a little. All right then, so far so good. Ink that wall and let's see what we're in for. I see you right over there. Gotcha. We're doing really well though. We're sort of splatting through pretty efficiently. Now what am I doing? Whoa, that's kind of weird. Oh, up there. Whoa, it lowers the whole platform. Oh no. Oh, I was supposed to get up there a little bit. I think I could do that, but let me clear out these guys first. Distract you a little bit with small fry or something. There we go, booyah, baby. Okay, so how am I, is it too late now? I, it might be too late now. I thought it would maybe lower. That's unfortunate, uh, but, huh. Yeah, I don't I don't think we can. Dive, dive, we. Oh, we missed a couple of power eggs. Not the first time, right? Now we can do it this way. Grab some there. Gotta make sure we grab these balloons on our way across. Uh, that's a lot of propeller evaders. Ink like the wind, Agent 3, and watch your step. I definitely will. Okay, so I was able to ink it a little bit. There we go. Oh no, the Octa Commanders are the worst, I agree. Whoa! So to be able to dodge out, we're gonna have to move pretty quick, but there's just a lot of things after me here. Gotcha, and then move, move, move. I think if we hang out right about here, they can't see us too much, and then we just slam ya, I hope. Oh, just barely, and that's that. That was a little scary, but we did make it to the end. Nice wind, I mean, wind. <laughs> okay, very fun level. I just like traversing around little environments to spot a bunch of Octarians, and that was exactly what that one was. Okay, so we're back here in, what was it, the landfill dreamland or something like that? We get 1,400 points, we have Landfill Dreamland. Let's see what else we can clear out with all those points out. Hi, Kelly. Uh, where did you meet Small Fry, by the way? I have no clue. But uh, we did get one more Sardinium earlier, and I also have some points here I never spent, I guess. No, no, I spent these. I don't know why I thought they looked great out. But with the extra Sardinium, we can go over here and get the better Splat Bombs, which decreases the amount of ink consumed by Splat Bombs for one point. We can afford it, so we might as well get it. Very cool. Get that upgrade. And then over here, we have small fry quick respawn. Reduce the small fry's respawn time for five points. If we can afford it, we might as well grab it. So the next section of upgrades over here is gonna require four Sardinium. So we'll be searching for a while before we can actually access those upgrades. But you know what, back this way, there's a couple more spots I'd get to clear out. I don't know if it'll get me a ton. Probably not, but at the least, it will be extra upgrade points over time. Because we're almost at 64 at the moment. There we go, and look at that, it's gonna be our first uh, Sunken Sea Scroll of the day, number 12. The Manta Clan's early morning ritual. After careful grooming all of their pectoral fins, the family gathers for their favorite breakfast. This unique plankton dish, a family recipe passed down across generations, is said to enhance the mind, body, and bodily toxins. Very cool, so you can see Big Man there enjoying a nice meal. I like it. So, what about this one? Was not expecting a uh, Sunken Sea Scroll just hanging out like that, but pretty cool. And now we're up to rank 65. 
Let's try, ooh, this one's a pricier one for sure, but it does leap right over to a level. And I think we probably have enough here to clear out one more. It'll be 690. And what will that have for us? Whoa, whoa, we said small fry flying. And small fry found another thing right over here, which is gonna be extra points. So if we can find one that just costs 100, we'd be able to clear it out, but I don't know if we'll be able to find that. Ooh, small fry found something else again, right there. And that's gonna be even more points. They really are great at doing that. What about down this way? Nothing I can get to easily. So I think that's where we wanna wrap it up with the exploring for now and check out our next level, chill out over here. Yes, let's go. I agree, the path to perfect penmanship use the splat switches to reach the goal within the limit. Ooh, so we either have like an octobrush or a splat brush. This will be interesting. Okay. In this mission, you must activate every splat switch within the time limit to reach the goal. So, Octobrush or Ink Brush. Uh, let's do the Octobrush. So I'm just gonna splat some of that a little bit. So I don't have any kind of a secondary here, so I won't be able to use Small Fry, but that's okay. You can eat a lot of ground by holding down ZR. Oh, I didn't even see these, so hopefully I've run over all of them so far. It looks like it, nice. Hope you're feeling all warmed up because it's about to get serious and I'm out of ink, so. Um, oh, I can pick this up for an instant refill, which is always good. Uh, those refill your ink, so grab them when you see them. Whoa, I see one, two, woo. That's a lot of splat switches. Just think of an order, I guess. So it really depends on where we land, but I'll try my best to sort of cover all that. Let's go. So 30 seconds to get it done. So this might either be really quick or take a long time, depending on how difficult it is. So far, so go good. Go, go, go. And grab these ink refills wherever we can. Uh, nice, keep it up. I'm getting a lot of uh, the power eggs. I hope I haven't missed anything so far. Don't stop now. Ooh, come on, come on. Got it, got it. Eight seconds remaining. We did it, I think. And time. It was 7.78 seconds remaining. That was actually a pretty cool one. Uh, look at this. Oh. That was tense, even small fry it was bouncing. Yeah, it makes a little small fry. I like it, cute little art. That is so fun. And we get some extra power eggs uh, for the road. I'd say we earned a few power eggs, definitely. So that was a super quick one, but a super fun one as well, the path to perfect penmanship. And here we are back. And that's gonna be some really fast points for us, which I always appreciate. There's a lot to clear out. I might run out here just to get these two boxes, but then we wanna backtrack a little bit, because I know that there's that one level on the submarine, there's a couple of areas we've just yet to poke around with, even though there are levels out about like this one. Ooh, here we go, let's grab this secret. Well, this be, this could just be some extra points for us. Okay, so, uh, huh, I can't really jump back too much. I'll jump back here. So like I said, look at all the stuff we've yet to do around here. This one costs 1,100 points, so a lot pricier, but it does clear out quite a lot too. So we'll see if there's anything we can grab here that might be free. We're also almost at rank 66, or upgrade level point 66, whatever. There's gotta be something somewhere around here though, right? Okay, so what about this one? That one's too pricey for me right now. It needs 900, I only have 700. And same thing with that one. Really expensive, so hard to get around here. Oh, small fry found something. Here it is. And that's gonna be some extra points. And not just us along a little bit more, but not quite enough, unfortunately. So you know what? We're going back over this way. <laughs> These are fun, though. I like them. Uh, and we're gonna follow this one at least a little bit, so that we can get to that next level over there. So this one shouldn't be too bad. On top of the submarine, it's super cool. This is uh, Stamp Em Out. Use the Splatana Stamper to reach the goal. Sounds good. So I don't think we've used the Splatana in the story mode so far. And this mission, you'll make effective use of the Splatana Stamper to reach the goal. So this will be fun, for sure. So this weapon's a little bit different than an ink brush, where we do swipe it around, sort of like a sword, but you can charge it up too. And this one's a little bit different too. This is a Stamper, not just a Splatana, which I think we practiced with a tiny bit in the um, the Splatfest. Uh, a Splatana, these are really fun. Holds the R to do a sweet charge slash. Whoa, so look at that. I love the sound effect. 
That is awesome. So we'll try our best with this thing then. Did I miss something? How do I open up this door? Um. Oh, okay. Hello? Oh, it got me a little bit, but then I got them. How do I open? I just gotta walk up to it. Okay. Whoa. That made me jump. Yeah, a little scary, but I got you. But that's what's great about uh, the story mode is that we can practice a couple of different things and it helps us get a lot better. Oh, I didn't even see you over here. Get you out of here. That was good. And that's gonna be some extra shields, so. Whoa. Just gotta wait for it to start sort of revving up. You can hear it. Like that. Ooh, that was good. But that should be enough for me to uh, get rid of you. And you. Gotcha. Oh, I got hit though. And then there should be one more right there. Pretty cool. Oh, this one has some extra points. Wow, nice. This is a fun weapon so far though. I like it. For really stubborn crates, hold ZR, getting close, and get them with a the charge slash. There we go. See, we do a charge slash if we're holding forward. It seems. Okay, there we go. And that should be enough to hop onto this thing, get launched over. Whoa, it's an Octo Stamper. I haven't seen these in a while. Nice, all right, that was good, that was good. I always love that, you know, Agent 1 and 2 are here to just hype us up with everything that we do. Okay, so it looks like I'm trying to get up to this thing. Oh, I see what I need. I need to jump across and then jump up. Aha, I figured it out. And then, ooh, oh, that was so good. So you can do it while you're in the air, of course, and that makes for a big difference. Okay, so, gonna splash you first. Oh no, ooh, that's a bit of a problem. Oh, now you're coming down. Gotcha, ow, but I get hit again. There is another upgrade point for us. Ooh, left or right, which one will I choose? I'm feeling right this time. Whoa, ah, maybe this was not the right decision. Can I get you before you explode? Uh, no, I can't. <laughs> All right, that's fine though, because I can hop over here and grab a couple of crates, no problem. But now we gotta go back. Because in here, this is assuredly yeah, the right way to go. There's nothing over there. So let's grab our checkpoint really quickly. It's our final one, so gotta be ready for stuff like that. Go, 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 go. Wait, gotcha. All right, that could have been worse, for sure. Whoa, whoa! Oh man, uh, I smell danger and food. Those two kind of smell nice together, I guess. I don't know what, it, what she said. Oh man, it's actually the Octolings, but they're fuzzy. Oh no, um, they are all over the place. We haven't fought them yet. Oh no, and I'm in huge trouble. Gotcha. Do I have any kind of, oh, I do have a secondary. I need to hold out my ink though. This is crazy, we haven't fought these guys yet and they're covering the turf all over the place. Oh, they didn't see me, but I missed like crazy. This is not good. And I've always been pretty bad at these kind of weapons, so I need this practice. They actually splatted me, too. yikes. Okay, let's try that again. All right, go. Gotcha. And this is the tough part, so. Ooh, wait a minute. Let's get rid of this, get that extra armor. Oh, they kind of smell the same to me, is what she said. All right, then. Gonna jump up here, gotcha. And I got rid of one of them without too much of an issue, but you are moving all around me right now. I don't like it. They don't see me up here, ready? Oh, that was great. And there we go, to the launch pad. That was tough though. So obviously those enemies are always gonna be a lot more challenging. Great job, let's get out of here. So let's beat this thing up so we can leave. Mission complete. So stamp them out, use the Splatana stamper. Pretty cool weapon, I'll have to use that a little bit more often. Okay, so we're back here, earn a good chunk of points for it too. I wanna use that to, oh hey, Callie's over here now. Hi, Callie. The more fuzzballs and fuzzy ooze you destroy, the more you'll fill up your gauge. Yep, I've been working on that and I do see, yeah, right over here, it's waiting for us. This is going to be just another piece of a locker decoration and it's gonna be the, the submarine that we're on top of. Pretty cool. So. While we're also getting some upgrade points, I want to go over here and break this down for only 100 points. Really cheap to do that. But does it get us anything, really? I don't think so. I think it's just, you know, extra clearing of everything. Make sure everything's nice and cleaned off. And I think with that, I'm good to go this way again because there seemingly is a lot to do around here. 
starting with maybe getting up here. Is there any level up here waiting for us? Yes, there is. This one is going to be charge now, splat later. Use charged shots to reach the goal. Ooh, it's so only one weapon for this one. Okay, so here we are. This mission will teach you about charge storing as you head towards the goal. So this is the goo tuber. Press ZL while fully charged to store that charge for a brief period as you swim around. I think we've seen the goo tuber before, but it's definitely not something I'm all that good at. Um, but you can see you can charge it and then boom, big shot. So we'll try this out. Hopefully it goes well. It's just a weapon. We don't have any side stuff. Uh, the coolest part about a charger, charging obviously. Hold ZR down to charge your shot. Don't forget, even if you're holding ZL and diving into ink, you'll still keep your charge going for a bit. So you can pop up and then go into the ink and then pop out and charge, but I'm not doing it so well. Okay, let's get rid of you. Nice, I guess. Uh, try this, start charging, swim in your ink and come out blasting. There we go. <laughs> but they never saw that coming. I agree. So we're gonna fill up our ink a little bit here. Uh, I'll look an Octo Sniper. Hang back, charge somewhere safe, and then, gotcha! That was actually really good. So hopefully I'll be able to figure out a little bit more about how to use this weapon well. Okay, so we'll go into there in just a second. I just wanted to, there we go. Uh, make sure we didn't miss anything. What about this area? So same deal, I'm just going to, and there's an Octo Sniper up there. So I charged it up, and I blasted him. That was so cool. Doors open, let's go. So what are we doing here then? Uh, you can charge your, so we can keep our charge on an ink rail, gotcha. So I have the charge going, and I gotcha. Never a dull moment, huh? I guess not. I wonder what's up ahead. My guess is more Octo Jerks. I feel like you're, you're probably right on that one. There it is. Whoa, that's a lot. Okay, so how do we wanna do this? Grab this extra armor. And I think I'm gonna charge all this stuff up. And then launch up, let it rip. It didn't work out the way I wanted it to, but that's okay, we'll just keep going. Um, yeah, I'll do a bit of that. And I don't know what I'm gonna run into up there, so I'm just trying to be a bit careful. Okay, I'm fine for now. And then once again, charge up all the way. Actually, I could just get you like that, no problem. Okay, well that's good. I don't know if they saw me. Oh no, wait, wait, gotcha. They're not as smooth this time, sorry about that, but it's okay. Apparently there might be more of them somewhere. Is there anything down there? Doesn't look like it. I don't know where any more of them can be, but they gotta be around somewhere, right? Maybe not. Weird. It's usually, you know, Callie and Marie say something. Aha, there's somebody over here. Okay, I see, I see. Let us, uh, I'm not doing this the way I'm supposed to. <laughs> but, could at least get rid of one of them like that. Maybe we could yeah, go over this way. I'm going to charge up, get onto the Yachter route, and then jump, boom. No, it didn't work. <laughs> Did not go the way I wanted it to. I don't know how long I have on this thing, you know? Before I can't do it anymore. But I got it that time. Oh, hey, more stuff to shoot at. Hold on, got that. Now where are we going? I guess over here? Oh, yeah, there is, okay. So you charge it up all the way, jump over this way, jump and shoot. There we go, see, much better this time. Gonna do that, and then blast you. It didn't work very well that time. Got it. Oh no, there's more. Kinda getting sick of Octo Snipers. How can you not be? Whoa, they have a shield over them? They're not loading up, are they? I don't know what that was about. Oh, hello. Uh, Got it, there you go. That was sweet, I guess. I feel like I could've done that a lot smoother. This definitely isn't my specialty when it comes to weapons, but I'm trying my best. And that was it. Awesome, so there is another level completed. And I'm, I'm glad that we get to try it, though. Having more exposure to weapons like these will definitely help me improve with them, so it's well worth it. Okay, so, charge now, spot later is completed. And it's gonna be 1,500 points. What about over this way? So this is gonna be, wow, we have a lot of uh, power eggs at the moment. Let's do this one, because it's right next to us, and that clears out a ton of it. Wow, okay, so we really wanna clear things out up here before we go down, just in case. Okay, that's not anything I can destroy. This one's only 100, but once again, it's always so picky with what I can cover. Um, 
There we go. I don't see too much going on around here, but I'm just making extra sure we didn't mess anything. It looks like a small fry spawned in something, yeah, right over that way. That's a pretty simple one. Just out in the open, that's gonna be another golden record. Okay, gladly taking that one. And here's the end of the area, so, wait, or is this the entrance? Interesting, so I didn't have to pay my way to the next section. Gotcha, well, I'm not going over there just yet. We got plenty left to do around here first, but I'm just trying to figure out where there might be some extra collectibles, because we still have a lot of points, and there's one chilling out right over this way, so let's grab that. That'll be uh, some power eggs. 800 for this one, wow. Just a little spot, but under is another collectible. Oh, that's nice, a little lantern for our, uh, our locker. Ooh, what's going on over here? We can send that forward a little bit, and this one too. That's just 300? So I'll do that. Anything over here, little buddy? Nothing that they found. But this area is a little easy to get lost in, because we've already been to get to these two spots, even though it doesn't feel like I have been. And right up here, there's another level, but how do I get to? Actually, there's two levels up here. So let's pay the 900 to get up on this spot. I think that's what I need. There we go. I only get plus one upgrade point. Oh, I thought that little red was another collectible. Oh, there's a bunch of levels around here. So yeah, let's get up here, clear all this out. I see this one extra. Extra power eggs. Let's try this out then. We have this level right here. This is going to be easy ride, tricky targets, destroy the targets and reach the goal. Okay, so this mission will test your hand-eye rail coordination. Break every target you see as you ride the rails. So, or the, the ride rails. We have the rap, Rapid Blaster Pro Splat Bomb as the recommended. Oh, this is interesting. So obviously, the, the blaster is, is, I guess, somewhat rapid. Not what I imagine when I hear rapid, but there we go. So destroy the targets and reach the goal. Hope you like spotting targets, Agent 3. You know, I don't mind it, it's pretty cool. All right, so let's grab, grab, grab some of this. There we go, and gotcha. Yeah, we have to hit all of them. Ooh. Oh, I missed one. It's okay, it's okay. If we don't hit all of them, unfortunately, it will sort of go away and we'll have to, whoa, we'll fall to our doom. So let's just make sure that doesn't happen. And then what about you? Right there, that was good. And jump to the side. Try to get these, and I don't know if I'll be able, I did, awesome, whoa. Okay, trying for this right there, jump over. Seeing you with this, you gotta wait for the little X to pop up, that means it's in range. And then one, two, and three, got it, jumping over. Oh man, and it looks like we reached a checkpoint, that's it, keep going. Try to keep this up in the second half. So we're already halfway done, that's actually pretty good. Ooh. So you know what, it wants me to time it just right so we hit all three of them at once and we did exactly just that. Oh, I let the subway falling around, that's cool. Ooh, right about there. Ooh, that was a good shot. So we just have to wait for the, the power egg lineup and we're good. And I see the other ones coming up so we can sort of prepare for them a little bit. Got it. Now this one, ooh, a little tricky. One more, one more, got it. Ooh, nicely done, Agent 3, thank you. This could be a lot more power eggs. I don't think we're quite done yet. It looks like there's still a lot more waiting for us. Oh man, oh man. That was actually not so bad. I thought I'd have a lot less time to do that one, but we made it through. Big finish coming up, I can feel it. Okay, here we go. Gonna get that one, this one, uh, that one, and then ready, got it. But there's still more coming in. I'll have to be ready for it. That wasn't too bad, yes! All right, well thank you, thank you. And then I will toss that over, boom, goal. Pretty cool, that was impressive, thank you. So yeah, very quick mission, but a super fun one. I always like the ride rails, they're a good time. So with that one done, as you can see, another level completed, 1600 points as a reward, and we're just gonna march straight over not to this, well actually, let's take a quick look. You can see there's still a lot more levels waiting for us, but what I'm more interested in is the level waiting for us right next to us. This is going to be Ink Fast Hot Shot, destroy the targets and reach the goal. 
Okay, so here we are. Uh, if you destroy a fail balloon, you will fail the mission. All right, and we have the classic Squiffer Burst Bomb as our uh, our one thing here. So let's try this out. Destroy the targets to reach the goal. You may begin the test at any time by standing on the switch. Oh, um, okay, so I can't hit those, I think it's saying. Yeah, so if you hit the, oh no. Um, mission failed. You let the target escape. I think I get the idea. Don't hit the red ones, hit the normal targets. It's a lot of target shooting so far in today's episode. Let's try this again. So we'll I have to be very accurate about our shots because we don't want to end up missing and hitting one of those. You passed, you passed. Um, oh, I get it. You want to avoid breaking the fail balloons. That makes sense. So not that one, but this one. But now they're going to be moving around. That does make it a lot more complicated. Got it. And we only have so much time to hit them before they fly away. What? Uh, okay, we got it, we got it. Uh, they might try to fake you out, so watch your aim. Uh, wha what? Whoa, you didn't even break a sweat. I don't know about that. Whoa. So they are sort of, yeah, lined up so I can sort of shoot through them. That was pretty good. Way to go. Okay, let me fill up real quick. And now we're good. So, wow. I guess I should have charged up. Luckily, oh man, if my aim is just right, I should be fine. There we go. Oh, kind of dizzy there. So let's fill up real quick. We're getting there. Yeah, it feels like it. What do we got this time? Oh man, whoa. Uh. Oh, I need to be really careful. They are moving fast. Oh no, mission failed, you popped the balloon. That's not what I wanted. So I have one last life here to make this one work. Gonna make sure that we're filled up on ink and then they're coming down. We just gotta watch for that X. Ready, got it. Oh darn, that is really tough. I should wait a little bit, I guess, because they float around for a while. Okay, so I just have to pick 40 eggs to continue. That's not too big of a deal, but luckily I get to start back at this checkpoint. Okay, trying again. I can get some of them early, but it's not worth rushing, it doesn't seem. You get that one at the end. Got it. And this one is pretty far. This is the last one. Got it, okay, we did good, we did good. Oh man, yes, woohoo! That was a tough one to finish it off, but that was pretty fun, I agree. Uh. Let's head out of here. Mission complete. That was a tense one. So with that done, we get 2,000 points. Huge reward for that. We only have to spend 40 extra to actually, you know, survive through things. So, you know, if there's another level waiting for us, I figure we should just go for it. So right here we have flying worst class hitch rides to reach the goal. Let's go for it. Ooh, this one looks like it's at sunset. This mission invites you to perform trust falls with yourself. Reach the goal with a few fearless leaps. Starting with the NZAP 85 and Splat Bomb, one of my favorite weapon combos from the original Splatoon. That's pretty cool. So trust falls, so we'll have to make some crazy leaps here. Hitch rides to reach the goal. I don't entirely know what that means. Ugh, this place is noisy. But I can shoot these things sort of if I were to actually. Noisy, it's exciting. <laughs> there we go. Gotcha. And I think, yeah, we're good to go after that. Uh, am I supposed to ride these things at some point? I'm not exactly sure what I was trying to say. I wanted to get the Octo points from them or the Power Eggs or whatever, but I don't think it's worth worrying about. Got it. I think I can make this jump. Whoa, that was closer than I was expecting. Uh, giddy up. <laughs> All right, so first off, let's make sure I'm not missing anything. I can get a bonus five points somewhere. Oh, I'm definitely gonna have to hitch a ride on that. Whoa. So let's go for it. I do not want to destroy it, at least not until I'm closer. I can choose some of those for some easy points. And throw that up there. That was pretty cool. Oh, I think I'm supposed to, whoa. Then where do I go? I can see how this is sort of about trust falls. I feel like I've missed some stuff. So let me clear out this area because there's this one guy around there. And before we do too much here, gotcha, that did not get me any points. 
I wanted to try to get you. Just for the extra points of it, because I don't see anything else down there. I guess it's just for if I fell. But now I can go this way without having to worry about missing anything. I'll shoot you again, but it still doesn't give me any points. Got it. Ooh, that was pretty good. Can I make this jump? Oh boy, I can. And we're up here, no problem. All right, I'll wait for the next one. Right there. Yeah, I don't think there's too much there I we need to get to. Wow, wow, okay, that hurt. I was I was very distracted. Probably not a good idea when we're so up high. Ah, um, uh, dead end, let's go for now. Okay, ready? Jumping, taking you on. Somebody was firing at me, right? Or maybe that was the explosion of the little missiles? I think so. We'll grab this, hit this switch. Ooh, that's gonna let some more of them through. Hey, the dead end came back to life. I see. All right, so we're onto this one and off of it pretty quickly. Wow. Ooh, gotcha. And we're doing pretty well. I'm gonna jump over to this. And where am I going now? It looks like, yeah, way over that way. Watch out! Uh-oh. Ah, wait, wait, okay, that was close. Gotta be careful though, because they're probably gonna send another one, right? Not out of that. Here comes some more. So I just gotta fire at them. It's actually not too bad. Boom, boom. Let's charge up. Okay, now this is a little crazy, but I survived it. The end zaps fire it so good. Attention, this is your pilot speaking. Please return to your seat, your seat to its upright position. Thank you for flying with Otto Zeppelin Air. Thank you very much. All right, ready, jump, and I got it. Awesome, so that's gonna be the end of that level. Quite a few really quick levels so far, but there we go. That is another one completed. A super fun one too, flying worst class. Okay, so with that level done, we get 1,400 more. We are just so, I don't think we've had this many power eggs before. Uh, 5,779 of them. I think now's a great time to clear some things out then. I'm gonna take a little break from the action and check out what else is going on. So yeah, definitely a good time to just run around and fill out the floor, if not anything else. Hopefully, a uh, small fry can find a thing or two, but we were already in that corner before. I can spend 900 right over here. Is there gonna be anything for that, though? Aha! This is gonna be uh, just some uh, food tickets. Very cool. Ooh, what about this crate over this way? This might have something good in it. We're about to find out. It has another locker collectible. It's gonna be a little uh, wood pallet. Interesting. See, I'm trying to clear out things over here first, but it looks like I've been over here, yeah. If there's another level waiting for us there, I can throw small fry over and clear out this whole huge section. That was great. Oh, look at this, I found something. Extra power eggs. I'll go up there in just a moment, but yeah, there's another level waiting for us. There's a lot of them sort of just packed together real close, it's interesting. Oh, I missed it, sorry. There we go. Anything to find with this? There has to be, right? Something up here or down this way, nothing. As you can see, there's a lot of green, so there's definitely some stuff we've been missing. I'll, I'll have to backtrack a little bit, but in the meantime, I think up this way, there was a thing or two I could still uncover. Yeah, I can go up here and 2,000 for this one. It's a pricey one. Oh, that goes up to the boss fight. So, well, it's good to clear that out. I don't think I'm going to actually tackle that just yet, but there is this right here. That is gonna be, I think, our final gold record. And 500 points here. It's not a ton, but it helps us get around a little bit better. What about that one? That one needs a whopping 900. So, I don't know if I chose the best ones to clear out, but we're just sort of, you know, slowly nailing it down. What about this? Extra power eggs. What about that one? 1,200, yeah, really expensive stuff. I don't think I can make that jump. I don't know why I wanna try so much yet. <laughs> Probably not worth it. That might have another uh, sunken sea scroll in it. But hey, we cleared out a lot. Let's check out some of the other levels around here then, because there's a few waiting for us, I think. Uh, there was one where? We haven't gone into that golden one, right? Yeah, so we'll try this one out. This is 
Octo Hoppers don't have a sense of humor and they hate puns. Watch for hopsticles as they head towards the goal. Or as you head towards the goal. You get the idea, we're going in. And here we are. So in this mission, foes will look down upon you, literally. Defeat enemies as you climb towards the goal. All right, this one might be a bit difficult, but we're using the typical hero setup, so that might make it a bit more survivable, I don't know. We're quite comfortable with this one. So watch out for hopsicles as you head towards the goal. Looks like the Octo Hoppers. Oh wow, these are new, right? At least my pun must have enraged them, sorry. So they really don't like puns. Unless threw a small fry over there, it didn't actually work too much. I don't think I've ever seen these enemies before, so they might be new. All right, come on, gotcha. We're gonna turn send small fry back to us. But I think we're good to hop over here. Wait, there's weapon for more enemies coming in. There we go. There's quite a few of them just hopping around looking to cause some trouble. I got some armor though, so I think we can handle it. Oh no, ooh, they got quite the, the splat. Um, ooh. Gotcha. Your one must have made them really upset. <laughs> good going, Cali. I don't see too much here. So I think, yeah, we're good to hop down. Is there any extra collectible? Not really. See, let's hop up here, whoa! And then over. That was pretty cool. Oh no. And then these guys are not hoppers. So I should just be able to clear them out quite easily. Let's get small fry back and we're launching up. Whoa, whoa, whoa hold on. Don't go too soon. Okay. Watch above you, Agent 3. Don't give him a hop opportunity. Oh no, here they come again. You gotta stop with those puns. It's making this much harder for me. Ah! Okay, here comes another. That was pretty good, though. Cleared them out. I'm going up this way if I can. And then we're getting launched way up here. All right, final checkpoint. So this is where things might get a little rough. Uh, there's the goal. Uh, hop to it. Oof, I'm done. Okay, so yeah, they're all coming in. I think I could get rid of you pretty easily though. And then you over there, and you. I think that was all of them, right? I don't, I don't see any more. Oh, I spoke too soon. No, wait, if I could get up there. Come on, come on, come on. Just gonna jump over and slam. Boom, that was great. <laughs> Always what I'm looking for. All right then, so that was some really good stuff. Let's end this level. Ooh, very pun filled. So with that level done, that's gonna be another chunk of points waiting and ready for us. And we do have, where was it? Yeah, another level right over there. So I'll, I'll go hop into that one in just a moment, but there's a couple of things to get up here. First off, some extra points. And another place to clear out right here. And even more levels. And this might have the most levels we've seen so far, just in an area, because there's Two more here, one back that way, and the boss fight still. What is that gonna have for us? Another piece of Sardinium. All right then, so that's our second one of today's episode. Uh, and yeah, we're at one right now. So I need four more. Hopefully we can find this soon. Only 300 points for this one. And what about this one down here? Uh, well first off, yeah, we'll clear that up. 500 down this way. Got it? There has to be a little secret waiting right over here. Whoa! Okay, well it's an easy way up, that's for sure. I don't know if I need it too much, but it's there, it's there. <laughs> okay, so backtracking a little bit because this level is ready and waiting for us. It is going to be amusing a bemused muse. Aim carefully and copy the template. So this one had an interesting title. In this mission, you'll zip around with the zip caster to break crates and recreate the shape shown on the left. Huh. See, so yeah, we have the zip caster, squeezer, but we can also do slashing machine and splat charger. I think I'll do this one. Huh. See, I don't know really what the goal is here. This seems a little odd. Aim carefully and copy the template. I think you gotta copy what's on the left. Oh, I remember these. Oh, these are so neat. You can use a zip caster to get those platforms. Just hit R. Oh yeah, I remember we had some of these and I think the Octo expansion. There we go, Wee! 
Pretty cool, so this is our final checkpoint. We need to break these boxes so that it replicates what you see there on the left. Hey, there's no, no messing up in art, but yeah, we do need to make sure everything matches correctly. Huh. So a mission like this can kind of take long, and I'm just trying to make sure everything gets lined up correctly. For right now, I think we just need the one little dot, because this is like a big dolphin. So it's gonna be really important just to choose out our shape really well, like that. And that's looking good. What you can see is that around the corner, it never really goes much wider than this, so we can uh, get rid of these. Yeah, 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 we can get rid of that, this, and that. We'll go over here just to fill up and get a different angle on things. And I think the scene deal. And I'm not sure if it's going to sort of just forcibly reset me if we end up missing up something. Oh no. Uh, no, no, no. Okay, maybe this isn't worth the risk, but we got that set good. Now for the fin, which is right here. Okay, we don't need any of these, as you can see. And then sort of the scene deal over here. We do need to be a little bit careful. We can destroy this one, but we need the little fin on top. What was that called, the dorsal fin? Something like that? But that that part looks complicated, it does. But we can always just line it up and see that it's one, two, like that. So I might have to go on top for the rest of it because this part is where it gets tricky. We have two there and then it goes back, but then it's still too high. I'm just trying to, of course, etch everything out a little bit. It just takes time. It's a little, you know, nerve wracking because you just don't want to make a major mistake and then probably just get exploded. So I think a little bit of this. Perfect. So this goes like that. That does go too high, but then we want to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So take that one and that one. We've done quite a good job on that side, man. But behind that, it's gonna go. Okay, we need to break all of these. Ooh, this takes so much focus, so much like mental energy, because you really just don't want to mess up. I wish I could just hop onto one of these, but that's where I can, of course, do something like that. Get a good comparison view from up here. That I think we want to keep that block, but not this one. And same thing, this one's gonna go one, two, three high. Or actually, no, okay. Now it wants to go three high. Break that. And then we gotta keep that one, but break these. And then these two can go. And before we get to, you know, wait, did we do it? And done, behold, oh, I didn't even realize. Very cool, so we completed our dolphin. Wanna take a cl closer look at your masterpiece? I will in just a moment. What I want to do is grab those extra points I've been seeing up there. But look at this, we <laughs> got some computer errors. Huh, okay. Um, but there we go, we did it, we made a little dolphin. I like it, very cute, but I think we're good to move forward. That just is so stressful so for some reason, you just bring one wrong crate and you gotta explode. Doesn't sound so fun to me, but uh, don't forget to admire your handiwork. Okay, look at that. Hmm, why does it look so familiar? <laughs> Orca's not gonna say anything. So there we go. Uh, we have seen that somewhere, right? Poor Orca, just wants to be noticed. All right then, so let's break this thing up and complete another level. That was a cool one. I'm glad that this made a return. They're re really interesting. So now that we're back here in the overworld, we get ourselves 1,700 points for that. And we can take a good look around at what else there is to do, because I think we might want to spend some of these now just trying to run around, clear things out so we can maybe get a couple more sunken sea scrolls or something like that, that'd be good. So back over this way. How am I getting up there even? I might be able to, come on. Ah, oh, come on. I just don't think you're allowed to do that, because it seems like it lines up, but then it, it doesn't. So I'll just hop up this way. We should be able to do at least something up here. This is actually a different one. This one's 500. We cleared this out. And that'll actually just have another sunken sea scroll. Awesome. This is number 14. 
Hashtag pond sail like a boss. Eddie is gnarly. Chaotic sunshine. Fresh headgear. Smell of sm shellfish. Be fresh fish. Master of merchants. Nauti Nautilus introspection. Got that golden ratio. Gotta get out of your shell. Not culture for life. Okay. Looks like just somebody's social media post. Got it. <laughs> That's a neat one. Um. And then of course there's a level over here waiting for us two actually, so that's pretty important. But I wanna go back over this way because as you can see, there's one waiting for me right here, but where's the last little bit? I think this is our last bit of uh, of the stuff waiting around. So yeah, definitely good that I cleared that out. And there's gotta be some extra goodies waiting in this box, right? So let's blast this one open. This will have another piece of a sardinium. Very cool. So obviously we're still looking for a couple more things. We got three Sardinian pieces, and I think our third sunken sea scroll is gonna be right over where that balloon was. So I need to go and grab that. Hopefully this time we won't fall. Get up here, got it. And where was it? It was right over here. So gotta get ready for a chase. Gonna be over this way. Ooh. And then, oh man, quite the jump. Unfortunately, I don't think I did that correctly. Oh darn, okay, I'm just gonna go back and restart it. Okay, this time for real, just gotta take it a little bit slower, I think. Cause they give you time to get over. Yeah, got it, got it, and got it. Now where? Across that way. Come on, we can get there, I hope. Oh, it's gonna be close, it's gonna be close. Got it. And then over there. So this really shows you why it's so important to clear out the whole area before you start doing these, because if not, you're just gonna end up maybe wasting some time. How do I get up there? I need to be quick about this. Whoa! And then across. That was good. But these sometimes just take trial and error. There's one, another. Now this one's gonna be close. I think I need to, that worked. Awesome. We're almost there though. Uh, gonna splat that now so I can just get up this way. And then one last one, right where we started, another sunken sea scroll. Very cool, so this is sunken sea scroll number 13. Man of wardrobe, we are temporarily closed so that we may restock. Cash only, no photography or influencers allowed ever. We've run rather low on paper bills. We're always open. Your fashion emergency is our fashion emergency. Do not touch it until you've paid for it. So these are just like a lot of work notices. Interesting. So we're still missing one more sunken sea scroll somewhere. But in the mean meantime, I do see a, uh, orange balloon passing by. I wanna grab that while I have the chance because I think it's gonna come right across here. Yes, it is, ready? Got it, awesome. So that gave us an extra 100, which is always good. It seems like there's one of those per area. So if I take a look around, there's still quite a lot to find that I just haven't stumbled upon. But I, I think that small fry will help me out with sooner or later, especially when there's spots like this that I can't afford. So let's focus on the other levels we still have yet to do. Uh, maybe I'll jump over here just to make it a little bit easier. Cause where are they? There's two more there. Have I done all of these? Yeah, yeah, there's just, there's so many levels for this one, it's crazy. We still have a lot to do, so right up here, right? Or no, over there. Have I done this one? I've not done this one. Let's check out this level, proceed with caution in those aren't birds, break all the targets. So if they aren't birds, what are they? In this mission, you must destroy all the flying targets and we'll be using the dapple dualies with the burst bomb. Pretty cool. I'll clear all that out. Let's give it a go. So the dapple doors are pretty cool. Break all the targets. All right, break the tar, uh, where are the targets? Good question. There we go. Here comes the first target. Hope you're ready. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Those aren't birds, you're right. So it's just gonna fly in the air. Was that right? Oh, I tried to hit him in there. Whoa, I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready at all. No! <laughs> Mission failed. You let a target escape. So I see the idea with this one. They move quick though. So that's a bit concerning. Here it comes again. There we go, here comes the first target. It's gonna get launched over. So I just have to be watching really carefully. Here comes another. I don't know if they'll start launching over from other spots too, but. Right now it seems pretty simple, right? Looking good. Feeling good too. So, oh no. It's going off to the side this time. It could just sort of be hard to gauge exactly where in the air they are. Got it. I wanna cover this area up as much as I can. 
Oh, this one's a little bit lower, but I can handle it still. And then same thing, but over to the left. Oh, the big one. Uh oh, try, do you try a dodge roll by with your dapple delays. Um, okay, so yeah, I need to hit it. And then, oh no, oh no, got it, take that. That was pretty good. Oh yeah, that's right, I think with the dapple dullies, after you roll, you'll go extra fast. Yeah, okay, good to know. Not too necessary for uh, the smaller ones, because they only take one or two shots to destroy, but this is stressful. This is the last of them, you got all five. Are they coming in at once? They're not, but pretty close to it. Come on, last one, I'm ready for it. Got it, there we go, it was about to fall forward. The mission completed, that was so interesting. I liked it. So we're back here, those aren't birds is completed. I'm gonna bunt a point, bunch of points for it, but I think yeah, there was another level, we've done that one. Right up here is another, and I think this is the last one before the boss, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but I guess we'll find out. This is, let's put a pin in that, stay in your lane, and reach the goal. Okay, so in this mission, you'll learn that go to go against the flow. Dodge falling enemies as you head towards the goal. And we'll do hero gear for now. Fill all this stuff up and get moving. Okay, so there are a lot of falling enemies. Oh, they're the bowling ball enemies. Stay in your lane and reach the goal. Okay, so first let's take a quick look. Oh my. Lane after lane of Octo Ballers. This is gonna be tough. I do remember these enemies being a bit of a challenge to deal with in some spots, but as you can see, we can hit them at certain spots where the actual Octarian is popping up. We can just get rid of them that way. But if that's a little too much, we can also just move to the side in some spots. But right now, we're doing fun with what we got. Yep, I'll get that. And with our first checkpoint, we're doing pretty well. Ooh. Gotcha. We do get some uh, power eggs for it too, so it can be well worth it. I think I can wait here for now, then pop up. But this is where we can sort of switch lanes, sort of. If it's going from one side, we go to the other side, and all that kind of stuff. Got it. Okay, so back to this way. And I have a, uh... whoa, okay, I didn't realize they were coming in from behind me. Whoa, also, how do I get up there? Actually, I don't quite know, so I'll have to be careful of that. I am wondering what happens if I throw a small fry on it. It doesn't seem like it does much, so you can come back to me, buddy. Okay, so over here, you know what? We can spare a moment. Let's catch your breath. Can we, though? I don't trust it. There's more enemies falling, so we just sort of need to be looking up and ahead, but it's pretty simple once we know, oh gosh, the timing of it, I feel. All right, ready? Gotcha. And I'm not doing very good at getting this one. A little bit more, a little bit more. There it is. Anything over there? Not really. So, let's try this out a little bit. They're waiting for me. I'm getting them a little bit. Got it. Come on, come on. There's the last one right here, ready? Oh, I could have blasted them like that, I'm so silly. I was so distracted by them, I didn't even see what was in the center. There we go, final checkpoint coming in. So this part is gonna be a little rough. Uh, the big moment, uh, strike out when you're ready. So I'm a little curious to what's out here then. Is there any way to, oh no, not get squished like that? Okay, there's nothing out here. So I think we're good just to focus on going forward. We don't wanna focus on destroying these enemies too much because they'll just come back in over and over. So wait for you, and then we're good. All right, well, we might have missed like a box way up that way, but it's not the end of the world. We did pretty well overall, and we got it. So there we go, mission complete. Good to see the return of the Octoballers, right? So now that we're back, that might have been the last level we needed to tackle. I might have to double check everything to be sure, but taking a look at it, it really looks like we did a great job clearing everything out, so I will go up that way real quick. 
so that the least we can see if there's any collectibles on our way to the boss fight. Because there's gotta be a couple more. There's a few green areas hanging out, and I know we're missing at least one scroll. Oh yeah, I forgot about this one. Okay, that's gonna be something for sure. What will this have for us? Anything interesting? Oh, there's one thing right here. Come on, what's it gonna be? It is going to be another locker decoration, a little toy car. I like it. Huh. So I did clear it a little bit, but it's saying that there is more up there. But I think that, you know what? Maybe we're just good to tackle the boss fight then. Gonna spray that. Oh, and there's a lot up here. Actually, I haven't really touched, so got some of that. Did he find something? No, no you didn't. <laughs> okay, so let's check out what is uh, probably gonna be the boss fight. Let's go out this area. What is this gonna be? Oh man, this is the pursuit of the precious. Fight your way to the exit. This might be another tough one. Okay, unauthorized personnel prohibited by beyond this point. Uh-oh, that's a little scary. We got that last time when we fought against Fry. So will it be another deep cut member? The reading is coming from just up ahead. It sure looks like it. Oh, and it's a big vault again. It's cramps, it has to be. Stop where you are. Oh no, it is Shiver. After the treasure, you have excellent taste. But you're too delicate to claim this particular item. Don't you agree? I mean, we're still just after Gramps. Ah, I see, the cold shoulder routine. Guess you're pretty wicked after all. We'll have to teach you some manners. Join me, Master Mega. Oh no, Master what? Oh my gosh! Master Mega, the cold-blooded bandit, shiver! Whoa! Pedal to the Megalo, Megalo, how do you say it? Megalodon, that's how you say it. Share your wisdom, Master Mega. Oh my gosh. This is scary, it's a big shark. So they're sending out their blasts all over the place. Be really, really careful, oh no. Come on, come on. We have our charged up uh, special. But so far, not really too much of a chance to attack them. Watch out, they're gonna strike from below. Okay, so maybe this is our chance? Come on, come on, come on. I got some damage in there, but not a ton. Maybe next time I'll try to slam them before they slam me. Chop me, really? Whoa. So I wonder if when they jump up like that, I might have a chance. What about Small Fry? Can Small Fry do anything? Whoa, they're rubbing up. Oh gosh. Whoa, 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 whoa. They're out in the open, now's your chance, I'm trying. This is doing something. It's covering them all up in green. Ah, but still not enough. Okay, Master Mega, show your pearly bites. Uh-oh. So they're tough so far. Once again, I don't I don't think, that, that's not what I wanted to do. Whoops. <laughs> okay, well now I won't have that. But they are still pretty covered in our ink. It does make me think, can I reach them? Oh yeah, from way over here, I can. I just gotta be really careful. Oh, no, no, no. Come on, come on, I'm ready for it, I'm ready for it. Jeez, you have to hit them so much for it to do anything though, it's crazy. Come on, come on. I know they're about to turn and throw out something like that, but I handled it pretty well. And you know what, I could turn to the splat bomb. I haven't really done that, have I? That I don't always have to have small fry out. Come on, come on. Oh no, oh no, here we go again. You know what I'm gonna do this time? Throw that out, I'm gonna be super ready for you. I think I did it too soon, but there we go, we did something. Look, shiver fell off, blast ya, that was good. And we're getting launched for some reason. Ooh, not bad, huh? Oh, I like their glasses. You're pretty tough for an appetizer. Master, I need you to really focus this time, okay? boy, Master Mega, let's finish this. Oh my gosh. So we have to start with a clean slate. That was just rehearsal. The real show starts now. Oh no, so we know the deal now. I can walk up and start splatting you. You're gonna try to throw things out like that, but as long as I'm quick on the reactions, it'll be fine. Oh no, what is that? Let's roll things up way up. Uh-oh. Now this I don't know what to do, do about. I might be able to splat them a little bit. Away we go! Whoa! Okay, okay. Uh, That was scary. I gotta be really ready for that kind of thing. A shark is so talented and so is Shiver. Oh no, whoa, whoa, whoa. That was not good, I thought I was more ready for that one, so maybe just chill back for a second while I'm sort of regaining as you can see, there you go. 
And when this is happening, it might just be better to back off a little, try to focus on covering up some of the ink here so when they do try to blast me, I can just move out of the way. Oh man, that was crazy, that was crazy. Come on, oh, they're all sort of tuckered out after that. Come on, this is good, this is good. A lot of hits coming in there. Oh no, oh, they actually got me with that one too, darn. Trying to be careful, because I'm slowed down when all that happens. No, 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 no. Oh, <laughs> that is ridiculous. Come on, you can see the fins almost all covered up. I think we almost got him here. Whoa, there it is. Come on, she fell off again, let her have it. Nice, Agent 3, that was good. And it looks like we might have one more hit here. Oh, come on, what is with you? Master, you had better get serious or else. Yeah, that's more like it. Time to show our real power. Oh no, third phase, here we go, let's cover things up. Petal and I mean it this time to the me me Megalodon. I don't know why it's hard to pronounce that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Aw, oh, darn. I feel like I'm not doing the best here, I keep getting hit, but it's okay. We haven't gone totally, you know, defeated or lost life or anything yet, so that's always good. Gotta cover the stuff up, because they're about to do the big blast, and we dodged it pretty well, so this is where they'll be. Oh, they did a second one? No, 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 a third? Oh, you're kidding. And here I thought I was ready for it. If you lob something into the shark's open mouth, it might stop Shiver cold. Okay, good tip there. So I'll have to wait for that to pop up again, but ah, man, I don't know. I feel like my reactions are getting slower as we go along here. Okay, so they're gonna go crazy with things in a moment, I'm sure. But I just need to follow you and get ready. Did that work? I think it did, I think it did. All right, awesome. Now we can blast it like crazy. Uh, master, get it together. Well, they're not looking so good. Okay, uh, stop embarrassing me, master. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 you don't, no, you don't. I'm ready for that one. Uh oh, see, this is where things get a little scary, though. Oh, I probably could have thrown another bomb at them. That's okay, because we can get that, and this might be it. Come on, she's making a done. So good. Wow, that was crazy. Ow, oh, I think that's enough of a lesson for today. But you haven't seen the last of Deep Cut. Until next time, huh? Oh no. <laughs> See ya. That was such a cool fight. And whoa, look at our next piece of treasure. I can't quite tell what it is from here. It wasn't Graham, so frustrating. Guess we'll just take this as a consolation prize. What are these things? I'm not sure, can't really make out what they are, but there we go, the pursuit of the precious. Fight our way to the exit, no problem. Good work, Agent 3. I mean, we didn't find Gramps, but we found another treasure. That's something. Do you read me? Come in. Gramps is on the line. Hello, Gramps. Oh, Agent 1, good to hear your voice. I'm uh, still locked in some kind of room. Finding the exit is the, like looking for a needlefish in a coral reef. Oh, I mean, oh, I better shout whisper. Someone's coming. Ah, you've woken from your hibernation, have you, Cuddlefish? <laughs> That's a former Captain Cuddlefish to whoever you are. Who are you anyhow? Identify yourself. <laughs> You're lively for an old bag of. Does your species have bones? No matter. You can call me Mr. Grizz. Grizz captured them? No way, okay. Is, no any Grizz. Master, or Mr. or otherwise. So from the salmon runs, what does Mr. Grizz want with Captain Cuttlefish? No, it was it was getting so good. Gramps, are you still there? Ugh, I think we lost him. But we'll find him for real if we keep tracking the signal. That's all you, Agent 3, let's go. So that is definitely a twist in the storyline. So we have our second treasure here. I mean, these look like uh, sort of pieces of bike still in some ways. Like, you can see that's usually where the chain sits on, those little discs. I forget what that's called. But uh, yeah, interesting. So we're back at the Squid Sisters camp. Hello. You'll check in on Agent 1 every so often, won't you? Just so I don't always have to do it. Yeah, of course. Just letting you know, the captain said treasure eh? could be useful. I think I see where this is going. Let's get the show on the road, shall we? 
I think we should. So I want to head back, of course, to site four so that we can look around and see what other collectibles we might still yet to find. So now that we're back here, you can see that, you know, there's still some areas around here like this. I haven't cleaned up too much. I need to do that if I'm able to find, you know, the last stuff or if I want to be able to find the last stuff. So I'm gonna run around and do that really quickly. And we still have 5,000 points left over too. So that shouldn't be any problem if we do find anything we still need to clear out. Shouldn't be a struggle. Is there anything up here? Well, I've already been up here, but I haven't been to the end of it. So it's probably something waiting for us right around here. Awesome, that is going to be some extra power eggs. Nothing too huge. And what about around here, nothing? Let's take a look. Okay, yeah, seeing that we got everything cleared out here, there's just something on this side, which I think I'm still looking for a sunken sea scroll, right? So I'll need to look around for that, for sure. Oh, it looks like our buddy found something. Is this gonna be it? It is our last sunken sea scroll. And this is number 13. One year after expanding his business into a new region, bombarding the Splatland with over 20,000 hours of rapid fire weapons shatter, his steel scopes are aimed at a new horizon. What's next for the so called Arsenal Ambassador? So look at you! I just saw into so many weapons. They're moving on to new things. Very, very cool. So that's the 13th. Um, sunken sea scroll so i think we'll find 16 and beyond in the next couple of areas so yeah i think we did it if we take a look back over here besides the little spots we haven't walked over which doesn't seem to contribute too much it looks like we've cleared out everything um our hero gear is doing pretty well we actually do have five so it looks like that picking up some of them are like two and one or something it has to be or maybe defeating a boss gives us a couple i'm not quite sure because we have five now we only needed four to open up this area so let's do this and take a look at what upgrades we have waiting for us. So first we have get curling bombs. Gain access to bombs that ink the floor in a straight line before they explode. So we'll go ahead and grab that. And then uh, down this way we have even better hero shot. Further increases the hero shot's rate of fire. And that's eight points. So it is getting more and more expensive to get these. And then lastly, right down this way we have get burst bombs. Gain access to bombs that explode as soon as they touch something. So we have all of the different types of bombs now, I think, so that's pretty cool. But we still have more points and these are opened up now. So for five points, we could get better curling bombs. Decreases the amount of ink consumed by curling bombs. So I'll gain that one. And then we have enough points for one more right down this way. This is better burst bombs. Decreases the amount of ink consumed by burst bombs. So give me some of that. And then next time we're getting an upgrade, we'll have to have how many sardinium? five sardinium. So we need to find four more so that we can get these two upgrades and then there's one uh, last one right over there. We're coming up to the end of it, so that's pretty exciting. And like I said before, we'll clear out all the green areas that likely means we found everything. And you can see here, we got all those kettles cleared out. So that was definitely by far the biggest area. That one had 12 in a boss fight. The biggest area beyond that only had like 10 levels. So pretty crazy the things we've been able to do in today's episode. Um, and now we can take a look at the Eternal Log. So right over this way, log 004, humanity's final day. The years passed with prosperity. The population of Alterna grew like a rising tide. The scientists knew the elders of their kind, believed they had done all they could to advance the civilization of Alterna. They began selecting new leaders to succeed them, entrusting to them the world they helped build. Humanity's new leaders inherited both the brilliance of their predecessors and their unquenchable thirst for innovation. This new generation, born and raised in deep Alterna, would prove to be every bit the match of those they were to succeed. They soon grew restless at the sight of the liquid crystal sky, believing they deserved to behold the reality that existed outside the cavern. The elders, who knew what awaited outside of the, the haven of Alterna, issued stern warnings to the brash young scientists. Nevertheless, the young scientists pressed on with their plan, the construction of a massive rocket ship to escape Alterna. Sadly, as the boosters were ignited for the first time during a launch test, tragedy struck. The energy from the rocket boosters overloaded the cavern's liquid crystals. A violent and terrible chain reaction ensued. Without warning, the stone walls of the cavern began to shatter, raining debris down upon humanity. Alterna, the last civilization of once prosperous humanity, was no more, and those few who escaped the carnage would soon follow it into death. That is so sad. So the community that was built here, the last hope for humanity, ended up, I guess, getting erased by the fact that they were trying to escape it. But we're just gonna do it this way. And we'll see what ends up happening. 
I might go back to site three later to unlock that path. What did they even do with these pipes? Oh no. Uh, I don't want to think about it. Eco forest, tree hills is our next area. Phew, you made it pretty far, huh? I guess so. Looks like you can get to another site from there. Very cool. That pipe must be the way back. Hmm, still no response from Gramps, figures. Well, let's see what we can find here, good luck. All right then, so yeah, here's our next site. But like I said, I'm a little bit curious if we go back to site three and I jump over and open it up from this side, what will we end up finding? Will it, will it be different? I'm not really quite sure, so we're going to open that side up and go over to site five just from there. So if yeah, this is sort of the last thing I need to open up, I didn't have enough at the time, but now I have the 2000 ready for it. I don't think there'll be anything to collect around here, so I think we're good. Yeah, just to sort of hop onto this. I just wanna see if there's any extra dialogue from Agents 1-2. Uh, this pipe is ridiculously long. Yes, it is. And whoa, close a few of the fuzziest rocket in history to your right. I don't know if I can even wrap myself in a fuzzy blanket again after seeing this. That was a lot of fuzz. Okay then, so there is some different dialogue there, so I'm glad I got to check it out. I might jump back over there again. It doesn't really matter too much. We're still you know, here in the Eco Forest Hills or whatever it was called. And we're just gonna do our best to find all the levels we can in today's episode, of course, and collect all the collectibles along the way. We've been doing a great job so far exploring everything in this game and getting all the different unlockables and stuff. It's been a ton of fun, and I just gotta keep that going. So let's hop into one of these. Oh wait. So we got a good view from up here. But you can see there were some levels back there we could have hopped into. So yeah, it might be better to approach things from that direction, because if not, we might miss out on potential levels, but you can see some stuff over here too. All right then, we got it. Uh, hmm. See, that's what I'm sort of curious about. Could I reach any of that from here? Because obviously this stuff is pretty easy to get to from that direction. So I think what we'll do is we'll just clear out what we can. That's only 200, so pretty cheap. And I just wanna sort of make the most sense of things here. All right. And what about this? Cause I think we'll start from over there and start those levels and yeah, just work our way over. It's probably the best way to do it. So if we don't find any collectibles along the way, that's okay too. But hey, we made it. So gotta get a little bit more over. We've been earning an excess of points so far. 3000 for that one though. So I think that's where we'll leave it. Uh, I guess there's a level over there. It doesn't matter much, does it? If we don't do them in the perfect order. Low viz, high risk, cut through the fog and find the goal. Whoa, it really is foggy. This mission will test your innate sense of direction. Navigate through the dense fog to reach the goal. This is a 52 gallon mission, so fill up what we can with that and get going. See, this one's a 20 egg entry free. Uh, cut through the fog and find the goal. Is that an Octo Sniper? It was. It's turned around, now's our chance. <laughs> it's already too late, I got it already. Whoa, so we're just sort of sneaking up on everything and I could get you before you could get me, that was cool. Whoa, nice. Uh, nice gate. It's both inviting and ominous. Bad visibility, uh, what a combo. And Octo Snipers, yeah, so we'll just have to be really careful here, but ooh, look at this. Oh my gosh, gonna be able to get rid of a bunch of them with that, no problem. So that's always really useful. We can sort of just sneak ahead. Got it, got it, and, oh, that was not a crate. <laughs> I was like, what's going on with this one? See, with this fog, it does make it a lot more difficult to see, but it seems like they don't see us either. Let's definitely snag that checkpoint as we're approaching our 80th level up. Oh, 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 they see me, they see me. But, they're gonna be seeing a lot of missiles in a moment, right there, we'll do that. There's still a whole group of them coming out here in a second. Whoa, no, don't fall off, don't fall off. Come on, gotcha. A lot of these guys did not get hit by that stuff though, even though they were marked up on it. I guess because they've been moving around so much, but come on, gotcha. Whoa, oh, that almost got me, that would've been bad. But geez, that was sort of a tough spot, wasn't it? Okay, there's not too much else happening around here, so we can move forward. Got a couple more crates. This time we get some well-needed armor. I don't see any kind of Octarians just yet. Trying to be careful. Okay, yeah, nothing over here. Ooh, hello. Do they see me? Not anymore. And I gotta remember we have, oh, maybe not for this one, but sometimes we'll be able to, I think only with the hero gear. Well, there we go. 
Oh, nice, that was some easy points. But with the hero gear, we'll have different bombs we can change from. I need to keep that in mind for when we're actually playing with the hero gear. Is there anything back this way? There is, a couple extra points for us. Which we already have quite a lot, but we needed 3,000 to get rid of that one chunk. Ooh, oh, these are new, right? I think, I don't quite remember these. Um, ew, it's totally soaked. Yeah, those Arcterius don't miss anything, do they? All right then, so let's try this. Twister time? Yeah, this is new. Um, I don't know, that. oh my goodness, whoa! That was crazy. Okay, I've definitely not seen that before, but we're just gonna throw a uh, little buddy out for now. I need to wait to sort of restore. There we go. And then I should be able to go for you. I might need to be a little bit closer. Whoa, they're hiding in the gunk. I got it, that. I'm pretty sure we came through this gate earlier. No, I think that was a different gate. I have a bad feeling about this. Careful up ahead. Let me make sure there's not any more Octarians hiding in the in the, the goop over this way. Doesn't look like it. So what's gonna be up ahead, huh? Oh, first off, grab that. Yeah, I'm a little wary about this. I see them up there. They're waiting for me. Oh no, oh no. They're coming over. Well, now they're chasing my little buddy. The fence is in the way. I can't really see too well here. Whoa, that was close. Oh no, oh no, the Octo Sniper. Come on, come on. Fill that out so I can just keep going, keep hiding. And then our small fry should do the trick and we can finish this level, nice. All right, that was a pretty interesting one. Well, that was weird. I agree, I agree. So there's that done. That'll be a whopping 1600 into our pocket, which I will definitely use just to clear out this next little section, just like that. All right, well that was a, that was a big step forward for us and gets us to um, our 80th upgrade, which is pretty cool. So yeah, let's clear this out as much as we can. And I don't think I've hopped into this one, so it might be a good time to sort of sightsee a little bit. Yeah, lots to do around here for sure. Okay, so what else can we find around here? Because it looks like there's at least a few spots I can clean up, if not anything else. No, wait, there's a secret right here. There's gonna be some extra power eggs, but still pretty good. And there was a level over here waiting for us, so there were two back this way. Gotcha. And then there's a little spot for 400 that we can clear out right there. That's gonna have something, right? It will. It's gonna be our first golden record. Cool. So the music will pick up a little bit here as we head into our next level, which is Learn to Reflect, and this one is in the bank. Use the angle shooter to reach the goal. Okay, so we got the sploosh -matic. In this mission, you'll use the angle shooter to navigate through a series of obstacles and reach the goal. So mostly it's focused on the, uh, the angle shooter, or whatever it's called. Okay, so use the angle shooter to reach the goal. Ready to draw your sub weapon? Let's put that angle shooter to use. That's Agent 3's job. All right. Interesting, I haven't seen this thing. Uh, that's very new to me. So I guess with this one, we throw things out like this and it'll... Can I ride that? Is that the idea? I can't ride it, but I guess it just maybe does some damage. I've never seen this before, so definitely worth sort of figuring out. There we go. And then I missed one over here, <laughs> whoops. Uh, I love the music here. Got it. And let's try that thing. Yeah, it does count as ink though, so at least if we needed something super precise, it can definitely be useful. There we go. I'll try it, boom, like that. It obviously, yeah, it doesn't do a ton of damage, but it can be nice for sort of striking them down a little bit. That was good. It doesn't use a ton of ink comparative to some other sub weapons. Get a little refill. Gotcha. So what about this then? Now there are three splash switches to hit. Ugh, aim carefully. So I guess if I just do that. Oh, it's moving now. Whoa. Okay. That does make it complicated. Ooh, one more, one more. Ready? Got it. Okay, nice job, thank you. And I might work on you a little bit so I can just move forward. But I do see that over there I can't quite hit. How am I doing this on? Uh, good question. Could I, no. Oh, wait a minute. There we go. That was very cool. All right then, so we move forward with that. Grab some extra ink. 
and I think some even trickier things over this way. I'll wait for it, then blast his balloon fish. Uh, not quite hitting. Weird. I thought I figured that would. Maybe that's not the angle I'm supposed to hit this at? No, there it goes. Unfortunately, that didn't really do much. Would that hit it? I don't think so. Huh. I mean, there's a button swinging by there, but I don't think... Yeah, that doesn't seem to be doing much. So it has to be this, right? Okay, that did hit, but the timing wasn't there. Ready, and... Got one of them. Oh, I see, it's rotating a different direction now. Ready, and... How did that not hit? That one was a little silly. Okay, ready. Gotta let it rotate one more time. It's coming in. Got it, okay. So good. I guess so. Ah, oh, that, okay, it does have a maximum on its range, you gotta be careful, but we got some extra armor coming in. I'm gonna fill up on ink. But you know what, we're just gonna hit you normally. I think it's just faster sometimes. I know it's not what we're supposed to do. Uh-oh, uh, that is a tough angle. Might not be the way I'm supposed to do it. Oh, there we go. Come on, one more, one more. Gotcha. Much better, much better. Uh, geez. <laughs> They're getting frustrated. How do you think I feel? This is tough. There we go, much better, much better. It is really tricky to make those kind of things work. So what's going on with this whole contraption? Hmm, what, uh, what are we looking at here? One, two, three, four stations? All right, um, huh. I don't know where we're starting. I don't think there. There's gotta be some kind of opening. I do see that stuff down that way. What does that do? Not much that I can hit. I mean, I can do that. I just don't know if that really helps me at all. I'm a little confused. Let's look around again. Oh wait, I think I could maybe. Yeah, there we go. Do that, then hit this one. Oh, I need more ink. Wait, wait, ah, close, but not quite. Got it. Darn, I guess it's not far enough up. I need to fill my ink up all the way. Yeah, yeah, okay, so do that. Hit that there. There we go, much better, much better. That's gonna open up some stuff over this way so that I can bounce it off there. Oh, come on, wait, wait. That's it, that's it. And that's gonna extend things out a lot farther so I can hop up here and get that one. There we go, puzzle solved, you did it. I love the watching artists at work. Nice one, Agent 3, thank you. All right then, so that was pretty crazy. Was there something on the floor there? No, that was not. Now this is the next step. How do I do this one? I guess I want to, oh, hello. Uh, this is a problem. Need to be careful of all that. Cause they're not gonna wanna play nice. But if I could, Okay, they're all worked up right now. I'm just trying to... Got it, got it! There's more of them? Yes, there is. Okay, so same deal here, got it. Started to figure it out a little bit. I need to wait for our next one now. Oh, ah, darn. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. This time, the hardest part is that they're shooting at us at the same time, but there we go, and there's another. Back it up, back it up. There. Boom, got it. That was the last of them. Way to go, Agent 3. Thank you. So that was pretty intense. Where are we going? Oh, we're going way up. And we can hit this, explode the both of them, and finish this level. That was a really neat new sub weapon. I like it. We get 1,700 as a reward. Okay, so there's that done. 1,700 points, and now we've cleared out everything on this side, I think. Let's just double check over here. Oh, here we go. So some extra easy points, and then we can head back up that way, where I think Callie's waiting for us to maybe give us a couple of extra power eggs. You bet. Hi, Callie. He's got pointy ears and some extra power eggs for you. This girl, well thank you very much. And our next level too, this is going to be a compulsive collector's paradise. Grab all power eggs within the time limit. Oh, that sounds like my kind of deal. So here we are, ready to collect some power eggs. In this mission, you must collect all the power eggs within the time limit. We'll be using the ink brush this time. 
Okay, so this one costs 40 to even participate. So we'll see how much we get out of the whole thing. Grab all the power eggs within the time limit. Oh my. Oh, it's these things. Okay, you must have, you have to nab 60 power eggs. It's like Pac-Man. I like it, but it might be pretty intense too. Oh, and there's some up here too. So I think little small fry might enjoy hitching a ride on top of a flutter. I know I would. I can try that at some point then. Right now I'm just trying to keep whatever ink I can. Yeah, let's, let's see that. Oh, so they panic. They don't quite know what to do about it. Um, luckily we seem to be doing all right. I can grab that one power egg. We still have 20 more left to grab. This is really a lot like Pac-Man. <laughs> okay, there we go. One extra hide back that way. Get a nice ink refill, and then I'm just gonna try to sneak in. Oh, that was good, that was good. 10 remaining, come on. I think I know where the rest of them are then. There's 55, or at least two of them. Right here, boom, and boom. Just looking for three more somewhere. Oh, and there's two of them. Uh, so where, oh no, that was it. Okay, never mind. I guess I just miscounted or something. There we go, a Compulsive Collector's Paradise finish with 1,800 as a reward on top of that. So that was a really fun one. I always like the little side missions like that, but with a ton more in our collection, we're up to 4,817. I think that's really everything on this part of the island for the most part. There might be one extra collectible hiding out somewhere. I feel like I already searched around over here though, so. It's saying that there's something around. We'll find it when we find it. If it's not now, then it'll be later. So, I might just like extra cover some things around here just to be extra sure. But like I said, I'm fairly certain I checked all this anyway. So, I think we're good. How are we doing on Sardinium, by the way? Do we have any right now? I don't think so. We have one Sardinium, so I need four more. They'll pop up when they do. So, actually, oh, I've gotten turned around here. Uh, Where do I need to go? I need to go the opposite direction. <laughs> I didn't even realize, yeah. We need to go this way and see what else we can find. So, we've already completed that level. That was the first level we did today. But over here, oh, there is a whole lot more, including another level of tackle. Let's get started with this right away. This is going to be the upside to enemy backsides. Attack enemy backs to reach the goal. Okay, so here we are. In this mission, you must use skill and cunning to aim at enemies from behind and reach the goal. All right then, so we're just using our typical hero shot stuff, so we can use you know different things like the splatter bomb now, because we unlocked a bunch of it, so that's very cool. Let's pay our no fee and just head in. All right then, attack enemies' backs to reach the goal. There's one of the enemies. So how am I, whoa, sneaking around this guy? I guess I don't have to. Okay, so ooh. they'll try to jump around, wait for him to land, and then hit the octo stamps where it hurts. So far, not too bad, right? but I'm guessing a lot of them are gonna try hopping around soon enough. So I wonder if throwing our little buddy might help in that way? Guess we'll find out. I'll toss you over because you have these shield guys. A lot more of a problem. A shield, ha, <laughs> just hit R to distract a bomb with small, with a bomb or small fry. Yeah, so we're pretty good now. I'm gonna toss over small fry again. Maybe not the best angle, but it's enough that I can just sneak over and grab it. There you go. All right, good job, small fry, but back up! <laughs> gotta be careful around those corners. You never know where the Octo Stamp is gonna be. We really just gotta make it jump and then back out. All right. I'll grab this checkpoint and we're good to continue this little spiral that we have up here. Oh no. The whole set of Octo Stamps. Will they turn around on those guys? I don't think so, but the small fry is attacking one of them. That guy had a ton of air. That was cool. Gotcha, and then you're the last one. Were they trying to jump on there? That was weird. Okay, so pretty good stuff. I just wanna break these open so we can get extra rewards or extra shield. Here, oh, that's not really the best, is it? Um, Let's call them back, throw it over there. Got it. Now I need to turn back because there was at least yep, one crate right here. That wasn't so bad. I'll call you back. I think yeah, we can just grab our final checkpoint and do something. Oh man, goals in sight, let's see this. Oh, they have little headphones, that is so cool. Oh, that means it makes them send out a shockwave. Whoa. Okay, let's send small fry on you. Did that work? I have no clue. Here they come again, watch for those shockwaves. That was so cool. So I might try a different one. There we go. I sort of missed a little bit of it, but those shockwaves, 
are a bit intimidating. Very cool. Okay, so over this way then. Let's climb up the sides. We're almost at the end. Oh, here comes their friend. Whoa. Got it. Come on, go crazy on him. That was perfect. I think that's it. Yep, we made our way through this one. That was a fun level. The Octo Stamp enemies can be pretty tough, but they're also just really interesting to go against, for sure. And we're back. So, 1,400 more for that one. And I think, yeah, that's gonna clear it out for you, but there was a couple of rewards down this way we can definitely snag. First off, paying the 300 to get rid of this little spot. And that's gonna have our first sunken sea scroll of the day, which is number 19. Letter of appointment, employment, new squid beak HQ for Splatoon. Adjustments promoted to captain with emulants, uh, emoluments of pay grade 33. Craig Cuttlefish. Craig Cuttlefish? Wait, is that Captain Cuttlefish? His first name is Craig? Interesting. Hey, a little buddy found something. Yeah, there's some more stuff over here that we'll grab real quick. Very cool, so I'll be some easy extra points, but we're gonna run over this way too. Nothing I can reach from this angle, so maybe not. So yeah, we'll go back up the way we came. Or can we? Oh no, we can go this way. I was gonna say, I'm a little lost at the moment. How am I gonna get through this? How do I get to that? I guess I was supposed to do it earlier. So, I can break this open, easy extra points, and I'll do that level in just a moment. I sort of see where we are now. It's easy to get lost around here for some reason, but I think once we clear out all the gunk, that'll help out a little bit. So, we need to backtrack. Oh, and I haven't done this level either. Yeah, they're, they're definitely upping the number of levels there are each time. But 1,400 isn't too much for us at this point. We can clear this out, no problem. There is gonna be a lot to find here, right? First off, yeah, right in this corner, we got our first locker decoration. It's a fire hydrant. Okay, so what else do you find, buddy? There's a lot in this little area. Some uh, extra power eggs and our second golden record. So small fry, I was really excited about all that, all the cool new stuff we're finding. But I don't think there's going to be too much more in this area, so. Let's head back up, and I think now is a great time to tackle a few more levels. So we've gotten this one done. Nothing really more down that way. So we're going to hop up this way and try our next one, which is the trouble round every corner. So press enemy fire and reach the goal. Okay, here we are. Uh, in this mission, you will learn how to manage paranoia. Reach the goal while being mindful of hidden enemies. And we're starting with the hero gear. Paranoia, huh? that makes this sound a little scary, but we'll find a way through. So press enemy fire and reach the goal. So we do have an Octarian up there. Watch out, this Twintical Octo Trooper up there, they're way tougher than regular Octo Troopers. Yeah, we've run into a couple of them, not a ton though. But as you can see, they, they fire a lot more and they take a couple more hits to take out. Okay, well with that done, we can just hop over to the next section pretty quickly. But those enemies don't mess around. As you can see, they're already trying to get us, so if I toss, oh, that's not even the one I meant to throw. But, ooh, so what do we get? We get the uh, the Trizuka, right? There we go. I'll get you a little bit, I'm just stuck in the ink for now. There we go, so I got rid of a couple of them like that. That's not too bad, but I, I see you over here. I'm just trying to, uh, ouch, maybe Small Fry can help you out here. I'm thinking the same thing, so. Let's throw small fry out for a moment so that I can maybe just make my, my make my way around. There we go. So much action, I can't speak straight. I think that's about everything for this side. I could just run to the checkpoint right now, but what I'm a bit more interested in is breaking all this stuff and sneaking up. I thought I jumped. That has happened to me a couple of times now where I've ran up to a platform or swam up to it. I press the jump button and then there's no jump. So I don't know if that's me or if that's the game. What's going on? But hopefully this time I can do a bit better. Because we can get that, take the shot over this way, take the shot onto you, and then I guess to you. Okay, that's not too bad. Still a lot to uncover here though. So that's where I need to get my little buddy. Gotcha. And you up there. Very cool. So let's not go too crazy here. I'm gonna call them back. Yeah, I know that they're hanging out just like that. I think, yeah, there's one more right over there. Very cool. So 
that should be everything cleared out around here. We lost one life along the way, but that's not the end of the world, right? So let's head back over and continue to the next section. Okay, so there's gonna be another uh, Trizuka. I think I called it a tri slasher before. I'm not sure. But the Trizuka is quite good. Oh, I missed though, so that's not so good. So I guess at the least, you know, I, I get two of them. I'm gonna toss that over. Ooh, that'll make them both turn around. Really good situation there, actually. Oh no, oh no. This is where things get a bit messy, don't they? Gotcha, gotcha. I need to hide in the corner for just a moment. I get across, because I know that yeah, there's this one with the shield up here. Oh no, oh no, I missed my shot. Here, come back to me. Toss it up there. I still can't quite get it. It's fine, it's fine. Because I can just sort of play sneaky like that. And we got, got them one way or another. So, pretty good stuff. There's still a lot more to this level, it seems. No enemies just yet, though. They'll probably pop up as we get closer. Come on. I thought I heard an enemy, but I don't really see one. Oh gosh, let's send that back over. Oh, did I miss that crate? Is that an orange crate? Let's see if I can't. No, okay, that didn't have anything. Just had to make sure. Got it. And I guess that's it for this area. I mean, so far, yeah, we just gotta jump over. I thought there'd be more enemies around. Almost there. But are we really? Now I'm really paranoid. Oh gosh, here we go. Ready, get you fast. Then I wanna roll over here. Come on, let me go, let me go, let me go, slam. Boom, that was not enough to fully get rid of you, but I broke your shield, and that's nice. Come on. There we go. Is that gonna be it? I think so. Jeez, what a tough area, though. These enemies do not mess around anymore. Just gonna toss it over and finish it up. Okay, we got out, at least, you know, mostly in one piece. Now that we're back here, though, we get another level completed, and I just need to take a look around, I guess, for a moment and see what we can do. A thousand points there is actually no problem. I don't see any other areas back here to clear out, so we've done a great job. Small fries found something straight away. It is gonna be our first piece of sardinium for the day. I like it. I'll have to spend some of those soon once we have enough. And there's gotta be some extra goodies back here, right? Get that plus one upgrade point. Let's find out. The small fries looking around, I'm looking around. We're, we're bound to find something then. I guess we don't need too much of that. Down this way though, oh, here we go. Just stumbled across that, some extra power eggs. Okay, so I need to get up and over. But down here, this is where I can toss it. 600 points. It's interesting that, you know, because we've been diligent in getting everything, we do have an excess of points. That'll be another uh, locker decoration, which is just a rock with a, a handle for some reason. I get up that one, I cannot. So we'll need to backtrack a little bit. There's not too many walls we can climb around here. It's mostly just using these things to sort of blast our way up. Hi, Callie. Your hero gear is looking good, but I bet you can power it up even more. Yeah, I'm working on it. As soon as we get more of the uh, Sardinian, I'll go put that straight into our upgrades. Okay, so let's try out this level. If it's gonna sit here, uh, proceed with caution. Simply zip, zip castic. Use the zip caster to make your way up and reach the goal. Okay, so in this mission, you must use the zip caster to reach the goal at the top. So more zip caster fun. I wanna fill up this area first and then we'll go. I need to pay 30 points for this one. Yeah, we'll just uh, zip cast over just like this. Well, this should be fun. Get ready to ride the zip cast, your zip caster all the way to the top. So, yeah, they're giving us a lot of zip caster missions. I think they just understand how fun this is. Wait, there we go. And I missed all three of them. Okay, well, I, I sort of want to go back because I want those. All right, I got two of them. That's good enough, right? Okay, so what do we have here? I'll just go over like that. Yahoo! Got it. Nice. So let's get this moving. I don't want to waste too much time, right? Boom. Oh, wait a minute. Whoa, I did it that time. That was cool. We're gonna bounce over. We're making it work. Here's our checkpoint. You're making me dizzy, Agent 3. 
Apparently this is the final checkpoint already. Hey, uh, whatever you do, don't slip. I'm trying my best. Oh, this song is so cool too. Got it. Oh, you know what? You're in trouble. Boom, that was so cool. Awesome. So, you know what? Let's uh, get to this one if I can. Maybe not, maybe not. Maybe I'll get up here. There we go. And then from up here, oh, whoa, 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 hold on. Got some extra points I can grab. Don't mind if I do. And then get over to here and probably do the same thing. Yep, got it, got it, and got it. Oh, wait, there. <laughs> Is there gonna be anything more like that around here? Well, that's one way to find out if you're afraid of heights. I bet they mention the height fear pretty often for some reason. There we go, there we go. And then last one right there, here's the goal. That was so quick. I don't know if I missed anything major, but that might've been one of the quickest missions so far. Just a minute and 34 seconds. Okay, so simply Zipcastic completed. What a fun stage. Is there anything in that corner? Doesn't look like it, so we are zooming through some of these levels at least, but over here I'm gonna clear some of this stuff out. Is there anything for us though? Maybe up here? No? Ah, uh, okay. I'm gonna clear out as much as I can, because you just you never really know where those rewards, rewards are gonna be hiding. I see this one, that one's pretty easy to grab. Oh no, oh, I jumped a little too soon though. Uh oh, it looks like Small Fry found something. It's gonna be the next golden medal, which should be the last one too, so let's try it out again maybe. Oh, oh, I didn't realize I could be on top of this and still like throw things around. Don't go too soon. It's very easy to do that apparently. Oh my gosh. We still have over 4,000 uh, power eggs here, so I'm just trying to do what I can. Yeah, this one was pretty obvious. Some, Easier power eggs to grab. There's gotta be something extra back here, right? There's no way there's not anything. Where do I go from here though? I don't I don't think I can get back up there, so unless I wanna, I just gotta jump down. Ooh, Ooh this is a neat little area though. How it's just sort of tucked under here. There's no way there's not a little surprise, right? I'm right down that way, so maybe Small Fry will poke, pop up and point something out, I'm not really sure. What is with this? It seems odd. Hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of sort of ground here for there not to be a secret. So I might be missing something. I might not be. Here we go. That's just gonna be more power eggs. So we still have a lot to find then. What will this one say? Not really anything. It's just sort of giving us a good look around now. It was sort of highlighting something here. There we go. How did I not get that the first time? I'm not sure, but here we go. Sunken Sea Scroll number 17. Yo, Barry C here, Hotlantis' hottest only owner. <laughs> I gotta split for a bit to stock up on stock, but it's all good. Harmony, yep, from Trippy Chips, is filling in, and she knows this shop way, way better than me. So business, that's gonna keep keep right on booming. <laughs> Alright, so I think this is actually one of the new characters from Splatoon 3 that like is one of the shop vendors or something. Haven't seen them yet because you know I've only played the story mode so far, but after we're done with the story mode, we'll be checking out all that kind of stuff. For sure. For right now though, we get ourselves another golden record. And that should really revamp the music around here. So if there isn't anything else to find, then we should be good. But yeah, what's neat is that it pointed that out to me. You know, when we were up here, it highlighted that, so I was able to find it. So that's neat. Good to know that, you know, there's a way. And that shows that there was something there that I missed. Isn't that weird? Okay, so we're gonna make sure we get that then. I think the best way up there is going to be just sort of going all the way around again. But then afterwards we could tackle that level. Cause I really wanna get this if, if possible. It was right about here. Here it is. That is gonna be our uh, table turf battle cards. Awesome. So how do we clear out this one? It looks like I need to go over there. So going in a lot of circles so far today, but still can't get it from there. I think we want to go back up around again and just clear it out from this direction for 900 points. So what will this path have in store for me? Probably another piece of sardinium or something. Yes it is, caught it. Sardinium number two. So I think we should have three sardinium in total at this rate. And can I clear out this side? Yes I can for 300 points. No problem at all. That is going to be another locker decoration, this time a satellite dish. Pretty cool, and another upgrade point. So whenever we do get enough Sardinium for an upgrade, 
We'll make that work. But anyways, we have our next level ready and waiting for us. This is gonna be one-way ride through Target Town. Destroy the targets to reach the goal. Ooh, so what do we got here? This mission will test your hand-eye rail coordination. Break every target you see as you ride rail. So we've had some of these ride railing ones before, but uh, I think, yeah, this is the, the bow and arrow one. Uh, destroy the targets to reach the goal. So I think, yeah, if we set it like that, it explodes. Okay, Agent 3, ready for some high stakes target practice. You have to hit every target you see. All right. So I could do something like that. Oh, it didn't work. Oh, sort of lame. Okay, I don't know why that did not work, but it doesn't matter too much. We can just get closer to this one. Pretty cool. And whenever it has the X's, that means the target's actually gonna reach. So that's what we're waiting for. And for this one, right about there. Wait, okay, I didn't know if it was gonna explode or not. Nice. Ah, oh, I missed those two. I jumped a little too soon. But I guess it's better than falling into the water, right? Okay, it got him. And it got him. Super nice. Tell me about it. All right, then. So, oh, I gotta go like that. Not we'll get knocked off. And I missed it again. I jump way too soon, it seems. Aim carefully. I'm trying my best. So there's a good cluster of them cleared out. Oh, no. How did that? Okay, I thought it didn't work for a moment, but it did. That's good. I don't think we've missed any then. That's another cluster done. Wow, you're really good at this. Thank you. Uh,. Tower targets up ahead, or dead ahead. Oh man. Oh, so I need to, oh no. Oh, I just barely got them in time. That was scary. Wow. Oh, we're not quite done. Don't relax yet. Keep it up, Agent 3, almost done. Ready, jump through this one. Finally got it. That was pretty good. Duck through that. Pretty good stuff there. There's some more coming up. I need to... Oh no, no! Oh no! <laughs> I can't believe that one didn't reach. That was rough. That's okay, we'll do it this time. Well, I gotta do it from the very beginning again, so I don't like that very much. Oh, I finally did it. That one took me a ton of tries to get to but we did it. Final stretch, don't lose focus now. I hope I can do this. Come on, there we go, that was good. Target destroyed, that was fast. I sure hope so. There might be more though. Oh, there's more. Oh, you're so close. So, what do we do here? Um, I guess not that. Uh, I feel like I didn't even get the chance to process what was happening there. All right, well that stinks, but at least we made it farther. The real tough thing is that you have to do the whole thing over. Oh, I did it, I did it! Oh man, we finally did it! That took so many tries! I can't believe it, that was a lot. Great work out there, Agent 3. I need the compliment for that one because, geez, that was, I was stuck on that one for so long. So glad to finally be out of that one. 2,000 doesn't feel like enough of a prize for that because in other levels, I might have died once or twice, but that was the first time I have gotten several game overs back to back. So yeah, that was tough. I can definitely see how <laughs> maybe people might, might want to skip that one, but let's see what we're doing around here. I think I want to clear out some more space before we start trying to find another level uh, because I feel like there's just a lot of uncovered ground. There's gonna be a lot of things we're still trying to find, I think. And that's something I want to take a look at right here. Because, it, yeah, it looks like right down that way, in this little spot, there is going to be just some extra power eggs. So I'll take those to start things off. And, oh, I haven't even gotten into this level. Okay, I feel like I've been maybe getting a little sidetracked then. So we'll open up that in just a moment. But I do want to try going over here, tossing that over for a 1,000 points, you know, quite affordable for us. Okay, and I do see an extra prize right down there. That is going to be another food ticket. Very cool. I'll have to make the most of those sooner or later. But for now, I gotta make the most of this area because there's definitely gonna be something over here. 200 for that. I don't know if I can get it from this. <laughs> but Small Fry found something after falling off. Okay, 100 points. Not too bad. Okay, so. Lots of areas to clear up. There, there has to be something in this little corner, right? You'd think, but not really. 
Okay, so once again, we're not gonna tackle that level just yet because there's actually that level and that level way over there we've yet to touch, so. Yeah, lots of stuff to do. Oh, wait a minute. We got something out of this. This is going to be another lantern kind of decoration for our uh, locker. Okay, so it looks like right over here, this might be the last set of stuff we need to clear out. So I might do these, then go do, get the sunken sea scroll. Okay, that was good. Getting launched way up here. There's so many levels to this one, that was crazy. Might be more than last time, which is really saying something, because last time we even had the boss fight to add to that but I guess we'll see soon enough because we're not quite there yet. This one costs 3,000, so I'll clear that out. And that was actually so, so much of it. There's definitely something over here, right? There's no way there's not. There it is. That is another Sardinium. Let's take a quick look. We have four of them, so we need one more Sardinium. I don't know if we'll find that in today's episode then. That might be for next episode. Okay, so still worth looking around now because I think there might be another thing on this side. When we're at level 90 now, I didn't even realize we had hopped up so much, but huh, maybe there isn't anything on this side, which is a little bit weird. You'd, you'd think there'd be something, but I guess for right now, we'll go back over and start working on those levels that we might have missed. Well, actually, let's do the balloon first because I, I do see that the balloons hang out in the distance. I wanna take those out. So what's the easiest way to get over to them? I guess from here. Yeah, get up this way. Cause I saw the one red balloon. Oh, it's off now. So we'll have to come back to it. But for right now we could do this one. Uh, boom, 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 got it. Then we're going over this way. This is some tricky jumps they're expecting us to do here. I sort of just gotta hope for it. I don't know how to, ooh, from here, I might run out of time. Come on. Go, 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 got it. That was super close, and now it wants us to go overhead. Splash up here. And then these two. No problem. Oh no. Gotta be quick with this one, but it's the last one. There we go, so yet another sunken sea scroll. I think our second to last one for today's video. It's number 16. Frying out here in Scorch Gorge in more ways than one. Hashtag sweaty shell, biking trip. Oh, that's so cool. So it's the... It's kicks, right? I think so. Very cool. So, um, there we go. That's another one done. We're just looking for one more somewhere around here, but maybe that's something we'll wait for later. I'm just gonna wait for that balloon to come back, and then we'll tackle whatever levels we might have missed. All right, gonna splat that for 100 extra, and now we're good. We're gonna go way back down here and tackle this one level we ended up missing, which is... Uh, barriers, they've got you covered. Defeat Octo Discos and reach the goal. Okay, so in this mission, you must reach the goal by overcoming any enemy barriers with the hero gear. Let's come run all of that up. We're going in, fee or not, we're gonna get this one figured out. All right, let's go. Defeat Octo Discos and reach the goal. This one seems pretty simple. An Octo Disco, their barriers make them a real pain to deal with. Seems like it. Okay, so they are a new enemy, I think. Hard to say, but we'll figure it out as we go forward. Um, you're not gonna have any luck shooting through that barrier, so we need to shoot the, the Octo Disco itself. When I take down the Octo Disco, you gotta hit them from up top or go inside their barrier. Okay, so I'll keep that in mind. Didn't figure we could actually physically penetrate it, but I guess we can. Gosh, yes, so those two, not too big of a deal. Uh-oh, here comes an Octo Stamp. An Amped Octo Stamp, watch out for the shockwaves. I definitely will, but we got them. Nothing back there. All right then, so it's gonna hop up here, no problem. And that's gonna be some armor. That's a lot of Octarians. Maybe you could use walls to get around them? I think so. Gotta get them first, but I can't hit them from here. So what I need to do, oh no. Yeah, I can't even do that. So what I could maybe do is walk inside and slam. Ah, oh, that didn't quite work because they were moving. But I guess eventually they run out of energy or something. Very hard to actually get into the shield. That was cool. I, I guess, I feel like it could have been better. Either way, we got through it. Ooh, here comes some more. Ugh, this is gonna be annoying. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, actually not too bad. There we go, we made it work. And once they don't have anybody to defend, they're actually not too challenging. Wow, you're through. Or thorough. <laughs> oh, I said through. 
All right then, so. Yeah, it looks like right over here we can lift ourselves up, going up, and hopefully we can make this jump. There we go, just don't look down. They really have a thing about fear of heights. Maybe they have a fear of heights sign. Uh, I'll toss this over just to give me some time. Whoa, oh, that was scary. Then I gotta go up here just like that and then have the huge jump on him. Not bad, Agent 3, well thank you very much. Uh, what does this say? Ooh. Hmm. How do you wanna tackle this, Agent 3? There's a lot going on here, but I think what we need to do is sort of make our way past them and then go back down from above. Uh, you're almost there. Oh yes, just go up, up, up. Do some good damage to him. But then we need to move over here and basically do the same thing if I had to guess. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, I do see that. Oh, let's get up and get it. There we go. Uh, the Trizuka. Um, how do I use that? Like this. And then take the shot. Good enough. Uh, blast. Oh no, it's over. <laughs> Darn, that's not good. It's fine now. I'll just damage you down one way or another. And then your friend. And then right down here, I just need to. That didn't land. Yeah, hitting downward like that can be very challenging. But for doing it, we do get some extra points. I can finish this level up. And we're good to go. That was an exciting one. A lot faster pace, at least, to complete than the last level. So I'm happy about that. So there is another level completed. We have so much more left to go though that we probably just don't want to dilly-dally. I do want to check the map real quick. It is saying that something was back there, so it really is making me curious. I should go and check that out first, and then I'll move forward. That way I just don't have to double back for anything. But what could it be? I'm, not, I'm really not sure. Because it's yeah, it, it's still on that segment of it, and I feel like I searched this whole area very thoroughly. I've still yet to see it pop up. Okay, I swear I shot right there before, but this time it's working. It's gonna be our final sunken sea scroll. And that's actually number, oh, it's maybe not because we missed something somewhere. But either way, number 20, Thursday night slash Friday morning at 1 a.m. It's the 100th episode of Marie After Midnight and a special guest stopped by to help me celebrate my cousin Callie. It's a Squid Sisters Gab Fest. We could not stop talking. Not kidding, we went over the scheduled end time by five hours. Oops, well that's cute. I'm glad they had a fun time. So we still have to look for one more sunken sea scroll somewhere. So we'll be poking around for that a little bit more once we jump back over here and complete a few more levels, I think. Okay, so yeah, taking a look around. I do know that this is another level and that's another level. So let's start tackling them. Maybe I'll do this one first. Yeah, sure. What is this one gonna be? Making waves with splashdowns. Use splashdowns to reach the goal. Okay, so in this mission, you must master the use of splashdowns to reach the goal, which we've been using these pretty often, so it's, it's, it's fun to use them a little bit more here. Whee, let's go. So, um, okay, so what you wanna do here is, you know, splashdown, you try it, you'll splash down where you stand, kiss flat. Ooh, and in this area, you can do it as many times as you like. Awesome, so all you can splash down level. Very cool. So we'll grab some of that stuff and then slam onto these guys. Boom, <laughs> it even said all those boxes flying. That was fun. Uh, so I guess we need to splash down to launch up and then jump over and then go behind their shields and everything. That was excellent. This is such a fun level already. See, these are a fun way to um, practice special. Splash down as much as you want to get to the top, Agent 3. I will. Got it. And then let's slam onto that. Very cool. Now this is where timing does matter. Uh, and we made it work, we made it work. Anything behind me? There's not. Okay. This moves horizontally, yes it does. Here's a pro tip for you, don't fall. I'm trying my best. There's some extra armor. Okay, here we go. Boom, oh, made the snorkel gear on and everything. And I do see some enemies over here. That didn't work out so well. Um, maybe if I do it again? Uh-oh, not really. This is not going so well. How do I get you? I guess. Maybe from here? They move it pretty quick. That is a lot, that is a lot. Here, slam down again, so I can just get some. Jeez, I'm jumping, I'm trying to jump. This is sort of ridiculous. Uh, yeah, let's try that again. Okay, so what might be smarter for this one is staying up here and then just slamming it. That does not do enough damage. Maybe, there we go. 
But geez, once they start shooting, ah, oh, come on. I think I might just want to run through that. If we don't get all the Octo or the, whatever they call the power eggs, not the end of the world. I don't think it's worth losing a bunch of lives for. So we're just going to slam through that. I definitely need that armor though. But geez, the levels have jumped up so high in difficulty this episode, it's pretty crazy. Okay, maybe what we're supposed to do this whole time, yeah, is this. There we go. Oh, so I just overcomplicated it the whole time. I fought Splash Jump from way downtown. Very cool. So what's going on with this? I need to slam on these boxes. Watch out for the Octo Sniper dead ahead. Ready, boom. And this one. That was good, that was good. Oh, you guys are in trouble. Oh, good bam. And then we can launch across. You look almost too cool, Agent 3. There we go, that was excellent. So I finally figured it out by the end of it. Pretty cool. So you'll get 1,500 for that one, not a bad prize. So with that one done, we're making some great progress. We just need to turn right around and tackle this next level right here. This is going to be another golden one. Uh-oh, too many snipers. Avoid enemy fire and reach the goal. In this mission, you will learn to manage unwanted popularity. Reach the goal while evading enemy attacks. Okay. Let's go in through this way. Only way we can go through. Avoid enemy fire and reach the goal. That's a little bit scary, but we'll do what we can about it. First off, grabbing some armor. Watch out, they've got you in their sights already. So I'm just trying to run across like this wherever I can. Ooh, got some points for that. I did see that one. I might want to just toss our little buddy over. So it might just be extra points like that. Yeah, there we go. Go, go, go. Come on, got it. Oh, and there's more of them. There's gotta be a way up there. Keep looking for a surface you can even climb. I will. Gotcha, but we need to go, we need to go. So we can ink and climb this one. I don't know if we want to go too far with it before exploring around a little bit, but it might just be better to, oh no. Uh, go for it, go for it. Um, yo, let's switch to this. That might help out a lot. But if we can take out all the enemies. Uh, they saw me there somehow. Take out all the enemies and then continue forward. Ooh, it didn't quite get them unfortunately, but as you can see, we're able to make our way forward a little bit more. Huh. Some more climbing to do, yep. But I got some pretty easy points there, and I just gotta move. Not happening. Ooh, ooh, now you guys are in trouble, right? Uh, over there, and then, I don't know if I can get them from here, that's unfortunate. I didn't do anything with that, that's rough. Okay, so, it's fine, I hope. I'm trying to make it fine. There we go, much better, much better. I need to find my way up here if possible. You're jumping down for me, actually. Wow, uh, wasn't expecting that. But we got some extra armor from that one. Now I can go back over. It just from here seems fine to me. Oh no. Oh, he made it to the top. Somehow, some way. Oh, they got me there, can't believe it. Much better, much better. Tossing this over. <laughs> I fell off the side. Not what I was looking for, but it's okay. Ooh, now you guys are in trouble, because now I just do this and then fire when locked in. Come on, come on. You'll be so distracted from me, they won't notice the missile slamming right down on top of them. So if we wanted to, now is a good time to go back and get the extra orbs, but is it really worth it for just a couple of them? Actually, that's more than a couple of them. All right, we're going back down. I want to find those. How am I getting to it, though? It looks like pretty simply I could just jump and then turn. Yeah, there we go. That was great. Okay, so that's a lot more orbs for us. That, then there's another one right here, a whole cluster of them. And then there's another two of them back over this way. So we're doing really good finding these. And it was worth backtracking for them, I think. Got it. Wait, 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 there's still another. And that's actually gonna be another cluster. So now I think we've gotten them all. We can leave this level. That's the best way to do that. Let me throw some of those around so I can zoom around a little bit more. I think I wanna go up here. Got it. And yeah, I think I'm going the right way now. <laughs> a lot of this was like covered back over when they were shooting at me. So it makes it seem like I hadn't been this way, but I have, I have. So I'm just gonna go back around. 
crazy we, we, we went through this much so quickly, though. Especially with all those enemies shooting at us, this was a tough level, but we did a pretty good job. Got it. Okay, so from here, I just gotta make this big jump. It's a lot more leisurely, though, without the, the Octo Snipers attacking us, that's for sure. But those Octo Missiles really helped. Or the Tenta Missiles, whatever they're called. Uh, but there we go, finally completed it. Boom, mission complete. Pretty cool one. And we get 1,400 as a reward. Okay, so uh-oh, too many snipers is completed. And it looks like just right ahead we have another level waiting for us, so. Is that little buddy doing okay? They're trying to catch up with us. Let's see what's going on this way then, because I'm over here. It is saying that there is something now, so maybe it's worth looking around an extra time to see if I can't find any more collectibles before we move forward. Ooh, you found something, didn't ya? Okay, come on, come on, where is it? Right here, all right. And what's gonna be, it's gonna be our, for real this time, final uh, sunken sea scroll, I have to imagine. As they grow, crustaceans such as the coconut crab frequently shed their shells to allow for further growth. Because strong sunlight encourages this shedding behavior, this may explain why Splatland's crustaceans are off, often grow to be far larger than their counterparts in other regions, because there's a lot more sunlight. Gotcha. Interesting to see sort of the science behind some of the characters. Okay, so we've done a great job clearing out all these levels, but there's a few more waiting for us up ahead, so let's go for them. Hi, Callie. You're supposed to sneak behind the shield of Doctarians, but I just like the blast them. You're not alone there. Okay, so let's try out this level, which is shooter on rails, reach the goal using ride rails, and precision shooting. Okay, so if this is anything like the last one, we might be in for a rough time, but this mission will test your ability to look cool during tricky maneuvers. Use ride rails to reach the goal, and we're gonna be using the Bamboozler 14 Mark I with the Burst Bomb. So I haven't used this in a long time. I'm usually just not good at these kind of weapons, but we'll see how it goes. So reach the goal using ride rails and precision shooting. Uh, got it? Got it. But we just did one of these and I was stuck on it for nearly an hour. <laughs> Let's ride. Okay, but this might be a bit different. Yeah, with it not being about sort of timing shots. Uh, jump, jump like you never have before. I'll try. Okay, so I need to jump down like this and I guess it didn't jump quite well enough. Got it. Where are we going? We're going this way. Okay, good to know. What is with these trees? They're neat looking. Oh, there's the switch. Got it. I'm gonna jump over. And I guess that is a checkpoint, so we don't have to do the entirety of this one all in one go, so that's nice. I gotta jump up and over. There's another one. Okay, the range on the bamboozler isn't super huge, is the one thing. Ooh, gotta, yeah. Ducking cover under that. Wow, that was close. Well, maybe it is better than I thought. You bamboozle them with the bam best of them. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Got it. Mm. That's just a little balloon for us. That's good. Okay, so I'm ready for this one. Whoa, ooh, had the jump for it. That was pretty crazy. I did see one over there. I don't know if we were supposed to get that. Oh no, I think we get it right there. Is there one more? There is, but then we can just get it like that. Whoa. I don't know if I'll be able to, whoa, get those balloons in time. Gotta jump over that though. Got it. Go, 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 ride that rail all the way to the top. I'm trying. Got it. Gonna duck under. We're almost there, but there's still a bit more here. Oh no, oh no. Ah, no, no! Wait, oh, we fell. Okay, that's good. I thought that was gonna be it. That was scary, but I need to use the splat bomb. I was being silly there. I could just, yeah, do a little bit of this. There it is, see how much easier that was? Made it overcomplicated. Did I hit them all though? One more time, I, I guess not. I'm a little confused. Uh, what did we miss? What? Oh, maybe there's some on the backside of that. One more, one more time. There is. No, and I missed it. Oh darn, come on, come on. One more time for real. That's so confusing. Will Callie say anything? One more time. There it is. Hit it in the back. Ooh, sneaky. All right then, so we need to jump over this time. Ready, and 
got it. So is that gonna be the last of it? It looks like it. Looks like you're in the clear, nice job. Thank you, thank you. Okay then, so definitely took a lot of work, but we got through it one way or another and another level completed. That was much easier than the other ride rail one. Thank goodness. So we're back out here again with another level behind us. So our next one's just waiting for us over here. And there is still somehow another collectible around here I have yet to find, but I don't know if that's something I'm going to trouble myself too much with right away, because we can just go and do this level. This is zipping over the neighborhood, use the zip caster to reach the goal. Again, more zip caster stuff. In this mission, you reach the goal by zipping around with the zip caster. Okay. So yeah, well, it looks like we also have the ink brush or the octa brush, which I don't know if we'll need too much, but we'll find out. Okay, so hmm, those Octarians are just out of reach. Looks like a job for the unstoppable or unsplattable zip caster. Wee, boom, splapow, got him. All right then, see, so yeah, let's let's zoom through this as much as we can. That is so satisfying. I love it. Okay, so I see this group over here. We can immediately go and splat, and then same thing with. That right there, gotcha. And then maybe right there. Oh, that didn't quite get you, awkward. <laughs> okay, okay, it's fine, it's fine. Somehow I, I still ended up getting them, but I see right down this way, a little crate of power eggs to get. Splus secret, nice find. And it looks like, oh yeah, there's one more person right down here, gotcha. And I think, yeah, we're good to head up. Oh no, oh no, uh, we made it, we made it. And I think, yeah, that's a good lineup. Oh no, uh oh, that Octomander, or Octo Commander looks ready for you. We'll see about that. Boom! <laughs> you did it, that was very cool. They were not ready for us. And then we get to slam right into these crates. Swimming through the ink, dash into the sky, fuzzy Octos tremble. Zip, 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 zip caster. Got it, okay. Octo Sniper, quick find cover. I think we're fine. And then, Oh, 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 wait, got it. I do need to backtrack though, so I can splat these crates. Let's get a couple of extra power eggs out of it, but I'm going to run up here and then, oh, that was good, that was good. And is there anything way up here? You bet there is. Nothing slips by yours, our splatty hero senses. I love how they just hype us up the whole time. Oh, okay, that could have been bad, but it, all I missed was the, uh, what's it called? The one ring. There you go, got it. And then I probably wanna jump up here and didn't do the same deal with these two. Oh, I missed one of them. Gotcha. I think I wanna go up here. Ooh, good move. Okay, let's climb up here then. Try to do a bit of this. Maybe I should just, yeah, go right through them like that. There we go. And then, oh, I somehow missed that. That was sort of silly. Come on, come on, got it, there we go. Now you guys are done for. Cause I can do that, go over here. I'm a little bit slow at the moment. There we go. That took a lot of work. Slapow, there's the key. And the gate's opening too. So I guess we just need to jump up, boom, and finish the level. That was fantastic. I really like the zip caster. Very fun addition to the game. So with that done, I'm gonna, how much did we get out of that one? 1600, we have so many points, but I think that might have been all of the levels here in Site 5, right? No, no, we're still missing one, because there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. There's a 12th one somewhere that I guess I had passed. Oh yeah, right down here. How did I not see this one? Let's go for it right now. You'll go far if you shoot far, send ink flying in all directions and reach the goal. Don't mind if I do. So the last level of the day in this mission, you must use long range weapons to reach the goal. So we're going to be trying the Explosher Splat Bomb to start things off. Oh boy. We'll just enter this one. We're almost at 10,000 power eggs. This might send us over the edge for that. Looks like the first step is easy. Ink the Splat Switch. Oh hey, you made that platform move. Yes we did. Boy, do you see that up there. Okay, so I guess we'll go this way for now. And then, remember we can't use that long range. This is a lot longer range than I would have anticipated for a splasher, especially when that explodes at the end of it. This feels like a pretty powerful weapon. 
Okay. Ooh, ooh, that was good, that was good. Grab that checkpoint, and then all that stuff. See you over here, but I should be able to get rid of you without too much of an issue. Octo Troopers are just hanging out. One more time, got it. Whoa, the wall un uh, just opened, yeah, okay. So, I might toss, oh no, that's right, I don't have my uh, little buddy here. Come on, there we go. That was a little scary, I might wanna refill just a little bit, but. I'm trying to reach those. They're sort of tough targets to reach, I gotta really point it up there. I don't think there's anything back there. Yeah, no crate is safe from us. How do I do this one? Oh, you know what? Oh no, that worked, Never mind. There's the way forward. I was gonna just throw a splat bomb, but if that works, it works. Okay. There we go, that was so cool. Maybe I did a little too soon because now I can't get these. Ah, uh, well, it's fine. Get these three pretty easily. I'm sort of starting to figure this out. What does this say? I see the gold just quick climb up those ramps and we're done. Sure, but Agent 3 has to clear the plaza of all the Octarians first and they're plenty full. Okay, so I think we can handle it. If we uh, do a little bit of that and then this one over there. Because the thing that makes it so long range is that the shot itself goes really far. So if you can aim the lobs correctly, as you can see, you can get quite a lot of easy splats. Well, one more time. Maybe not. There we go. There's our path forward. Let's get climbing. Okay, that shouldn't be too big of a deal. Fly up like that. And, that crate real quick. That's gonna be some armor for us. So, we do get in a bind. I think we'll be fine. Oh no, oh no, not another Octo Sniper. We've been seeing those guys a lot recently. Octo Snipers and Octo Troopers or whatever. I see you up there. That's a pretty easy takedown now. Okay, ready for this. One more time, or one more time for real. There we go, eat a Octo Sniper. All right then, so that is another level completed. You're on top of the world, at least the small part of the world. Nice work, Agent 3. So there we go, that is the final level of Site 5 completed, or Site 4, wherever we are. No, Site 5. <laughs> We've been making it really quick, so easy to lose track. Okay, so you'll go far if you shoot far is completed. That's gonna get us over 10,000 power eggs. And all we're looking for now is that there should be one more secret to find somewhere around here before we're done with today's episode. Let's see if we can't find it. Gonna be over here maybe? Not quite. And I swear that I looked at this area really thoroughly, so. It's gotta be around here though, so. I guess I didn't look thoroughly enough. Oh, here it is. There we go, so is that everything? No, it's not, there is still something glowing around, so hopefully me and little buddy can find something. They're just chilling out at the moment, but it's gotta be around somewhere. Oh, so maybe I checked too soon, because now it's not saying that there is anything there. So yeah, I think we're good. And I don't quite have enough Sardinium to get to this, but I think next episode we will, hopefully. We still, of course, have Site 6 to check out, um, and hopefully there's a lot there then. But if we take a look at everything else, it seems like we've gone level one through 13 completed here, and now all we have to do is check out our, our turnal log, right over here, log 005, um, fresh intelligence awakens. As the inner walls of Alterna collapsed, thousands of tons of rock and liquid crystal plunged into the waters below. As these crystals washed and to and fro among the floatsam and jetsam of humanity's former colony, they broke into microscopic fragments. Because they had repeatedly absorbed and reflected humanity's wishes over so many years, the crystals retained those feelings. Little by little, the squids, octopuses, and assorted sea creatures that thrived in the waters of Alterna absorbed these crystals into their bodies. This process continued until one day, the marine organisms began to feel something, something fresh. These feel fresh impulses bore a striking resemblance to humanity's passive desire to return to the Earth's surface. Spurred by these impulses, and whatever else may have been floating in the polluted waters, the sea creatures began to evolve rapidly. Each species developed pulmonary respiration, mobility, and other traits consistent with land-dwelling creatures. They began to adapt. Their intelligence grew at a remarkable pace across generations. Some species even gained extraordinary camouflage capabilities. A point of no return arrived. The sea creatures of Alterna set foot on dry land and never looked back. Like humans, they strove for the surface. 
house. Of course, survival on land was harsh, but the creatures were persistent. Soon, they found the tunnels that humans used to escape the apocalypse. With their path forward now clear, these fresh fledgling beings left the ruins of Alterna behind and set their sights on the surface world. Wow! So that is the story of the Inklings and all the other creatures that we see running around in the Splatoon world. That is so interesting that we now have that backstory and sort of that insight on how this world came to be in that way. That is super duper interesting. I can only imagine this might be the last um, area that we need to tackle before we finish the game. Is this one the, the farthest out? Sure feels like it. What was that in the water? I thought I saw something. Uh-oh. I'm sure we'll find out when we get there, for better or for worse. Whoa. Huh, I see lots of sea, but there's hardly any land. I wonder how long it's been like this. Oh, hey. I'm getting a whole bunch of readings from the top of that weird building over there. That's gotta be Gramps. Come on, Agent 3, let's go. So yeah, this is the Happiness Research Lab. So we will do our best to explore everything in this area and hopefully we'll do pretty well. So I already had this balloon hanging out here, so I probably don't wanna go for that immediately though. Let's take a look. So there is a lot to tackle here. So it seems like we're on the top of buildings that have been sunken under the sea, which is pretty crazy. Let's fill up all of this as much as we can, as per usual. We're looking for one more uh, Sardinium to unlock our next sort of upgrade slot, so that'll be pretty cool. But I could try for this. I don't know if I'm gonna actually be able to get it. I'm guessing no, but you know, worth trying. Boom, get that one a little bit. Then we'd have to go way over there, so <laughs> I'll try it for it right now. Ready? Gotcha. And then, oh uh, no. I don't think that's gonna reach. Uh, <laughs> yeah, not gonna reach. So we'll have to go back. But it's interesting how many little areas we could skip. Wait, how do I go back? Because this is just one way, isn't it? It is just one way. That's weird. Uh, Can I jump back over? Huh, I was not expecting that. So I guess I might just have to fall off. Why are the rails one way? That doesn't feel very useful. Okay, we're back here though. Back on your feet, yep. So let's actually explore this area a little bit. This is what I wanna do. We have over 10,000 power eggs right now, so we can get through a lot of this super duper easily. Oh, I guess there are some return rails, and we get our first golden record pretty quick. So that'll help add to the music a bit here, but more than that, we have some little side paths to check out, and we have our first level waiting for us too. This is going to be Bet, bet You Missed Us, defeat the enemy sneaking around in the mist and reach the goal. Okay, in this mission, you must defeat your enemies and open the heavily secured goal with the hero gear. I wanna make sure we're filling up what we can. We're at level 95 right now, and I wanna try to get to 100. That would be pretty cool, right? Defeat the enemy sneaking around in the mist and reach the goal. So last time we had this, it was actually fog. Wait, that's like the end right there, isn't it? it? Seems like it, but I don't think we can do anything with it just yet. Let's try getting up here. Anything fun waiting for me? Not really. All right. <laughs> well, I'm glad I checked either way. We can't get in in any way, so we'll have to just move forward with the level and try to find a way through. Uh, oh, oh no, oh no, you know what? Boom, I'm gonna splash one of them pretty quick, but yeah, I'll go for you. I think that was the only two around here, so that's pretty good to clear those out pretty quickly, because those can be tough enemies. Yeah, let's call you back. Let's see what's going on with this. We got ourselves some armor that I'm definitely going to make the most of. Oh no. Yeah, I'm sure the difficulty is really gonna start stepping up here soon enough. Whoa, there we go. Small fry helping out. But I might wanna try some other stuff here. Like we have a splop on. I missed it. Ooh, you had the octo roller there, so that was a little scary. Ah, wait, there's another one. Okay, that was pretty good, pretty good. Gotcha. So far, not too bad, we're clearing them out. I don't think I missed any boxes or anything, so yeah, let's keep it moving. Okay. Pop a lot of that stuff. And ooh, I might save that Trizuka for when we really need it here because we can deal with most of these guys just like that. Ooh, wait, there's two of them on top of me right now. Gotcha, and gotcha. That was a little scary. I lost my armor, but it's okay. So these enemies, if they do not mess around, they really wanna beat us up. Gonna grab that armor. And then once we get up here, I might whip out the Trizuka. Ready, and... Ooh, I miss, I miss, and yeah, I miss. Yeah, not really worth it. <laughs> Where did you go? There was somebody over here. 
Ooh, there's a bunch of people over here. Okay, come on. Oh no. Oh, they're behind me. Get out of here. That was ridiculous. I think that's it for right now, but ooh, we do get the, the rain cloud. Which I guess I'll move forward this way. Oh no. You know what, yeah, now's the perfect time just to throw that up there. Don't you dare, don't you dare. And they're trying to jump away. Not on my watch. Wait, 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 gotcha. And there's one more hanging out somewhere. Where'd you go, where'd you go? I think you're right over here, right? I'm chasing you down. Oh no, no, no. We're fine, oh, there's two of them actually. Gotcha, and gotcha. There we go, awesome. And that's gonna leave the door open for us to complete this level. So the first mission, already pretty intense, with lots of enemies sneaking around that mist, but we got through it. Okay, so with that done, our first level of the day complete, and do we wanna go that way or this way? That's where things get a little bit confusing, but for right now, I'll just try to get up here and clear out whatever we can. If it's anything like the last couple of episodes, there have been tons of levels, so we get ourselves another lamp decoration. We've been getting a few of those too, but this way we can backtrack to where we were, and can break these open no problem. Got it, and that's gonna be our first Sardinium of the day, and one of the most important ones because it should allow us to unlock our new section of hero gear. So first off, spend our five Sardinium right there, and that'll be the better sensor. Automatically marks objects even in kid form. The scan reaches a bit further while submerged in ink. So we'll upgrade that for sure. We should have enough for this next one right down this way. Suit recovery up. Further increases the recovery rate of your suit after it's broken by enemy ink. So that'll be really, really useful. So we just have one more left to get, but unfortunately it is quite expensive. We'll need five more Sardinium. Will we be able to find all that in today's episode though? Will there really be that much Sardinium waiting around? Or maybe I've missed them. I really hope I haven't, but I guess we'll end up finding out one way or another. So it looks like we'll have a path over there. I'm a bit curious of, of over that way. It looks like there's another level we can find. Oh, so it looks like Callie might have some stuff for us too. So what's the best way back over to her? I guess just going back like this. Yeah, this is probably the way to go. But well, I'm very unlikely to do the levels in order. It's just, it's just hard too with this many different paths to go. But first off, let's talk to Callie and then we'll maybe try some levels over that way. Uh, hi, Callie. Uh, sorry, I splashed her. <laughs> she doesn't want to talk to me. Uh, there you go. Guess what? I've got some extra power eggs for you, courtesy of the captain. They said, you're welcome. Well, there we go, 100 more points. So we're still over 10,000 here. And can I jump off from there? I don't know if I trust that. That didn't look like a jump I could make, but I might try again later. Uh, hmm, yeah, that was certainly odd. There's a lot of stuff and you found something. What was it? Right here, it is another locker decoration. Um, this time it looks like a little server kind of thing. Interesting, some kind of computer thing for sure. And we could try this level. You know what, yeah, let's go for it. This is going to be keep it rolling, reach the goal using a roller. Sounds pretty simple. Okay, come on, we gotta be able to do this one uh, with the splat roller. In this mission, you must use a roller to defeat your enemies and reach the goal. We honestly haven't been using the roller too much in this story mode, it just hasn't popped up too much, so this is a little bit refreshing, if you ask me. Okay, so let's go for it. Reach the goal using a roller. First splash you got already with the Octarians, yeah. This looks like a sweet spot to hold ZR down and just go to town with the roller. That's exactly what I'm doing. Just gotta be careful with that because sometimes you can run out of ink pretty easily. Roller doesn't just roll, tap CR for a horizontal swing um, or jump and press CR. So yeah, pretty good. Oh wait, gotcha. I might just suit up a little bit, throw out one of those, and then jump and boom, get you covered. They didn't even notice me. Hello, gotcha. But we don't move too fast with the roller at first. We need to like build up some speed. I got th those two. I can at least get you a little bit. There we go. There's another chance to fling that ink. Whoa, somehow dodge those shots. Are you turning into a roller main? I, I don't think so, but I'll try my best. Okay, we're going, we're going. Ooh, that was good. Two for one, count it. Okay, ready? That's it, much better. And then slash U2. And that's gonna be some extra armor for us. I'm definitely going to make the most of that. We're gonna roll with that roller, <laughs> nice one. Come on, and a little bit more. Got it, 
That's gonna be 15 extra points for us, which is always nice. So I need to get rid of each of these Octarians. Not too bad. Now we gotta launch way up here and boom, gotcha. That was close, I wasn't expecting one to be hiding right there. Watch your footing here, Agent 3. Okay, this is looking a little tricky, but I think we'll be all right. Got it, okay. This is where things can be a bit of a problem, but if I just fill up on ink really quickly, go over that way, I can maybe do something, but maybe this isn't the way to go about it. Because I could, yes, sneak to the side. Ooh, you found a way around. Whoa, hey, <laughs> that was scary. Ha, never let your guard down. Octarian, because <laughs> they're hairy, I get it. All right, so now that we're behind them, we can at least sneak, sneak up on a couple of them, get some good hits in. Oh no, wait, gotcha. But there's still more here. So uh, maybe I could do that. I don't know if that really worked too much. It sort of did. Problem is I get one of their attention. And the rest of them come running over, or at least facing towards me, but I can just, wait, gotcha. So that's all of them, sweet. Always nice to pick up some power eggs for your efforts. Yep, glad to grab those. The music here is so much fun, I love it. And one last balloon for the road. There it is, I'll roll this into there, and we are good. So we're rolling around with the roller, not too bad. Glad to pick up a classic weapon. So there we go. Ooh, tons of points. So we'll be able to immediately use those right there. And that's gonna cover a lot of ground. We'll even be able to climb up there really quickly. Just wanna make sure that getting our bases covered in the meantime. What's gonna be in this one then? It's gonna be our first sunken sea scroll of the day, number 21. Seems these are instructions on how to mummify an inkling. Maybe in olden times, inklings thought if they preserved their bodies after death, they could be revived someday? But that's, well, there's no way this is a real one stuck here, right? No, of course it isn't, right? Oh, that's creepy and scary. I don't like having it off this page. I don't wanna see that again. All right then, so one upgrade point for that, which is pretty nice. And with that, we can go over here. Look at that. So we figured it out. We could we could get over this way. We'll definitely, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I have to cover this up. That was close. But oh, this is very glowy. I like that. Okay, so let's figure out what we can do around here. It looks like it's just gonna be this level. The enemy ink is lava. Reach the goal without touching enemy ink at all. Ooh, this one might be a bit of a challenge. In this mission, you must reach the goal with the time limit without, or within the time limit without touching any enemy ink. So I only have the the rollers to survive through this. Reach the goal without touching enemy ink at all. Whatever you do, don't touch the bad guy's ink. So let me charge up again, because that wasn't so good. You only get one curling bomb per area. Watch your aim. Uh, uh oh. So do I just have to restart? I guess so, um, unless I can make a crazy jump, but I don't think that's gonna happen. So I wish they could have told me that maybe a moment sooner. <laughs> that would have been great. So let's run up and just do a quick tap. There we go. Much better, much better. Okay, so refill our ink, and then can I make that jump? Do I wanna risk it? I don't think I do. There we go, so now just follow the path the bomb made and hope for the best. Come on, come on, come on, jump! <laughs> this is scary. Uh, careful, if you hold R during your charge, it'll get bigger, but it won't travel as far. So this way's more difficult, but we do get some uh, stuff out of it. Come on, come on. Yes! It's too bad you can't throw out a few more, huh? I know, that'd make it way easier. Oh, that is so scary, but we did a great job with that one. And what about this? If you gotta cancel out of a curling bob, transform by hitting ZL, then like go of R. Okay, that's a good idea. Whoa. Oh, also, I can look up like that. Gotcha. So I think right there, yeah, that was good. That's that. Better get going. I'm trying. Gotta jump over that side. There we go. Never doubted you for a minute. Well, thank you very much. What's going on with this one? Ooh, a bunch of them. That's the end, but look at that mess. Okay, so grab that checkpoint at the least. That's good. Oh my. Uh, that twirling wall is annoying. I think what we're supposed to do here is bounce off of that. Oh, I think I did it. Maybe. Uh, sort of? Oh, I'm supposed to jump onto this wall. Whoa, that was so close. That was awesome, though. 
Okay, for this one, we do technically have multiple tries. I need to go across there, then I, over that way. I uh, really got to throw, time to throw here, huh? So I think, it seems simple, but it's not really. I think I need to go this way first. Yeah, that's definitely the move there. And then from here, I think we just throw it straight like that. I think that was a good move. I'm trying to be really careful and making really specific decisions. So do I backtrack? I think I might want to backtrack. So I'm trying to get a good look at what exactly I'm trying to get to, you know? And I think that this is the way. So if I toss that over, oh no, oh no. Ooh, this is where things get risky. I need to do that and then jump over. Whoa, that was a move. That was crazy. How did I even do that? I like turned and then did like, yeah, like a cool jump with that. I didn't even know you could do that. That was awesome. Oh, and we get a little refill right there. Come on, it's the final checkpoint. Can we use this moving thingy somehow? I would sure hope so. And this one I might have to, oh no, oh no. Oh, now I'm in trouble. Maybe I should, <laughs> mission failed, he touched the enemy's ink. How do we do this one? This might be one, yeah, with my last life here. Maybe it's not worth risking. I think we're gonna go this way instead. So I do not wanna redo the whole thing. Oh, that actually went over it? Okay, good to know. Got it, and I'm just gonna jump, jump. Ow, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, there's the end, that was so close. Almost there, you got this. I don't know if that was a good idea. Oh no, ooh. Wait a minute, jump for it. Okay, not bad, actually. Come on, this is our only chance with this one. Oh no, I don't know if that was good or not. We're gonna find out. Get it, whoa, no way, no way. Ah, oh, now I'll have to do the whole thing over. That really stinks. Oh, actually, I don't have to do the whole thing over. I thought I did, Never mind. Uh, I'm just here, okay, I'll take it. Gotta land on this thing. Even though this is a bit different from last time. I wonder if I could just, ah, it's not worth it. It's not worth the risk. We're just gonna go. See, I, I really did think that that was it, but I can do that and just go straight across. That one was super simple. But if I do wanna time this correctly, what I gotta do is jump. And then I think I can make that just barely in time. We're gonna try that one. Ooh. Okay, let's see what we can do with this. Got it, jumping across. Now this is the jump that's a bit scary. Ah, yeah, not quite. That's a shame. I don't know how to do that one exactly, but you don't get much room for error now, do you? Okay, so we're going, no, 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 I know about that. We're going this way again. I need to jump onto this thing. And then I might wanna just jump across from over there. So, ready, got it. And we're good. So doing, no wait, that's not what I wanted. Oh no. Oh no, come on. Ooh, okay, that was at least a little bit better. I don't know if it was enough though. It is so tough, but I think I could. No, and I, ah, oh, that is so frustrating. Just, it's hard to do that kind of specific movement. Ooh, I made it, I made it. I can't believe that jump. Wow, that was ridiculous. But we made it to the end, and now I can end the level. That was amazing, not bad. All right, that definitely took me a good couple of tries, but there we go, we got through it. So with that done, I think we definitely need to double back and explore some of the other levels, but 1900 for all that trouble. Is there anything else left to find in this area? Doesn't look like it. So yeah, we can leave this one in the dust and try out some of the other spots. So up on top of that building is where I think we'll find our next level that we've yet to complete. And it doesn't look like there's anything more here. So yeah, let's go for all of this. Where we have, oh, there's actually no level on this one. Okay, over there there's a level and up here. So let's try this one out. I was trying to do things at like a little sections of a time, but that could be a little bit challenging. Uh, 1200 for that is no problem. I'm all 
Uh, small fry's working on that. I'm just trying to fill everything else out a little bit. It doesn't look like there's too much here for us though. So let's try breaking this open. And this is going to be Torture Tour. Fight your way to the goal. This one sounds scary. So what kind of level is called Torture Tour? In this mission, you'll be greeted by various and sundry types of enemies. Prepare accordingly. So we'll keep with the hero gear for now, but geez, I am definitely a bit worried about this one. Okay, so, fire your way to the goal. Okay, it is way too quiet in here. Be ready for anything. I'm waiting for it. I already see some enemies poke around the corner. There they are. Okay, uh, and somebody's over here. Wow, they are all over the place. So I just need to move it, I think, for the time being. Got it? That can't be it, right? I think there's gonna be another one on this side. Or maybe that's just a crate with stuff in it. Yep, okay, we're good, Never mind. Oh, here you are, here you are. Try to sneak up on me. Try to sneak up on you. There's one camping out above you. Climb down and fight fair, you coward. Okay, oh, not the bouncers. Okay, I think with this, we might just have to, yeah, throw out a distraction like that, get you a little bit, and then we gotta move. Whoa, got it. They are still moving towards a little small fry friend, so there we go, much better. Jeez. And that'll be a key for us, which we use to open up something. Key nabbed. Where do we use that? Let's go back and take a look. Oh, right over here, I didn't even see all this. So open that up and we will get, oh no. Uh, how about, I can see that something's ahead, right? Let's see that. Whoa, it said I'm flying. Let's do another one, because I know that they're over there. Boom, okay, that got at least a couple of them. Very cool, very cool. And there's more coming in. That was good. Awesome, so what was that? The ultra stamp, time to fly in and splat in them. All right then, what's down this way? Oh, I thought I just fell on my doom for a second. So I don't know when to use that. I might save it for when things are looking really scary. But I don't think we've used that one yet. Oh no, ooh, that could have been better. Gotcha. All right, so. Ooh, that still got me, darn. Thought I backed up enough, but not really. Time to jump over to this side. Lots of uh, power eggs to get at the least, so that's good. Very plentiful level. Okay, do I want to use this or now? Whoa, I just threw it. A trizuka? Now we're talking. So you know what, yeah, let's let's use these while we get the chance to because it seems like our chance might leave pretty quickly. Um, no, wait. I think I need to get up here. Splat you and your friend right down there. Oh no. But right away, there's this more coming straight for us. <laughs> but this one's locked off again. And the gold must be hiding behind this vault. We don't have the key. Ugh. Okay, gotta move, gotta move, gotta move. Oh, not good. I think I wanna just hop up here, sneak up on you, and then maybe just super slam? That's not gonna reach. Unfortunate. It's fine. But I think that'll have the key for us. So now we're gonna go back. You got the key, phew. I didn't realize I was holding my breath. Can you get out of here now? I'll try my best. So obviously somebody's waiting for me, but I think we can splat them before they can splat us. What about the rest of them now? Whoa. All right then, so maybe not too much torture there. We were able to survive it, but geez, that was definitely tough. All right, so torture tour is completed. And a lot of points for us there too, so. Is there anything more around this platform that we need to grab? It doesn't look like it, so I guess we can only really do one thing, and that is to take this ink rail all the way up to the big building. And there's a lot to cover up around here. There is going to be somewhere, there it is, uh, another golden uh, record. That'll pick up the music a bit more. And what about up this way? Oh, it's sort of playing, whoa, here we go. Nice, we get ourselves a, I forget what that's called, but yeah, just sort of an archway. There's a specific name for it, I think. So we're finding lots of cool stuff here. We have sort of hotel music playing, it feels like. I'm gonna toss that over like that. And that's gonna be another pathway out that way. Uh, we'll do that soon enough, because that is another level to tackle. But for now, if there's one waiting for us, we might as well try this. Octarian Heights, climb the enemy-filled tower to reach the goal. Let's get started. Okay, so what's next? In this mission, you must break through your enemy's defenses and reach the goal. Okay, 
so defeating more Octarian enemies doesn't seem like too big of a deal to me. I think we can handle it. On the enemy field tower to reach the goal. Lots of enemy just blasting. Oh, oh, I see how this works. I think we're just gonna be combined, confined to like one room. Oh gosh, I can't really reach them very easily. It doesn't yeah, go out that far. Uh, but oh, we're going down? Uh-oh, I can't quite reach you. There's a wall in between us right now. Huh, I guess I'm just waiting. That's all I have to survive to make it through this level, huh? Okay, uh, doors open. Looks like we have to, we have a surprise waiting. Oh man. Let's go with one of those and hide back a little bit if I can. Oh no, no, no. The goal is above you. You just have to climb this nightmare tower of death somehow. Well, let's try to make it around the perimeter first where there's enemies all over waiting. Yes, looks like there's an entryway from behind. Whoa, and they are just popping up all over the place. It's crazy. Ah, oh, that didn't quite get him. That's unfortunate. But I do see you up here, come on. That's a great chance to get you, so glad we took it. And I guess we're good to head up here. Wait. Oh no. That was both of them, pretty well too. I'm actually gonna switch back to little buddy and see if we can't cause a distraction that way. Seems like it worked. Oh no. Little buddy, uh, I'm gonna toss you up there if I can. That didn't really work the way I wanted it to. Wait, gotcha? And then these two, maybe. I got one of them. I'm gonna call my little buddy back. I could go up that way or I could plop back down to finish you off. There we go. I wanna try to make sure we get every single one of them. So back up here now. I haven't seen any more enemies, but I'm sure they're popping up soon. Anyone else picking up some real sinister vibes here? Okay, so we do have uh, the triple ink strike. Yeah, something rough is coming up. You can throw the three strikes, make them count. Okay, whoa, uh, that's not what I wanted to do, but uh, I guess that's what we're doing. Oh man, can I throw one more? There we go, it sort of worked. Oh wait, no, it didn't work, that didn't even count. Okay, so I don't think I can reach them anymore. <laughs> That's sort of a shame. I'll try. Come on, come on. Oh, that, that reached. It got one of them. There's another. And another, come on. Gotcha. I didn't get this one though. Oh, come on, that was silly. Why can't I get you? I'm not letting you survive this one. How? What are you talking about? Why is the game so ridiculous all of a sudden? Come on, that's gotta reach you. All right, one more time, and if not, we're leaving, because this is just silly. There we go, finally. Geez, that was ridiculous. All right, we're out of here, see ya. Sorry, can I do the normal way? I just fell over and just didn't give me enough time. Okay. Okay, so Octarian Heights is completed, and it looks like next up is the boss fight, but we're not gonna be doing that now, of course. We'll be, we'll be saving that for later. Hey, do you have a favorite Squid Sisters track? I can't choose just one. They're also great, so yeah, we need to find some other ways around, like down this way. Oh, and there's a lot to clear out from around here. So yeah, plenty left for today's episode. Let's check out what this is. It's gonna be another Sardinium. We still need quite a few more though. And I think defeating the boss will give us a couple too. So let's try this out. This is Mission Fly Fishing. Fly with the inkjet, inkjet to reach the goal. Okay, so in this mission, you'll use the inkjet to overcome various challenges and reach the goal. Sounds like a plan to me. So we're just using the inkjet for now. Okay, so fire at will. There we go, ooh, got rid of you. So this is our first time using the inkjet in Splatoon 3 as well. Lots of firsts, right? So, go. Oh, I guess it just goes on forever, which is pretty cool too. Oh yeah, that's right, I need to go over these and they'll burst this up a little bit. So I guess I was supposed to use a crate in a different way. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, oh, I got up, I got up. Very cool, so now I can grab that and get the checkpoint. Remember, you can press B to get a little extra lift. I tried, it didn't work. So maybe I should. That didn't work either. That's sort of weird, right? Uh, I'm, just, I'm just gonna try to go straight across. Okay, that just barely worked. My gosh. 
Okay, then. Uh, you can swim with ZL. You won't lose your inkjet. Okay, you're going to have to figure out a way to get past those ink sticks. Agent one, Agent three basically has a jetpack. I think they can do it. I sure hope so. Uh, see, I can boost across that one a little bit, but then I need to swim under this and then boost over that. Oh, just barely. Oh, just barely. I knew you could do it. Thank you. Awesome. So what's going on around here? Because I don't have any lives left. Uh, I see some platforms below us. Don't look down or maybe do. Might be helpful. Gotcha. So I definitely want to do a little boost before every every jump between platforms. Because if not, things get quite scary. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Come on, come on. Oh man, we almost didn't make it. So yeah, extend that out. Oh no. Ooh, I just barely, just barely made that. That was scary. Ooh, what's going on now? Deep breath. You got this. I sure hope so. Ooh, send them all flying. Yeah, this has some nice big explosive shots, so you'd think we'd be able to handle this pretty well. Oh no. Come on. One more. These guys wiggle around so much, it's so hard to hit them. There we go. Not the bouncers. Come on. I'm trying to like time when they bounce, but it's hard. The the shot speed is still something to get used to. That's all of them. Look for a launch pad. Well, I do see it right over there. Once again, I'm trying my best not to get taken out here because if so, we'll have to do the whole level over. But there's still so much more. Final checkpoint. Auto snipers ahead. Be careful. And I guess we won't have to do the whole thing over. Oh no. Uh, I don't think I can reach them with my attacks just yet. So we're just gonna move. Uh, ooh, so if I hit that, somehow I didn't. That's gonna hit it. Oh, we got it, okay. And it's all fallen. There we go, we did it. <laughs> so I'll blast out real quickly, and then we are good to go. Let's get out of this one. Jeez, that was crazy. But yeah, lots of fun with the ink chat. So fly fishing is finished with another 1600. We're gonna have so many power eggs. I don't know what we're doing with all these to be honest with you, but there was some extra stuff down that way. I don't know if we should hop down and do that now. Cause I guess I could have done it before. Whoa, this was a mistake. <laughs> that was most definitely a mistake. I wonder if, can I take fall damage just by falling around there? I'm not really sure. Oh no, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to hop down the other way. I got a little turned around. <laughs> This isn't very productive, is that what I was trying to do? Luckily, we don't lose any points for falling around here. Uh, I don't know if I can make that jump either. Ooh, come on! I don't think we're supposed to get down that way, so we'll, we'll try to find some other way around for that one. Uh, and I could just jump over, right? Where am I? I'm right here, can jump to this thing. Jump, because we've already done this level. And is there anything more I need to find on this? It's not, so at this point, if I can, Bust those open and find something that way. That's exactly what we're looking for. Okay, there's gotta be something chilling around here. Hmm. I do see that. Ooh, be sure to pick that up. Ooh, look at this, it's another uh, sunken sea scroll. This is number 22. After leaping from Angopolis Square to the world stage, Off The Hook has found their new side project, performing vocals for a rising rock band um, as Damp Socks featuring Off The Hook. Discovered online, their super talented collaborators offer an upbeat mel melancholy sound that had OTH hooked. That is so cool. I'm glad to see, you know, we get to see what Off The Hook is doing because they're my favorite out of the three different sort of, uh, I guess, idol groups. And hopefully we see them at some point in this story mode, but I don't know, at this point I have a feeling they won't show up. So maybe for a DLC or something. Either way, looks like we're going off this way. There is a level to complete here, so we could focus on that one for now, but I definitely want to, ooh, find what I can. This is gonna be some more uh, table turf battle cards. Which we'll do eventually, for sure. But for right now, I'm gonna bust that open for 1200 power eggs. And that's gonna be another piece of Sardinium. Glad to have that one. Okay, so let's see what this level's gonna be all about. This is dive and dash, reach the goal within the time limit. Okay, so dive and dash, in this mission, you must reach the goal within the time limit using the Aerospray MG Burst Bomb. Ooh, the Aerospray is one of my favorite weapons ever. Look at that turf coverage, so good. 
Let's see how this goes. Reach the goal within the time limit, so let's start moving. Ready for this, pressure's on, Agent 3. Okay, whoa, this is gonna be like a little, whoa, the timer's activated, go, go, go. So for right now, I guess our goal is just to swim. Whoa, yeah, okay, this seems to be pretty doable so far. I gotta jump, and then, whoa, I gotta splat that for some reason. Oh, that's making a huge chain effect. We have 10 seconds remaining. Really? Whoa, I got a checkpoint. That's gonna add extra time. Gotcha. So far, I haven't actually needed to use the weapon so far. I guess I could get jump up like that for little shortcuts. Okay, this is where we could, yes, squid surge, whoa! <laughs> that was awesome. Nice catch, thank you. All right then, so I'm gonna go up here. Couple more seconds left, but I think we can make it because we get another checkpoint. Oh no. See, this is where we really gotta move. Oh, don't get left behind. I'm trying not to. These things move quick. Trying to cut those corners. I can climb up here. I don't know if it's worth squid surging for that one, but we can start spraying these two as well. Catch up, go, go, go. Ooh. Oh, okay. I could have gone the other way for something. What was that? Just an extra couple of orbs. Okay. Not too big of a deal. Oh, I wonder. I could shortcut it. What's going on here? The whole thing is tilting. Whoa! Come on! We got it! That was great. Some extra time is added. Octo missiles incoming. That's gonna be a problem, but I think we can dodge them pretty easily. Just like that. Yeah, we got it. Oh, I missed an, uh, an egg. That's okay. Okay. I might want to try something like that, but even better is that. Let's see. Get ready for a squid roll. Whoa, wait a minute, no! Ah, oh, that stinks. I guess I just didn't hit that at the right angle. That's okay, we're, we're not starting too far back. The Octa missiles are incoming again. Oh, okay, that didn't work out. That didn't work out at all. This part certainly is difficult. Come on, I just gotta recover. There we go. Okay, I learned my lesson from last time now. Gotta jump over this, splat that thing, you're gonna explode. I gotta hit both of these boost pads, and I jumped, I swear that I did, it just didn't quite work. It's okay though, because that is still the end of the level. What a fun little race that was. I really like the short racing ones, they're, they're pretty fun. All right, so we're back. Finished the dive and dash, and I think we're good to move forward. I'll double check the map. And it looks like there is something around, but I think that's on the upper part. So I think for now, we're good to ride over this way where I already see a couple of things that we can grab, like this little right here. This is gonna be another locker decoration, a little uh, turntable, right? A record player, something like that. And I'll definitely start that one up, but it's gonna bring us way up there. I don't know if I've been over there actually. So I'll we'll have to take a look around. Now what's the deal with all of this? Cause there's quite a lot to sort of figure out. That one only costs a thousand, which with what we have right now is no problem. There is so much ground to cover here. I've noticed though that our thing isn't going up anymore. I guess 99 really is the maximum. Well, this side. Yeah, there's what we're trying to get to, inevitably. But even though I keep shooting stuff up, it, it's not really getting me anything. So I think that we've actually, more or less, reached the end of it. Can I get that? Okay, he's just chilling up, up, up out there. I don't think I can. Yeah, I don't know how we get to that one, but not through here, that's for sure. Either way, we have a level ready and waiting for us. This is conserve ink splat sustainably. Reach the goal before running out of ink. This mission will test your resourcefulness. You must use the limited amount of ink to reach the goal. We have splash o -matic. It's probably not a good idea to do this, but now I'm doing it out of habit. So unless I absolutely have to, Let's see, careful, if you run out of ink, that's it, no refills. So, I'll try to splat some enemies like that and then just try to maybe avoid them. If I don't need to fight, I should probably avoid fighting. Oh man, this whole area is very stressful. So this might be, ah, more about being stealth here. If I could hop up here, there we go. Ooh, that was some good moves actually, because we got through a lot of that without actually having to fight very much. Oh no, 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 wait, 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 ow. That's a problem. Okay, they don't seem to notice me. I don't know if that's worth it, but I'm, I'm so greedy. Ah, uh, wait, wait, wait. Oh no, I might have to get rid of you. Only one quarter tank left. This is tough. I definitely need to wait here and sort of uh, get a bit of a, yeah, recovery. Uh, how come we're not there yet? 
Okay, come on. Go, 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 go. Got it, got it. I mean, I can walk through this stuff and not take damage, right? I guess. It's pretty wild up ahead. Okay, just keep running. I think if we just keep running forward, yeah, they can't really get us. Yeah, we're fine. Oh no, this is where it gets wild for sure. Uh, okay, so I was able to sort of fool them there. Oh no, this is where things get risky. Okay, okay, I'm fine, I'm fine, I think. Because this inkbrush actually paints things to our color, which is great. Come on, come on, come on, no, 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 no. Wait, 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 just gotta keep running, gotta keep running. Okay, you're gonna fire at me from over there. Oh no. Now you, I might have to be a bit more careful of. Okay, these guys are just gonna fire right at me. <laughs> there we go. No, that's not worth it, that's not worth it. Come on, keep it going, keep it going. I'm so low on ink here and I need to just be really careful. If I can just run through the whole thing, they are all on top of me and everything. Where do I go from here? Oh, up this way, this way, this way, this way. Ready, jump for it! That was wild. Now you just gotta get to the end. I'm almost there, keep it the pace. We'll be out of here in no time. There it is. The captain's all like, that was pretty good, but you, there's still no, you are still no me. Okay, do I have enough to get through this? Luckily I do. Wow, imagine if I didn't, that would have been rough. Okay, so for a first time bonus, we get 1,900. Well worth it. Okay, so with that one done, tons of rewards. What else do we wanna do around here? I think, yeah, for this side, there's not too much. We just need to find a way onto that thing, which I don't see a way onto it at all. So I can't ink anything over here to the side of it. There's no platform on the side of the wall or something. I think this might just be, oh, over there. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, maybe I've overcomplicated this. We can hop onto, no, no, no. Why? Why? I tried to jump out. The game literally would not let me. Okay, trying again. Hop it on the, was that the wrong one? That might've been the wrong one. All I want is this one. There we go. Okay, so with all of this, I can break this level open. We'll hop into that in just a moment. Just wanna make extra sure, is there anything? Doesn't look like yet. So yeah, we're good. Let's try out this level. That sinking feeling Reach the goal quickly. Okay, here we go. In this mission, you must reach the goal at the top. Splushomatic burst bomb is our combo. I gotta stop doing this, it doesn't give me any extra points. And we only have one life for this one, so. Whoa, that's a lot. So it looks like you're gonna have to go all the way around, then climb up to the top. Well, at least you won't get lost. Whoa, I like the, the cues moving around, that looks so awesome. Okay, so this one's pretty to the point. We'll get some armor. Whoa, uh, the floor is sinking. Wait, why is the floor sinking? I know, right? Okay, so let's get up quick then. And this is why it said we needed to be fast about everything. It's uh, still sinking. We gotta be quick. Got it. Jeez, I'm trying to be as fast as I can here, but it is really fast with the sinking. Okay, wait a minute. Yeah, grab that stuff and then go. Ooh. I might toss something like that over. There we go. Maybe that's a better move. Gotcha. Okay. And some extra armor that I don't know if we need too much. Whoa, things are sliding too? That was crazy. And I might be able to make this jump. That was pretty good actually. Oh no, oh no, oh no, I'm gonna have to leave that one. Sorry. Ooh, come on, just get up. No, 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 get up, get up, get up. The whole place is falling apart right now. I just gotta go. Uh, I can see the top, that's good. I can't. Almost there. Oh, okay, come on. No, 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 wait, boom, got it. Oh my gosh, that was one of the most intense missions so far. Yikes. All right, so we're back. That sinking feeling, it really felt like sinking. So with that, I, yeah, we, we can hop onto this thing, ride this rail over, and get rid of this huge glob of it. Ready? Right there. And what do we got? Just a pretty simple sunken sea scroll. Ooh, number 23. Operation Little Judd's Judgy Judgment. Praise behavior. Analyzing praise for quality. No imperfections found. I guess I'll just go after the toe beans. I don't know who's writing this one, but interesting. Okay, so yeah, with that done, it looks like that's everything for this area cleared out. We can head back over there and try to find one other 
whatever other levels still need to be completed. Which I guess this way is a way to go. I think on the other side of that building there was some other stuff too. But if there's a level ready and waiting for us, we might as well try it out. I think this will be another golden record, our last one of the area. So yeah, pretty good stuff there. I'm gonna fill that up. And I don't think there'll be anything extra on this. Well, there, no, we, it's saying that there is, so gotta keep looking around just in case. But I think that for the most part, we're just focused on tackling this level. This is don't tease with the keys, find the keys and unlock the path to the goal. In this mission, you must reclaim keys from the enemy forces to unlock and reach the goal. Okay then, so yeah, I guess with this, uh, we'll just do the splatter shot ink mine. Let's give it a try. Oh man, find the keys and unlock a path to the goal. Gah, boxes! Whoa, whoa, those guys are moving. I remember these enemies. It's been a while. Okay, you know what would be perfect right now? Ink mines, which I have. Um, stick them in the tentacook's path, I guess. So these guys sort of roll around real fast. I already put one down, so hopefully that'll catch them. I guess for right now we just have to chase them down now. There's no way to catch them normally, as you can see. They'll just sort of explode us. Oh, that got them, but not enough. So I guess we'll have to put down a couple more. All right, that'll make a bit of a difference, but as you can see, they, they sort of recovered. Oh no. There's one, and that got them that, that time. Awesome. Very cool. <laughs> There's some extra power eggs just sitting in the tree. Did they grow off trees? I guess so. And what's up here? Ah, soak in that view. There's actually quite a lot to do around here, isn't there? I think that's where we're headed. There's a bunch of vaults up there. I'm gonna assume that's what the keys are for. So we have one key so far. Many more left to get. But I do see you, so what if I were to... Oh no, that's not what I wanted. So I can't get anywhere close to them without them going really fast, really far. I'm gonna put one right there, but they're gonna go the other way, so I don't know if that's... Oh, that got them a little bit, but not enough. So you really need to put two in their path. Okay, so I know obviously they wanna wrap back around here, so if I do that, refill, and then put another one down, then I can just chase them all the way around. Or did that get them? I think it did. No, maybe not. Or maybe I can only put down two at a time so that other one exploded. That might have been what it was. As they're wrapping around again, this one's a little exhausting to catch up, but hey, in the meantime, I did miss another power egg. Take that, okay, we got them, that's good. See, it really requires two of them, so we need to scope out exactly where they are and where they're gonna be headed. And another. Is there anything up here for me? Not at the moment. You can see where they are heading off to with this one, right? It looks like both of them wanna go up here, I think? I'm trying not to set them off. And then, yeah, let's think again, maybe here, and then, don't go that way, because I'm actually gonna send you the other direction. And one of them's gonna go, no, oh, you can't both go to the right. No, 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 wait, hold on. That's not what I want at all. I wanna chase them back this way. That's it, that's it, come on. Run, you two, run, run. Oh, I actually spotted them a little bit there, and they're still running. Come on, yes! Oh, that was a juicy one, that's exactly what I was looking for. So that's both of them taken down. Will that be two keys? It won't be, it'll be some uh, power eggs and a key. So that's three of them. Pretty sweet key collection you got there. Well, thank you very much. So, I think if we were to break up some of that stuff. They're running away, which I guess I'll put something there, and then maybe here, and then follow them the long way around. Oh, is there more than one of them again? Oh, I got you anyways. Wow, that'll be the last of them. Well, there was still one more. I gotta fill up an ink, though. Put that all the way up. Okay, so where did this last one go? I don't know. Somehow they're over here now. Whoa, wait a minute. Oh, I was almost there. Got him. Okay, and that's that. Their history. I think that's all of them. Very cool. So some of them we were able to spot without the, the mine, which is pretty nice. I wanna head up here for now. Oh, man. And we're just gonna bust through all these walls so I can use this key. And this key. Got it. This key, so we have one more. This one will have a big chunk of them. Just climb, just a quick climb and we're golden. There we go. So, shoes untied, ha, <laughs> kidding. 
<laughs> All right, well, they're being very silly, uh, but we completed yet another level here in Sight 6. So don't tease with the keys is completed. And what else can we do in this area? It looks like there's something ready and waiting for us. Oh yeah, here we go, you found it. It is another food ticket. Cool. Now what's the deal with everything up here? Gotta be something with all this. 900 more points is no problem. Ooh, okay, so there actually is another level waiting for us up here. Wasn't expecting that, okay. So before we do, yeah, that looks pretty obvious. It's another locker decoration. This time it is a little umbrella. So let's finish filling this out and check out this level. This one is going to be enter the stamp gauntlet, smash all enemies within the time limit. Ooh, so we finally get to use the stamp thing a bit more. In this mission, you must defeat all the enemies within the time limit using, of course, the Ultra Stamp. So, let's try this out. Whoa. Okay, how do I do it? Just press the R to stamp. It holds the R for a rapid, st rapid stamp smashing. This is so cool, whoa! Okay, and then you can just hold it too. But we really wanna go crazy with it. That is wild. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna stamp over here. And, Maybe a big one, did that not work? What do I do? Oh, maybe I just, oh, if the enemy is far away, hit with R. Whoa, okay. So let's get back to stamping. And get that checkpoint, I'm going down. Oh man, the countdown will start as soon as you spot one of the bowling ball bozos. So I just gotta keep going, keep going. This is going pretty well. The turns are a bit wide though, so we gotta factor that in. I think we got it. Okay, come, come on. Yep, I can throw some with R. Do the same thing over that way. That is wild that we could just throw it like that. I'm going back to this. Oh my. Um, let's do that. Because those turns can be so tough. We still need to get 12 more of them. So I could just, right there. Ooh, the triple. Pretty good, pretty good. Oh no, oh they got me pretty good there. I guess I need to smack you. I have 15 seconds remaining to get four more of them. That shouldn't be a problem. Come on, come on. You and one remaining, where are they? Uh, Way up there? Got it, whoa, that was cool. All right, mission complete, a fast one, but we got a little bit more experience with the stamp. So with another quick level in the books, I do see the balloon flying over. I wonder where's the best way to get that. It might be actually, Riding across and getting it just like that. Okay, that was super smooth. Now we're back up here, and that has me curious on what more we can do. Um, I think that down this way, yeah, straight down. I might just make a super jump. Yep, <laughs> awesome. We can spend a thousand points just like that, clearing this area out and getting to another level down here too. So, before we go too crazy, I just wanna make sure this is all covered. Then we can go back and make sure that this level is taken care of as well. So. We gotta be getting close to all the levels done, but here's one more remaining for us. This is going to be breathe in, breathe out. Time your movements carefully to reach the goal. So, in this mission, you must navigate unsteady footing to reach the goal at the top. Using the sloshing machine burst bomb, we'll get 2,000 as a reward. Which sounds pretty nice when we're closing in on 20,000 in total. I see the goal up there, but the path to it is moving. Well, good luck. Oh my. Uh, yeah, I could see this one being a bit of a problem, right? Can't quite reach them there, from there. Oh, I, I should have taken my chance. That's okay, we'll wait it out a little bit. So, these platforms sort of move in and out. Okay, I can get that. Whoa. And I think from here we need to hop down and across. Let's see all these guys. Come on. Oh, I got a bunch of them there. That was great. Wait it out a little bit, but then I gotta move. And then try to get you a little bit. One more, that'll do it. Made it look easy, thank you. All right then, so I need to get that. That's a little reward for getting rid of all the enemies, I suppose. Okay, so far so good. There are more enemies spawning in, so our work isn't over just yet. We see them over there, which we can actually hit them over the wall, which is pretty cool. Can I make this jump? Yes, I can. That was maybe not worth the risk, but it looks like I need to get over here if I am to beat you up. Well, actually, 
even then it's a little difficult because they got the shield. Oh, they don't see me. That was very fortunate then. Okay, whoa, whoa. That new way looks climbable. Indeed it is. And once again, we get little rewards for uh, clearing out all the enemies. Oh, this guy's already staring at me. They're ready. Okay, get rid of you first, I think. Come on. I think this can reach, just barely. And then you got it. Now that was fresh. Okay. And that's the way up, I agree. But first off, hold on. We got this waiting for us? No way. Oh, I thought I was gonna fall to my doom there. That would have been a problem. We're fine now. A little bump in the road, sure, but at least it's not a uh, total loss. There we go. So where was that? Okay, don't do not do the same thing again, but just gotta jump across, grab that, and now we can go up and finish this level, I think. There might be more, though. Gotta hop onto this platform. No, I think, yeah, that's the end of it. Okay, that wasn't too bad. That was fun, I agree. Very cool level. So we are churning through these pretty quick considering how many there are. So breathe in and breathe out is completed and take a deep breath after that one, right? So let's take a quick look at our kettles. Are we missing any? Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So far, so good. I think we've actually completed all the levels. So if we wanted to, we could run through a little bit more just to make sure we get all the collectibles and then we can move on to the boss fight. I think I was supposed to be able to jump on that. That didn't work. Uh, try that again. Because the balloon that we had was way back there and that might be the final sunken sea scroll. So that's pretty exciting, right? Beyond that, I'm not sure what other collectibles might be waiting for us, so I'll have to go and check it out, but for right now, I just gotta go all the way back to the beginning of the area. I can't believe we're coming up to the end of the story mode already, though. It feels like it's gone by so fast. But also, it hasn't. Like, it, it's been a lot of levels. It's been super fun and engaging, but at the same time, I guess just because I've been playing it all in one go. Okay, so we gotta jump across like this. Got it. And then, there we go. They're pretty far spread, spread apart for this one. Gotta get to this ink rail. That was pretty good. Got it. All right, I'm ready for this one. <laughs> it's a small fry, I can't get them to that size. Got it. Because remember, usually with these, you need to go all the way around. So I think we've just reached the halfway point. And it's so good that we've cleared everything out first because this would have been so much work if not. Okay, ready and spot it. I think I'll be able to reach this one. There it is. Come on, just a few more left now. Gotta, oh gosh, whoa. I was almost too late for that one. That would've been a huge problem. Would've had to do the whole thing over. Come on, here's our last one. There we go. And what might be our final sunken sea scroll, number 24. Subject named Marigold. Nishio Oranda, alias. Anarchy District 33 blank. Poison Rouge. Alias, Rue du Blank Blank 196. I don't know what that means. There's like different names and aliases for these characters. Which I think these are new characters that are found around the uh, Splatsville. So that's really neat. So maybe there's some secret history behind them too. Gotcha, so a little bit more of a mystery. Anyways, yeah, things are looking really good here, but there is still more to find. I need to jump over to this area. I think that's gonna be at the very tippity top of it though, so. I'll try to find my way around a bit more. So yeah, it looks like I need to go this way. And then from here, I can jump over. And I hope I can get up there. It's a little hard to see from here, but I think this is where we can find some secrets, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I might not be able to from this exact spot, but I think we can get across, because we've done that level, which means the only thing waiting for us is this boss fight area up here. Oh man, this is intense. But before we hop into that, I definitely need to search around this whole section and see if we can't find any kind of bonus thing. Small Fry, are you looking around? Sure hope you are. Huh. I'm not quite seeing too much. What about this stuff? No. It's gotta be around here somewhere though, right buddy? It could have been way down there, but I, I don't think so. I feel like we searched down there pretty thoroughly. All right, well it must be down here somewhere then. I'll try to throw a small fry around and see if they find anything, but 
I don't know, this is a little bit concerning. Cause it's gotta be somewhere nearby. You can see we're actually out of the zone for it there. So that's what I'm trying to look for. It can't be any farther out than right here for this section. So maybe it's, I don't know, somewhere entirely different. Okay, so I looked all over for it and I really couldn't find anything. Small fry is sometimes really picky with when it comes to like getting alerts about what's around. Sometimes they just don't bother. Either way, we're not gonna worry about it too much for right now. Maybe something will pop up after we complete this boss fight, which is gonna be the obscurest Kyroscurist, whatever that means. Fight your way to the exit, let's go. All right, so here we are. Unauthorized personnel prohibited beyond this point. Oh man, so we can only use our hero gear here. This seems pretty intense though. So we fought the first two members of Deep Cut. Will this be the third? Hmm, hmm. Our captain is picking up a strong signal. It might be ex-Captain Cuttlefish. Uh-oh, it's big man. Hey, hold it right there. Hi. I'm holding it. Hey, this treasure isn't yours, you can't have it. Hey, I wouldn't th fight you if I didn't have to, but this is for Splatsville. Oh no. Whoa, he's green. Whoa, whoa, the hype mantis storm big man, this is just like Mario Sunshine. Whoa, check out my sweeps. This is just like Mario Sunshine. We just played this game earlier this year. This is so cool, the shadow is splitting up. It is even the same like color of ink as Mario Sunshine. What a cool reference. Can you guess which one is the real me? I don't have to, I'm just gonna splat all of them. Maybe Small Fry can do something or not, okay. Oh, I found you, I found you. Oh, that's his actual body. We got him. This is so cool. What a reference. Hey, you're pretty good. But I won't lose. Hey, I've been training too hard to lose. Oh no, going back at it, huh? So here we go again with this. So far this seems like the simplest boss fight. Come on, come on. Watch me slink through this ink. All right, so if we really want to, we can go pretty crazy with it and hit a couple of them like that. But there's still quite a lot of these around. I need to be careful my ink tank as well. Oh, they're sneaking behind me. Maybe that one? No, 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 okay. Jeez, there's actually a lot going on here. Whoa, behind me, behind me, ah! Uh? This to be someone to stop the octopods. This is crazy, wow. That was actually ridiculous. I couldn't tell what was going on. You'll get sniped if you stand still. Focus on inking the ground so you can keep moving. I would love to. Um, instead of that, let's do this. And then toss that over. Come on. So this might be harder than I thought it would be. I got that one. I gotta fill up on ink again. And while we're doing that, we need to move. Oh, did we find you? I don't know. What, his shadow exploded? That's pretty crazy, isn't it? Okay, there's another one over this way. Is that it? No, 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 behind me. Ah! Some way to stop the octopod from popping out of the shadows. I don't know how, uh, but I'm just gonna try to fill up what I can because I am super low on ink. They are chasing me down. Oh, there you are. He's out again. Get him, Agent 3. That's it, keep it up. This is wild. Hey, you've got the moves, it's true. But I've got uh, more moves. No more kid gloves, it's big man time. All right, big man. This one's for all the marbles. Who's gonna win? Okay, let's give this a try. Oh, there's some platforms, no hard feelings when you lose, okay? At least big man's nice about it. I do appreciate that. Some of the other characters were a little bit mean, but big man's so charming. Okay, so I need to, ooh, I, I gotta stop mismanaging my ink because this happens and then I'm in big trouble. So I think we back up a little bit. And if I get into a bind like that again, I got a super slam like that. But I think whenever we see some big ones coming right towards us, we need to, whoa, back it up and just sort of make the most of what we got. Come on, they are right behind me. I don't like it. When I throw one of those bombs, that's when I really need to refill because I use up a lot. Turn him back around now, because they're just right on our tail the whole time. Oh no. I got that pretty well, and this is a great place to slam. 
Got it. Maybe it wasn't. I don't know. Second thoughts are coming in. Ooh, wait, that's not too bad. But none of these are the real big man. Come on, where, where is he at? That's not him. Oh, there's another one. Oh gosh, don't push me off, don't push me off. Whoa. Don't you dare. This has to be him. Here he is, he's out again, let him have it. There we go. The cats is cheering you on. Well, thank you. I think we got big man. Hey, oof. Well, that was a flop. I really tried to. Oh, poor big man. Hey, hey, hey. What is that? Uh, whoa. Did he just explode? <laughs> Goodbye, big man. It was nice meeting you. <laughs> okay, I guess we won. And look at this. We get another piece of the treasure, too. What is this one gonna be? I have no clue, but it looks wild. Well, it's not Gramps, but we should probably grab this thing anyway since we fought for it. It looks like an engine of some sort. The Obscurus Chiroscurus completed. That was a wild fight. Uh-huh, uh-huh. The captain says you crushed it, Agent 3. And they also had some choice things to say about Deep Cut. Wouldn't want to be them right now. Hit me. Come in, do you copy? Gramps, we, we read you. Not uh exactly loud and clear, but we read you. What's up? Are you okay? What's happening? Where are you? Or where you are? Ha, ah, I finally got this dad blasted thing to work get working again. Okay, so here's my report. I'm being held captive by something or someone or something called calling themselves Mr. Grizz. I heard that loud and clear. So did I. As for where I am, beats me. But my left knee is aching something fierce which means I'm at altitude, somewhere high up. Well, that's a pretty good hint. There's only one place that fits the bill, right? Well, well, your injured knee may have betrayed this location, but don't expect any workers, comp. Thank you for this, by the way. I won't underestimate the legendary leader of the Squid Beaks platoon again. I'll just go ahead and deal with you now before you become an actual inconvenience. Wait a minute, hey, what's that? What do you think you're doing? Gah! Oh no, Captain Cuttlefish is in trouble. Huh, that didn't sound great for Gramps. Gramps, we're coming for you, stay strong. Oh no, so way up there, just as soon as we figure out how to get wherever you are. Do you think somewhat, some of this stuff we collected might come in handy? Agent three, why don't you go take a closer look at it? It might be our just our ticket into that rocket. So, it looks like there's something we do here to go and save Gramps, but I think this is something we'll wanna save for the next episode, for sure. If we take a look at everything else, so if we go back to Site 6, there is still one more thing left to do there that I haven't figured out, right? Um, maybe? No, it looks like it's cleared out now, so maybe we're good, you'll get all the check marks. So maybe it was just that I hadn't found that level? I guess so. So as you can see, we have all the check marks there, but this one, this one's a surveyed. I don't know, oh. Why does that one say surveyed, but the rest don't? I'm not quite sure. Oh, that's interesting. Um, maybe because I got all the gray spots gone, because like that one still has a few, this one still has a few, but this one definitely doesn't. It doesn't say surveyed, so I don't know what that means. We'll have to keep an eye out for that. If anybody knows, feel free to let me know. But we have enough points to get our final upgrade here. The small fry damage up increases damage dealt by small fry. We're gonna unlock it for five, and then we can buy it for 10, and then we'll be totally zeroed out on both points. So there we go, boom, we are fully upgraded. And you can see the entire design makes a little fish. Pretty cool. Um, so yeah, if we look at the kettles, we got level one through 12 done and the boss fight against Big Man. And then for the archive, we still have one last alternate log to read through log 006. The beings that had emerged from the water soon emerged from the cavern of Alterna itself. From there, they flourished quickly. It wasn't long before they had explored every corner of the world. This apocal event gave great significance to the crater above Alterna and its surrounding territories, now referred to as the Splatlands. The region would, from that point on, be known as the land of fresh beginnings, among the creatures that now thrive on the surface. These newly evolved beings, having scattered themselves across the globe, soon gave rise to the distinct cultures and unique ways of life. Out of all the species now roaming the earth, squid and octopuses soon distinguished themselves via intelligence and fresh vibes, so to speak. It wasn't long before they became the apex species of the planet. Now, I must fast forward a bit. 5,000 years later, a peculiar individual was born. 
this squid quickly rose to fame in the Splatlands due to some unique characteristics. Yes, this individual was embraced as a prophet, gifted with numerous revelations that they shared among their fellow squids. It was another turning point for squid kind. During this period, the foundations for modern cephalopod civilization were laid. That individual squid is now widely known and celebrated as the prog prognator? Yeah, prognator of the modern day inkling. Who could that be? Do we know that character? The land of fresh beginnings, that is crazy information. Now we have, of course, our new, new squid beak Splatoon hanging out, maybe we could talk to them a little bit. There's gotta be something more to that treasure. I wonder what we could do with that. All right, just overheard the captain feeling nostalgic. I remember when Captain Cuttlefish gave me this hat. Aw. All right, go get Agent 2 a latte. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. All right then, so let's see what you get to say. You really scoped this place out thoroughly. Here, Agent 1 and I made this map based off your work. You got a sticker. You can pick it up at the lobby terminal and use it to decorate your locker. Oh, I see. So yeah, some of you were able to let me know about that, that I guess if you do get a full uh, survey, or if you see everything, you get the survey marker. So I, maybe that has to do with the sticker as well, but you can see those little gray spots. We need to clear all those out. I'll do that at some point for sure. But for right now, I guess we'll just go over this way and figure out what in the world this is gonna be. I think it's pretty clear that we have to get in that rocket somehow. Are you ready to try this? Uh, what happens if I say, hold on, not really too much. All right then, so yeah, let's go. Oh man, this is gonna be exciting. This has to be like the big finale or something. And if it's anything like the other Splatoon games, it'll be really exciting. Oh hey, is all your hero gear the way you want it? Sure is, let's go. The captain's saying, this is the final confirmation. Are you really super ultra mega sure you're ready? For the last time, I am ready. <laughs> All right, Gramps has to be up there somewhere. Whoa. But there's too much fuzzy ooze in the way. That is a lot of fuzzy ooze. Even Small Fry isn't that hungry. Um, I just know this would be useful somehow if we could combine it all. You've always got the answer, Agent 2. It's totally worth a shot. Let's do it. All right then, so we're combining all these by the power of chowder, combine! Whoa! So we're all working on it, <laughs> that's so cool. Whoa, well wait a minute. What in the world, wow! Look out Fuzz, here comes the captain. That was so cool. Okay captain, go! Whoa, <laughs> the captain's awesome! Look at it go! Oh my gosh, they're just gonna chuck it? Oh my gosh, they're going crazy! Whoa! Slicing and dicing it. So smooth. It's smoother than my skin now, no fair! You did it, Agent 3! Now then, smooth this aside, let's save Gramps! Alright, sounds good. That was the coolest scene, I love it. Whoa, so here we are. Does the game tell us where we are? Uh, not really. No map or anything. Say, so let's go check this out. Oh no, it looks a little busted. Cap Captain, are you okay? You simply can't go on. You sprained a tentacle? Well, we won't let you down. We'll go on without you. Come on, Agent 3, let's. Wait one hot minute. Oh no. That's right, it's us. You didn't think we're going to just give up, did you? Tell me you didn't. Giving up is for the weak. Do we look weak? So, last chance. If you don't want to tangle with Deep Cut, put down the treasure and walk away. Hey, what they said. Well, I mean, we used it so you can have the rest of it if you wanted. Oh, uh, that thing? Yeah, we're done with it. It's all yours. You're done with it? Done with treasure? What's wrong with you? Plenty, but don't worry about that. If this pile of junk makes you happy, you can have it. This is a trick, right? You expect us to believe you're just going to give us the treasure? After, well, everything? Wait, why am I fighting this? Wow, thanks. No problem. I feel kind of not good about each of us fighting you to the death. Our bad, and you're just giving us this? Seriously, such a boss move. Actually, why don't you be our boss? Hey, new boss, can I get a raise? 
I love Big Man. Boss Marie? <laughs> Looks like you have your own employees now. Have fun with that. Oh, I'm going to have to approve their time cards, aren't I? All right, well, that was interesting. I guess uh, we're the bosses of a uh, deep cut now. I can't believe they turned out to be so nice and so familiar. Where have I seen them? <laughs> All right, well, can I talk to you guys? Now that Agent 2 is the boss of deep cut, we should definitely be able to rescue Gramps. Do you feel like we're being watched by deep cut specifically? Yeah, whatever. Let's just save Gramps. This alliance might just work out. Ow, owie, ouch. Yo, why don't you take it easy for a sec there, Captain? All right then, so I don't see too much else going on, so I think we're just good to jump up here and see what this is about. We gotta go save Gramps. I can't stop thinking about poor Gramps all alone up there somewhere. We've gotta focus and move on. We're going way up. You're our only hope, Agent 3. I mean, we're standing right here. We're helping too. Yeah, don't forget about us, uh, us. let's go. All right then. Oh sure, now they wanna help. Well, I feel like we had a bit of a conflict of interest before, but now we're on the same page. Okay, here we go. Uh, Alternative Space Center entrance. Calm yourself and wa then watch and learn. All weapon release strictly prohibited beyond this point. Pets and or sidekicks are allowed. Okay, so we still get small fry. So what is going on with this? Oh man. Whoa, they took everything, all of your hero gear. Oof, I mean, we didn't exactly surprise them, did we? We just charged right in. If I were setting a trap for you, I'd be doing the, yay, the trap the work dance right now. I may do it anyway, it's a fun dance. Hey, hey, I see your gear. You should be able to get it back if you make it through this. What do you think, Agent 3? It was your small fry. Are you good to give it a try? Would you be going in there, there fresh out of ink? Who am I kidding? Of course you would. All right then, see, let's give this a try. I guess this is like a checkpoint. Uh, Maybe I only get two tries, or maybe I'm supposed to have small fry. There we go. Pretty fancy. All right, come back, buddy. It looks they sent a welcoming committee. How thoughtful. So it looks like we have to play sort of a stealth mission here. Uh, careful, Agent 3. Oh, gosh. This is death by committee. Okay, we gotta be really careful then. They're running over. I think I'm just going to toss that one on that side. Boom, and I got another one. Uh, I'm gonna toss you over there. So yeah, a lot of sort of small small fry mission here. Pretty cool, but also very stressful. Because I can't really do much to help either which way. Well, look at that, between Agent 3 and small fry. Who needs fancy weapons? Oh, no, no, no! Oh, we gotta run, gotta run, gotta run. Okay, that was cool, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. I like fancy weapons. All right, so press this button. We're going up. Thank you, small fry. Okay, so while we're standing here, okay, you gotta come over this way. And then can you go this way? That was good. This is really crazy. Ugh, two vaults. Are there any keys? I don't see any, so maybe we wanna jump down to this side for now. Oh, I just hope there are some keys nearby. Me too. I'll tell Small Fry into this, this one, and then we'll have to jump across this like that. These are solar panels, though, that we're on top of. There's some really high tech, of course, in the rocket facility. And what do we do here? I think, yeah, we need to plop down. I did see the key for just a moment. Oh, what is that smell? Maybe I could just toss small fry over and get it? What do you mean? I don't smell anything. Okay, that doesn't do much. Hey, I think that's Fry's way of s sniffing out a key. Oh, but I can't get to it from here. I thought that it was gonna be a snack. I should have eaten something before this. You definitely should have. All right, so going down here. What exactly do I, oh. um, I can fight you, which is great and all, but. Oh, that didn't really work though. Uh, I don't think I could do that from here. We're just gonna plop down again, I guess. Yeah, I'm a little confused. I could go up that way, or I could go up this way. So maybe this is a little bit of a puzzle. I'll try this way first. Yeah, 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 wait, wait, wait. Try that again. There we go. Aha, look at this, we get a little secret. So what will this one be? Just a couple of power eggs, something too crazy. Let's go back to the other side. Yep, just on this one, small fry, you got it. Is there anything I can get? Uh, I was trying to see if I can't land. Oh, up on here, ah, oh, there's a wall. Okay, never mind. thought I could maybe fit into something extra there, but I couldn't. Whoa, that's right, there's you. Small fry, help. Here we go, we just gotta dodge the shots a little bit. There's that, done. 
Small Fry is doing a great job with everybody, though, so I like that. Oh, and we're here, so our final checkpoint, boom. We got that there. That's one key in your pocket. Now, where could the other one be? I guess up this way, wait. That looks awful, this looks awfully familiar. Yeah, but I don't think the singing trick is gonna work twice. So there's the key up there. I sort of see what's going on. Um, So first off, maybe do this and then, there we go, turn you off for a moment. The double flute warble? I don't know what they're talking about over there, but that was pretty good. It's still chasing me now, I gotta be careful. Oh no. Hey, could you come back over here, actually? I don't know if it will. Oh, here it comes, here it comes. So as soon as it gets over this way, we just need to jump right on top of it, and we're good to go. I really miss having my weapons, so they were very useful. Go. It worked, you found the second key, and a couple of extra points. So with those, uh, finally, I'm dying to see what's inside those vaults. It looks like it's just gonna be a little step pad, and then this. Whoa, whoa, okay. So now we need, yeah, our buddy. Can we jump up if I can? There we go. All right, and then you can come back. What I'm curious about though, is there anything over here? Whoa, whoa, ooh, balloons. All right, well that's interesting. At least it's sort of rewarding us for exploring. Look like candies. Gonna feed them the small fry, of course. Yeah, I like to get little rewards for exploring like that. That's always nice. All right then, so we just need small fry to land back onto that. Oh, did you do it? You did it for a second. Let's try that again. It might just be worth it to plop down. There we go. Because I can make this jump still. All right, now you can come up. Thank you, buddy. Whoa, okay, what do we do about these? Uh, they seem, are really excited to see you. What are you gonna do? First off, hit this. Snipper Fury Agent 3 and Small Fry are here after the everything we've seen. Yeah, it's not really that big of a problem. We just roll these things forward and we get them. Awesome. I must be getting close to the exit. I sure hope so. Wait a second. Ah! Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Another trap. That's not good. But I think we got it. Right? Come on. It takes a while. There we go. Oh, and there's the key. Hey, you mean contest one? Nice. Okay, so with that, yeah, we can bust through. Thank you, Callie. Are we going up here? I guess, but I don't think I can make that jump. So what do I do instead? Uh, Maybe I just throw a small fry in there? That doesn't seem right. I'm a little confused by this one. Oh, equip! Whoa! All right, there we go! Oh, you got your gear back! Careful, Agent 3, we've already seen a few traps. There could be more. There definitely could. So for right now, we need to head into this little hatch and see what happens. Well, we've made our way through the first segment of this whole place. Even Small Fry did great, but it must be a relief to have your gear back. Don't you think we should get a move on? Look for another way in, Agent 3. There's gotta be one around here. Okay, so we'll definitely look around. Oh, it's, all right, Grizz, or whatever your name is, what's the deal with these ropes? Ropes? Those are the corporate engagement facilitators, and they are helping me save the world. I simply require a representative of Earth, like you, don't you see? You're going to help me. Help you? Somebody help me! <laughs> all right then, so, oh gosh. Anyway, if you really do want help, I'm sure you can't do much like this. And tie me. Okay, never fear, you'll be free soon. Oh my gosh, so something's about to happen. Okay, then we shall bristle forth into a fuzzy and profitable new era. Oh, I get it. You're going fishing. Completely out to sea. You're just traw tra trawling us, right? <laughs> All right, then. so we'll see what ends up happening there. Hopefully we can save Captain Cuttlefish from Grizz. I still can't believe Grizz is like the, the mean bad guy, you know? Didn't seem like all that bad of a guy from Splatoon 2's Simon Run, but I guess so. Anyways, we're gonna bust some of this open. See what we can do around here. Can I break that? That looks like one of the collectibles we find in the overworld. Okay, we are pretty high up too. We can see some of the other stuff we've explored, of course, throughout the series. We're gonna bust some of that open. Maybe I'll switch over to the Splat Bomb. Oh, can I go inside? I can. Whoa. So here we go to section two, or maybe that's where we just were. Whoa! Alterna Space Center Hangar. 
Warning, this is a restricted area. Entry is prohibited. All routes closed while launch sequence initiates. Have a nice day. They really don't want you to go that way. Well, we're going that way anyways, ready? Launch. Oh, I didn't go far enough. Come on, that was good. One more? Okay, I got most of them. Most of them are still pretty good, right? There we go. So much for the area being restricted. Take up the Octarians and we're in. All right, well don't mind if I do. We'll get ourselves whatever that is. The Wave Breaker, toss that into the middle of the gaggle of Octarians and watch them squirm. All right then, so, right there. Whoa. Oh, that's crazy. Oh my gosh, so cool. That was a lot of them. Oh, and now we get this thing. Okay, so we know how to use this one, of course. Stamp them out. Oh, you guys are in so much trouble on this one now. Okay, wait, wait. And then, boom, <laughs> that was cool, that was cool. Oh no, there's more though. I'm going to try to yeah, distract them a little bit with a uh, small fry, and now we're good. Oh, this one's fun. We find a reef slider, ready? And then, oh, not too bad, I got most of them. That was awesome, I agree, big man. Rising to the top, just like the superstar that you are, Agent 3. Oh, I missed one now. Uh -huh. Wait, wait, yeah, it's going back down. Wait, I thought I missed one. I, oh, what is, no? I thought I, I, I thought I saw some, something, I guess not. Um, there we go, got the rain cloud, and I'm just gonna toss it, and then we're just gonna hope that that keeps him back enough. There we go, very cool. And now we can go up this way. Oh gosh, got the, the bowling balls, which honestly we can handle pretty easily just by in the top of them. But that's not what we were supposed to do, of course, but it's what we did. Uh, let's see, oh whoa, the ink fact, this is new, right? And then take the shot. Wow, that was crazy. How shocking. I have never seen that one before. That was so cool. All right then, so I guess with this one, yeah, we wanna do something like that? That was odd. It didn't really work out perfectly, but it's fine. Because now I can just beat you up a little bit and we're good to go. There's more armor waiting for us. Even though we're handling everything just fine so far, uh, I guess we're hopping down this way. This music is fun too. Oh no. I don't have any special for you, but I guess I don't really need it, because I can just, you know, hop up and then take you out, no problem. More of them ahead. Oh, and the crab tank. That's perfect. So yeah, we'll use the crab tank here and just try to take out as many as we can from a distance, but we'll do some stuff like that. Come on, gotcha. Very good, very good. Another elevator, but look what's waiting for us. It's another crab tank. Keep it up, you've made it so far. Okay, so we're doing pretty well. I'm going to grab this. It can't be a dead end, can it? Oh no, it's not. We have to ride one of these little uh, Zeppelin things. So, we need to wait for the next one. Probably don't want to destroy it, yeah. Well, I can ink this a little bit. And then we have to get over there. Oh no. It's got your sniper and your step. Okay, or watch your step. Okay, there we go. Oh no. I think we'll be fine. I just gotta get up here. I'm gonna keep this crab until I really need it though. There we go. So what will be up here? Another huge vent, we made our way through. Area after area, we're getting higher and higher up. Whoa. Okay, I know we've had a few false gram signals, but I'm pretty sure he's on that launch pad. Oh, and how in the world are we supposed to get over there? I don't know for sure, but if we can make it into the building on the right, maybe we'll find an answer. Okay, so what about over here? We're supposed to go over to the left, of course, but maybe there's something extra over this way? No? Uh, you can see some extra stuff, but nothing I can really reach from here. Interesting view, though. We are so high up, it's scary. But yeah, we're going back this way. The world doesn't exist now, is out of balance. One cannot run a world or a business in this matter. Mammals and marine creatures have traded places. Not for the better. Says who? As CEO, I must be the one to restore the balance to nature. That's where we gotta go. For now, I'll let the fuzz of you spread and watch the golden eggs pile up. My employees have been extremely diligent. Hey, buddy, you're talking to me because I got no idea what you're saying. <laughs> Good old Captain Kettlefish. All right then, so let's break those open. It looks like we're going the right way. We have to go into this one now. All right, let's try it. We've gotten to the building. So Grizz wants to cover the whole world in that fuzzy salmon stuff, but 
Uh, okay, so here we are. Can, can we turn on a light or something? We'll have to rely on our other senses, like sharks do. Ooh, okay. Uh, can't go back that way. I love how sort of like gritty everything looks. So what are we doing here? Well, this is ominous. Huh, okay, we're gonna splat that one. I do see a couple of those boxes coming over. Hey, we're moving. Yes, we are. Okay, I'll have, yeah, small fry break that one. I'll break this one. I do wanna try just hit me with one of those. That was pretty good. Maybe just hit you with another one. There you go. I gotta get rid of these, the sprinklers. So we just sort of have to survive on this thing for as long as we can. Whoa, that wasn't too bad, but I feel like my reactions could have been a little bit faster. Oh, here comes some more. So they're gonna get launched over. We gotta be really careful of that, but now we have our splat down or whatever. Okay, I'll try to be ready for these as soon as we get closer to them. There we go, I wish this thing moved faster, you're telling me. Okay, what if we tried from up here? Gotcha, gotcha, wait, look, sort of. Uh, all right, uh, I might have to yeah, switch over to something like this. Gotcha, much better. We're almost at the next thing, whatever that's gonna be. Uh, hey, oh, is this the end? Might be, yeah, let's get, what, what? What was that? Sorry, small fry. Okay, come on, not good. Toss you over, ooh, that was great, actually. Awesome. All right, so we get our first checkpoint. If only we were so lucky. So what does this do? Uh, we're on the move again. Oh, do I hit it from under? Oh, oh, it's gonna fall on us. Gotcha. Got rid of all those guys without too much of a problem, but no, my armor, and no, me! <laughs> That's not what I wanted. All right, we'll continue. That was, yeah, not so good. But it's okay, we, we weren't too far back. Was there anything back that way? I gotta be sure to not break those until they land on the platform then. Cause they all fall down. See, it's not too big of a deal just to do something like that. Okay, grab that armor, much better this time. And if I could just get you a little bit, you broke my armor though, that stinks. Okay, so do I want this? I might as well grab it. There we go, yeah, and get the Splatsuka right there, or the try shot or whatever it's called. I didn't do so well with it. To be honest with you, that could have been a lot better. That didn't drop anything. What? That was weird. Anyways, no time to be distracted. I need to move it because you know, these guys are going crazy on me. Oh no. Oh, they're out of, they're out of the ink. There we go, much better. So let's uh, grab some of that. It just keeps going. Oh wow, yeah, the whole thing's moving again now. So we're just going deeper and deeper down. Is this elevator getting bigger? It feels like it. Oh no, I think that's why. All right, let's go for you first. It's gonna be the first one, we just gotta be careful because there are more around. Let's try it a little buddy. And then, yeah, go crazy on you. I see you fighting. No, oh, that was not good timing. Gotcha, I just need to refill my health here a little bit. There we go. Oh no, oh no, you know what? Now might be a good time. There we go, we get rid of one of them. Last stop, probably, hopefully. Okay, come on, we gotta move, we gotta move. Oh, we're going somewhere. Oh, the music is getting creepy. Whoa, well we climbed, we unclimbed, and now we're here. I hope Gramps really is at the launch pad. I'm still not sure how to get there. Hey, I can see a pipe that's connected to the rocket. Good eye, Fry. The pipe is definitely big enough for Agent 3 to fit through. Well, what could go wrong? Very brave to volunteer Agent 3 like that. I don't quite see that, but we'll have to take a look around ourselves, but you know, we're sort of farther now. It's crazy to think yeah, if we could've just launched over here or something, we could've skipped all that. Uh, hey, so this has been bugging me, but why are you at the treasure anyway? Just cause treasure? We're doing it for Splatsville. Not everyone is as fresh as we are. Some of them are really hurting. Aw. That's right, we plan on sell selling the treasure and divide the profits among the needy. We'll keep a shallow cut. Whoa, you're actually heroes, and here we thought, well, I don't wanna say what we thought. Hey, oh thanks boss. Well that's cute. So it looks like they were good guys after all, it was just a big misunderstanding. So we need to take that vent, gotcha. So we do, we're able to get around that. Looks like small fry isn't hungry right now. Okay, so let's try this out. Whoa, 
We just keep going and going. And then through this grate right here, we're on the section four. Whoa, the spirit lifter, steerage. We're in. Looks like we've got more climbing to do. We'll be rooting for you safely from the ground far, far below. Oh my gosh. All right, let's go for it. This might be the last thing we need to sort of tackle to save the captain. I'm gonna throw out one of these. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. That helped out a little bit. I did get hit a little bit there, but it's all right. Whoa. All right, maybe switch back to small fry here for a moment so I can climb up. There we go. And then don't worry about this. I can just slam him. That didn't work so well. Okay, good to know. Nicely done, thank you. Uh, still a long way to go, but you'll get there in no time. I sure hope so. Seems like, ooh, that was a good dodge. Seems like there's a lot of opponents waiting for us, so I'm gonna toss that over. Ooh, that was a great spot from Small Fry. Love to see it. I'm gonna have Small Fry do that, so we're just sort of moving faster. Ooh, this is good, this is good. Ooh, that broke your shield, but now you're trying to break me. Uh, we got the crab tank up here, and I wanna make the most of that because this is a lot of enemies. That was the wrong button. It's okay. Uh, come on, come on. Get him, CT. There we go. That was great. So let's roll around a little bit, and that's gonna be it. But got rid of a ton of enemies with that. Uh, such heavy security here. I hate that. We're dealing with them quite well, so can't complain too much. There's still so much more of this gunk everywhere. No, wait! Ah, oh, that's not what I wanted. Whoops, I was trying to just ride it, but I don't think it's one of the ride rails. I always get that mixed up. But don't worry, it wasn't too bad of a fall. We could just try again. We just gotta make sure that once we pop out the chute, we pop back in. Yeah, just like that. Because if not, we fall. How do I make this jump? Can I make that jump? Oh, yes I can! That was scary. So far, so good. Just try not to touch any of this stuff, because remember, it turns me into fuzz. Are you sure you can make that jump? Because I'm not, oh, I can't. Oh, whoops. <laughs> That's not what I wanted. All right, let's get see, let's try that again. I gotta go back up. Darn, okay. So, it's fine, I just gotta be a little bit more careful when it comes to sort of dodging and weaving in between those. I think I got it this time. Just gotta go all the way over, there we go. Hey, that was intense, very. Okay, so what do I wanna do about these? I just wanna splat them as they come near, but looks like for the most part, I can, yeah, sort of go around them like that. If for whatever reason I get a bad angle on them. Gotcha, that was good. And then get up here, good stuff. What will this be? Ooh, this'll be good, the Ultra Stamp. So let's just hold ZR and start whamming. Wham, slam, blam. Really good, almost there, almost there. Gotcha. And, ah, uh, <laughs> didn't quite make it to the crates, but that was really cool. Oh, and there's another one there too. The great sapfish is in that huge container. Oh, it is? So this is where it's been. We need to bring it back, but you know, later or something. Here we go. So hopefully we'll be able to save the great sapfish. I totally forgot about that. I've been so focused on Gramps. Okay, so here we are. What is this stuff? The Spirit Lifter, first class. Launch preparation is nearing completion. Please exercise care near closing bulkheads. Rude, it shut us out. Guess that's a way, that way's a no-go. Hmm? Hold on, look at this floating energy course. Hey, hey, and that's a switch. Look at me, I'm helping. Okay, hear me out. We get the energy cores, we flip the switch, and then something, right? Once you know, it won't know unless we try. Let's steal them. All right then, see, let's try. Do I touch them? Oh yeah, I just collect them. Gotcha. And down here, I get some armor, which I'll definitely need sooner or later. But right now, my goal is just to get up here. Come on, got it. I'm gonna toss small fry over. Gotcha, gotcha. Pretty good. And oh, here we go, the zip caster. Ready? Whoa. Gotta get these ones, you gotta stretch your arm with R. I'm doing really good, don't worry. Got both of those, and then these two. Got them, nice work, thank you, thank you. All right then, so if I could just jump up. No way, no way that hit me. Oh, it's so lame. Okay, that time I did a bit better. Was able to hit the switch, emergency systems activated, releasing bulkhead number one. 
Now we're getting somewhere. There's still another bulkhead and more energy cores. Get after him, Agent 3. All right then, so where are we hopping up from here then? I guess over this way? That seems about right to me. And then yeah, from here I can go, uh, maybe like this? I don't know how to exactly. There we go, much better. With those two, these two, we're just bouncing around like this. It's so much fun, I love this ability. Okay, so I did miss some stuff though, unfortunately, but I think what I can do, oh, that was good. Hit those up, grab that one really quickly, and then I think that wasn't so bad. I gotta be careful here, hold on. Uh, what if I went back, because I don't know. Let's try that. Ooh, okay, got those ones. But I definitely missed a few, so maybe, uh, how do I wanna do this? Uh, okay, that could have been bad. So I don't know if I can make that jump, but I can go back this way. And I guess just go from this angle. Maybe I just did it the wrong way to begin with. That might be the case. Just one left, go get it, it's right there. Oh no. Uh, maybe I could, there we go, that's all of them. Very nice. Emergency systems activated, releasing bulkhead number two. That was fire. I think that's the way out. I bet it opens the same way as the bulkheads. Keep cool, you're almost there. Okay, so where are we going from here though? Because I could, yeah, wait, I'll almost get up there. Get just like that, and then jump over to this one, break this open to get some more armor just in case. I can see on the switch activating system, activation failed, insufficient energy. So yeah, we need to get the energy things first. So let's get over to here. This one is absolutely covered though. So we have to be careful, ow, not nice. Come on, gotcha, much better, much better. So back over here, and then to this one, that one. Just gotta sort of climb our way up like this. That's definitely all of them. So now we can jump down. All right then, so let's see that. Boom, that was cool. Now we can hit this thing. Emergency systems activated, releasing door lock. We made it, I can't believe it. So we're heading to the top of the rocket. Oh no. Oh, we don't have the zip caster anymore. Uh, these are three components to my business plan. The vessel, the spirit, and the wisdom of ages. Someone's taking notes, yes? What are you blathering about? Hey, don't come any closer. Your brain, ensconed though it may be in your hideous form. Leave my brain out of this, hey, what's that for? Get away from me, ah! Oh no, uh, what? Poor Captain Cuttlefish, we need to save him. He's in trouble. Um, to be the visionary in business and in life, one must be prepared to make tough decisions. I must leverage the suffering of my employees into a brighter, fuzzier future for all. That is not good. Okay, we gotta get up here as soon as possible. So I'm not sure what's gonna happen to Captain Cuttlefish. Oh, go, go, go. I think we're almost there. Run, run, run. Oh, and everyone's behind us. Gramps, we're here to save you. What? Oh no! Gramps, no, he's a little squid. Dehydrated in his prime. What are we going to do? Oh. Oh my gosh. Welcome. The Your Sign Anomaly 03, Mr. Grizz. Hey, you overgrown furball. Turn Gramps back into Gramps. Valued employees, we appreciate your feedback. However, it will not be implemented at this time. What's that supposed to mean? I was not expecting Grizz to look like this. Uh, the rock is gonna launch? What are we gonna do about all this? This is insane. Oh no, we have a lift off. But isn't there a ceiling over our heads? I don't understand. Chris is huge. It means the end of your employment. We're fired? And the end of the world as you know it, to be clear. As per my memo, I'll be coding the planet in fuzzy ooze in an effort to restore balance. Oh no. 
Don't call it Harrimageddon. HR doesn't like it. No, there's an opening up there. What are we gonna do to stop Grizz? No, it's the rocket. Gramps! Oh no. Poor guy. He's he's all dried up. But how? Oh no. Oh, the tears from the captain. Did that work? Huh? Ooh, someone got got the drop on me. Everybody else feeling a bit parched? And awesome, and feeling a bit lighter. Way flatter. Talking to squid jerky? Thank, thank goodness you're uh, all right, ish. <laughs> hey wait, we're still in danger. The rocket, the fuzz. We'll never catch that rocket, it's impossible. What can we do? Hold up a sec. Sounds like you folks need some help. And Deep Cut is here to steal the spotlight. Swirl it up, eels! Whoa! They yeah, get to help us out now! We gotta chase that rocket. Oh man. That is so cool. Your turn, Master Mega! Whoa! Oh, it's big man. Here, thank you. What was that? Whoa, we're riding the shark. This is so cool. Stay fresh up there, kid. Whoa, go Agent 3. The fate of the world is in your hands. You two's a little small fry. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. Whoa, we're in space already? That was quite the jump. Yes, we did it. Wow. Wait, where's Mr. Grizz? Oh no. Here's Mr. Grizz. Well, well, such dedication to your work. I think you've earned yourself a break. Oh no, now come here so I can break you. This is horrifying. What are the power eggs doing here? They're huge. Can I just grab them? A golden egg, you might be able to use that. No, whoa, whoa, they're attacking me. Uh, how do I, oh, like this, come on Small Fry, you got it. This is crazy, we need to hide from those as much as we can clear that out. Nice work, Agent 3, and Small Fry too, keep going. I'll do everything I can. Uh, there we go. This is crazy, we're just having a wild space battle right now. Um, and then maybe we can bust you somehow? Whoa, that's not good. Uh, that didn't work, that didn't work at all. Oh no, right there, right there. No, I missed it, or something. Okay, come on, what do I do? Uh, continue, continue. Uh, I need to read the, the messages that they're saying, but at the same time, it's hard to do that while also playing and dodging. Uh, okay, ready, this time, toss it over and hide. So maybe I'm supposed to splat that first? I'm not really quite sure, but we're gonna find out. There we go, run, run, run. Got you, um. Oh no, okay, able to dodge this one, no problem. There we go, that time it worked, sort of. It definitely did something for a moment. Whoa, oh that's not good. I need to be really careful here, but maybe I could just reach it. There we go, now it's working out a little bit better. Oh, those bear claws. <laughs> Jeez, this is tough. There we go, a fuzzball came out. So now we can break that open. You got a little small fry, you got it. <laughs> You're not clocking out that easily. This is so creepy. Oh no, where'd you go? More fuzzy ooze. What's crazy is that this isn't really what Mr. Grizz sort of seemed like to me in the last game at all. Oh no. Okay, so let's go really fast here. I gotta grab that. Distract these guys with small fry if possible. That didn't work at all. What is he doing, rolling over? Yeah, come on. There we go, no, that didn't work. 
Uh, okay, I'm trying to deal with these guys. The whole thing is rolling. No, 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 no. Uh-oh, we just fell in the orbit. That's not what I wanted, so I gotta be faster than that. This is a tough fight so far, just because there's so much going on. Because I try to distract them with small fry, but they are not budging. So I'm just gonna grab this and then get you a little bit, break that open, get up this way, and what am I gonna do with this? I need to break it like that. Oh, I missed it, I missed it. Come on, come on, come on. I need to swim, I need to swim, I need to swim. Oh, this is not good enough. Jeez, that moves fast. Okay, try again. Okay, so this time, no funny business. I'll distract you two. Because yeah, I need all three for that. So I need to go grab this and then just toss it over. There we go. And then maybe I just keep going this way? I guess so. I cannot keep up with this. Come on. We're halfway through the rotation. Only halfway? Am I supposed to be moving up through that? That doesn't seem like a good idea, but come on, come on. Now we got it. Look at how many golden eggs are over here, too. Oh my gosh, a ton of them. Oh, there you are, there you are. Uh, I gotta get rid of all your friends first because they are just bombarding me. Got it. No, that might be too much. Are we turning back the other way? I think so. Oh, okay, come on. Did not have the time to actually. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, you're gonna do a big slam. You're gonna do the big slam, I tried to back up. Come on. There's the fuzz ball. I was able to break it open though, and with all five of those, that's another big splat on you. Ah, setback. But this is a growth spurt, or whatever that said. He said it very quickly. Oh, well, here we go again. Okay, I gotta make a game plan as soon as I possibly can. Where'd he go? Way back there, right? Great. Oh no. I have a feeling this one's gonna be the most difficult one. We do get a checkpoint though, so I'm gonna grab this, and then this one. I hope I can make that jump, because I'm about to go for it. Whoa! I made it, I made it, I made it. Oh, and that was a good idea too, because he's starting to splash down on us. No, I jumped! That keeps happening to me in this game, where I jump right at the edge of the platform, and it just doesn't really work, which stinks, because that's a really wide jump. Um, okay, it's fine. I'd rather mess up now than later on, right? So, let's just learn from it, grab this stuff, and then maybe just stay on this side. Because it looks like I could make the jump over to whatever this is. There we go, that was actually really risky. I almost got caught there, but it's okay. I'm guessing he's gonna start rolling soon. I'm gonna try to be prepared for that, but there's so much here, there's so much here. Okay, get rid of you. Um, looks like he's gonna roll again, I told you. All right, come on, there's just so much. Gotcha. Try to do that. Oh no, 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 I need this, I need this, but I can't. It is. It takes too much time to defeat the enemies, but I really can't get past them very well. Okay, starting to roll again. I just have to ignore the eggs for a little bit, I guess, and just survive the rolling, because if not, it gets a little too wild. This rocket is huge, though, and he's just it's sort of cute how he's rolling around over there. Uh, gotcha, and here's another egg for us, but I missed one before. These guys are just such a pain. There we go, there we go, come on. Is that enough? It is, we got five of them, come on, let us through. And then there's a bunch waiting for us over here, but guess what's also waiting for us? More enemies. Gotcha, oh no, what do I do about this? I gotta move, whoa, the super scream. Oh my gosh, come on, come on. I think that's it. If I could just go crazy with this then. Oh, he's gonna, he's gonna, no, run! Every time, I do not do a very good job at running there. Come on, come on. Oh, you're coming to his claws again. I can dodge it this time. No problem, oh, but the double, not quite. Come on, come on, it's almost there. It's gotta be, there it is, toss it. You got it, small fry. How you feeling now? Not so good, right? You are proactive, aren't you? But it's time to clock out. In a few moments, Earth will be ruled by mammals once again. Oh no, whoa! This is not good, he's exploding the whole rocket. Oh no! 
What is that? No way. There is no way. <laughs> GG Octavia saved us. Hey, buddy. <laughs> None of I crash your big finish. You're not dropping this beat on our turf. No way, <laughs> this is so cool. We'll hype you up from here, Agent 3. Listen up, it's going down. Repping the Splat Plowlands, we're deep cut. Ready up there? Let's bust out there. Hey, hey! You lip sync. We you think. Shiver Fry and Big Man. <laughs> oh, our turn? Hit it! That heavenly melody! Oh, here we go! Kalinari Incantation 3 mix! Let's do this! It's all up to you, small fry. You got it! What is happening? Are we about to get super small fry? Look, marine life energy is flowing up there. Streams of light. Three lights united to consume the disaster. It is as if, as it was foretold, behold. Oh yeah. Wow. It really is super small fry. Not so small anymore. Whoa, small fry Mr. Grizz got hugeified. They're so adorable. I love it. He's a little creepy though. The bear is filled with fuzzy ooze. Eliminate the fuzz balls to help huge fry. Or just quoting the captain there. He's trying to deliver the fuzzy ooze himself. You've got to stop him. Whoa. Return of the mammalians. Not on our watch. You lose, you lose. Go back to Ursa Weiner. You ready, Octavio? <laughs> Pilot at you unlocked. Fuzzballs, me my ink back. Hop in, Agent 3. You heard him. Steer the Octobot King and vacuum those fuzzballs up. We only have three minutes and 33 seconds before he slams into Earth. Hurry! Oh no. All right, so we're going into here and we're sucking in the fuzzballs. Hop in with the on. Whoa, this is crazy. All right, I gotta grab that armor then, right? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, we gotta suck those up? Or no, we have to fight them? I don't know what's happening. That is a giant piece of armor. Um. I want that, right? There we go. I'm trying to get closer to it. Here we go. Come on, suck it up. <laughs> this is crazy. No, wait, come on, keep going, keep going. Uh-oh, more enemies are coming in, so we gotta splat those guys as soon as possible. Um, what happened? Uh, there are more fuzzballs up ahead. Okay, so I guess we got that one. Yo, Octavio, check it out. Come on, come on, I gotta get this thing then? Suck up that fuzzball. I just can't reach it from here. Oh, I need to move forward. I'm being silly. Come on, ooh. I guess that wasn't a good thing, I can't really tell. I gotta watch out for those. Okay, oh, look at huge fry though. I, I got the armor. Oh man, come on, that's it right there. We got it, get rid of that thing. Come on, come on, huge fry. It's helping out a ton here. Okay, okay, only two left. All right then, so whenever I can hop back in. <laughs> nice. Oh, there's the one on his back. Or his butt. Okay, come on. So we have to avoid those things as ah, much as possible. Come on, come on. If I could grab that armor though, it's still really useful. Okay, just gotta dodge all that stuff. Oh no. No, ow. Rude. So they're trying to stop me with whatever they got. Whoa, no, don't fall off, don't fall off. There we go, there we go. Down to two minutes. Come on, hop back in there. We can do it. They're sending more in, but... Okay, come on. Gotcha, gotcha. Back to it, back to it. We send on when the ink bank is active, stay alert. I'm trying. There we go. Yes, just one more to go. Come on, we can do it. Where is it now? I'm not sure. Whoa, what is going on with those two? This is Agent 3, it's now or never. So we gotta rush in with a minute and a half left. Oh no. See, I really need to zoom through all this then. Now that I know that we go faster without the vacuum acted. Ooh, that really sent me back though. Um, don't hit those things, they'll send you flying. Okay, that's it, that's it, that's it. Come on, this is our chance right here. Come on, no way, no way. Oh boy, get rid of these two as much as I can. Gotcha, gotcha. Try it again, try it again. This is it. 
We're almost there. Okay, you know what, you guys? Get out of here. Boom. That didn't do all of them, but it did most of them. Oh, no. Okay, okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. Get back to it. Get back to it. We have less than one minute remaining. That's it. We got all the fuzzballs. Now what? He's still on the move. I'll tell you what. We fire that fuzz right back. Whoa. The fuzz cannon. Blast the stuffing out of him with CR. Here we go. Whoa. First world battlefield. Never give up. Booyah. Oh, he's going to feel this one. This one's going to send the profits plummeting. Oh my goodness. That has to do it, right? Oh man, he doesn't look so good. Seems all of my work has been for nothing. The times have changed. The world can never be as it was. Moving forward is the future. I suppose this is it then. You will not receive servant's pay. Oh no. I sort of feel bad for some reason. Whoa, we made it out okay. At least, I hope we did. Oh, there's the try. Great job, buddy. You did amazing. <laughs> and the perfect landing. Hooray! That was the most insane battle in my opinion, in the Splatoon series. That was so cool. And now we get to make a safe landing back home. We did it, we saved the whole world. And here we are, we're back at the main menu, so everything is fine with Splatsville again. All right, here we go. Listen up, it's going down. Repping the Splatlands, we are Deep Cut. At our key Splatcast, we're live. Here we go. You lip sync, we drip ink. Shiver Fry and Big Man. I can barely contain myself. What is it, Big Man? Breaking news. Is this about the return of the great Zapfish? Oh yeah, I almost forgot about that. There it is. Is that how it always looked? Who cares? It's safe, yay! Is that all you got, big man? What's next? No, there's more broken news. <laughs> That's breaking, so hurry up and break it already. Ooh, let me guess. This is about the new Squid Sisters single, right? Ooh, because if so, yeah, I have heard about it, and yeah, I'm big mad about it. Wait, it says Squid Sisters on the label, but look at these two. Is it really them? That's Boss Marie and her assistant lady. They're the Squid Sisters? Hey, forgive us, boss ladies. They really are our bosses. Deep Cut will open for the Squid Sisters anytime. When are we going on tour? Yes, great idea, Shiver. Deep Cut and Squid Sisters World Tour. Well, until then, let's just play their latest. Here's Wave Goodbye. Catch you later. So we'll get a new single from the Squid Sisters too to finish everything off. So is that really the end of our Splatoon adventure? It really does seem like it. We got to save the entire world from the return of the Mammalians. And there we go, the end of Splatoon 3. I had so much fun. Oh, and I can splat in space, whoa. That is so pretty.